General Radon, how are you still alive? Simple, I found some preserving boluses. It seems I shall have to defeat you a second time, then. What are you on about, you harpy wench? It was I who defeated you. Either the rot has affected your brain, or you really are as simple as they say. For the past years, you have been on your knees, crawling around, barking like a dog and eating your own excrement. How is that not defeated? You frail, sickly hag! You were bested and were forced to self-destruct like the coward you are! You needed to be dragged back to that misshapen hallig tree by your own knights. The disgrace. You're so weak you can barely stand, sleeping on a chair all day. Ha! You're one to talk. You have your scrawny horse carrying you around. Perhaps I should do it a mercy and kill it first. You've done it now, you shrew. Die! Brother, I have cometh to visit thee. Brother. Oh, hey, did you bring the boiled crab? What is this? Where were thee? I was inside Michaela. What? But anyway, do you have the boiled crab? Boiled prawn is fine too. Moog, thee has been consorting with our own flesh. What wouldst father say of this? That old sack of dung. I don't care about him or that damn tree. Thee dare insult the Golden Order? Michaela and I will bring about a new order. One of love, tolerance, and incest. You should join us, brother. There is plenty of room inside Michaela's egg. Enough of this. Thee has sickened me. I shall taketh my leave. Farewell, brother. Bring food next time. Anyway, Michaela, where were we? Rykard? Oh. Rykard! <sighs> Must you make these grotesque sounds? Join myself and King Azlamadi. Rykard, what the hell are you talking about? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe their truth. You let a serpent devour you, the weakness! Together we will devour the very god. The only god that has been devoured is you. You're a fool! Together! Stop saying... Together! Stop saying that! I've seen enough! You are beyond hope! Together we will devour... This is embarrassing. I pray Godfrey does not hear of this. I have some wonderful news. Grace has granted us details about the DLC. This is incredible! I am Millennia, Blade of Michaela, and I would like to know more about the DLC. Of course, I have the details here. The title of the DLC is Shadow of the Erd Tree. Shadow of the Erd Tree. What is this anti-Golden Order propaganda bullshit? Sounds accurate to me. <sighs> Brother, show me the picture again. Zoom in on that Shoda! Is that Michaela? Mm, I sure hope so. I want a piece of that real bad. What the hell did you say? Morgoth, will I be in the DLC? I don't know. I command thee to include me in the DLC. Godric, there's no fucking way you're in this DLC. Will the Formless Mother be in the DLC? I don't know. Surely Scarlet Rot will play a role. I already said I don't. Will Leonhard be in it? Who even is? How long will it be? What areas will we visit? I said I- How unbalanced will the PvP be? What bugs will be introduced? I don't- yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Rykard! You are scaring the oracles! I want to go home. I will surely feature in it. Quiet. I don't know any more than you do. All I know is the goddamn title. And there is some harlot on a horse, in a generic-looking field, staring at a horrible-looking tree which is oozing sap or some shit. So either be patient or piss off. So when's the release date? You. The one who plays as a maiden, a moment. Not this witch again. What is your relationship with the Tarnished? I offered them an accord. And sometimes we hold hands. The Tarnished and I are to wed and usher in the Age of Stars. You are in the way. Are you aware that you're a blue doll with one eye, two faces, and four arms? There are omens born luckier than you. Most of them, in fact. Firstly, you also have one eye. Secondly, you're a bitch. I offer the Tarnished strength. You offer them nothing. Yes, but that strength is in exchange for runes. What do you spend all of those runes on anyway? Visits to the STD clinic? I wonder what kind of screams a doll will make. <coughs> torrent? Torrent? <coughs> yes, Torrent, you're right, of course. For the sake of Torrent, I shall let you continue existing. Farewell, sister. Bitch, you better walk away before I feed you to my strangely attractive pet dog. Your what? Greetings. Hello, Godfrey. It is I, Godfrey, First Elden Lord. Yes, I know you well, very well. First Elden Lord, 
What were you again? Godfrey, I really don't- Oh, that's right. Second, Elden Lord. First is mightier than second. Did you know that, Radagon? I did, Godfrey. I was the first chosen consort of Queen Merica the Eternal. Oh, I know. I led the war against the giants. Have you ever seen a giant, Radagon? I have seen quite a- They are fucking massive! And I killed them. I killed them all. Well, I think you may have missed- Because I am a warrior, not some skinny red-haired twig. I took the beast regent Sarosh upon my back to suppress my lust for battle. And sex. Godfrey, this is getting extremely awkward. I face the Storm Lord alone. There are paintings of me, Radagon. Paintings! People name their babes after me. I'm a fucking legend, mate. Then why did she exile you, Godfrey? What? Then why did Queen Merica, the Eternal, exile you from the lands between? You call yourself the first Elden Lord. What you are is the first tarnished. You and your shriveled cock were of no further use to her. What the fuck? You have an old man smell, Godfrey. It smells like spoiled demi-human milk. You little shit. One of your sons is a mermaid, the other is a pedophile. And the third is a depressed hobo with a boiled crab addiction. You're lucky the Elden Beast hasn't crucified the whole damn lot of you. Elden what? I've said too much. Farewell, first Elden Lord. This boiled crab is delicious, Morgoth. I know, right? Om nom 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 nom. Greetings! Oh, for the love of America. That looks to be a tasty meal. Not as tasty as my victory over millennia, though. Not this fiction again. Our battle was legendary. I was in my castle, grafting myself a new appendage. What do you mean by that? Don't ask. For my harlots! Godric, we don't want to know- Suddenly I smelt rotting fish, which is not unusual when I'm with my harlots. That sounds abnormal. I leapt down from my castle. Naked! The wind blowing harshly against my member. Godric, just fucking stop. If you must tell this story, could you leave your member out of it? Which one? What do you mean, which one? I have several! I'm intrigued. There she was, the source of that rotting smell. Millennia the Severed. I uttered my classic, I command thee, kneel. Which is a phrase I often use. You know, with the tarts. Godric, I am this close to throwing a spear through your fucking face. I two-handed my mother. Mighty weapon, squeezing it so tight I thought it would explode. Is he still talking about his penis? I thrust into her face and defeated her in one blow. A strike even the great Godfrey would be impressed with. Has my bloodline been diluted this much? Godfrey, would you like to go fishing in the Lake of Rot later? That sounds like a mighty plan. Challenge accepted. Godfrey is so damn cool. I was going to suggest the Volcano Manor, but there have been strange sounds there recently. I command thee to... To listen, I defeated her and she fell to her knees crying. Oh, Godric the Golden, you are so handsome, you are so great. Your gold is far superior to my dirty, unalloyed gold. And then I said... And then you said what, Godric? Oh, uh, uh, ma, 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 ma. This should be good. Pass the crab. Am, nam, nam, nam. Please continue, Godric. And then... I said, jolly good fight, Millennia. Keep up the great work. Godric, I don't remember that happening. Do you know what I remember? What, what? This. The Lake of Rod is a beautiful place to fish. Agreed. Have you caught anything, Godfrey? Just these odd mushroom men. They'll make for a fine stew for later. And you? No, I think my fishing rod's broke. Hey, you! Want to know how to make your Ash of War stronger? Yes! Come a little closer! Okay, so you know the shout you do which pulls enemies towards you? Of course. Did you know that the Roar Medallion increases its damage? Everyone knows that. Okay, but did you also know that the Highland Axe increases its damage even more? This is interesting! You know what else? What? You got Scarlet Rot now, bitch! <laughs> Fuck! Godfrey, I got Scarlet Rot again. One of those frog things tricked me. Ah, uh, yes. One of them approached me as well. Hey, you! Wanna know what the best strength weapon is? was a short conversation. Godfrey, that is really fucking cool, but I think I'm dying. Do you have any preserving boluses? Alas, all I have are these gravel stones. Ranny will probably have some. Ranny, I got Scarlet Rot again. You are fairly lucid, unlike the last time. I thought you may have lost your senses. The only brain-dead one in our family is Rykard. <laughs> Please tell me you have some preserving boluses. Would you like some string? Ranny, why the hell would I want string? There are many who would pay a fine price for such a thing. Like that perverted bastard Celavis. Did that dog just talk? Melania has the boluses. They are like her painkillers. But you will need some runes. I don't have any. I spent them all on a broken fishing rod. Was it actually broken, or are you just shit at fishing? Shut up. Morgan. 
Morgoth will have some. You should ask him. This is tiresome! Play with the string, Blythe. Good boy. <laughs> Morgoth, do you have a- Dear God! Nam 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 nam. What is it? Are you okay, Morgoth? I was feeling peckish. Do you have any runes? No, I seem to have misplaced them. You spent them all on boiled crab, didn't you? Of course I fucking did. Mog should have some runes. Go and bother him. Mog, please, for the love of God, tell me you have runes. Of course I do. I keep them in the egg. Here you go. It smells odd. Where exactly in that egg do you keep these? Oh, you don't want to know. Or maybe you do. I don't, bye. Melania. I am Melania, Blade of Mikula. Melania! Yes? I have come to purchase some preserving boluses. Don't ask why. You got Scarlet Rod again, didn't you? Yes. I would usually refuse, but you could have easily stolen one and you didn't. Thanks, here's the runes. These runes smell of Mikula. There's a dragon skin soldier in here somewhere, I know it. Godfrey will surely be impressed should I catch it. Hey you! Wanna know what the best gravity magic is? So have you ever heard of Rock Sling? Vare, come here, I have a delicate issue. You summoned me, Lord Moog? Some of the Albanorics have been calling me an incestuous Empyrean stealing sexual predator. Which of course I am, but I don't want them saying that. They don't understand our forbidden love. How can we fix this, Vare? I understand, Lord Moog. I too have heard them whispering of the perverted omen bastard. I didn't say anything like that. And luckily I have a solution. You can clear your name by becoming wed. None would accuse you of sexual deviance if you were to tie the metaphorical knot. Fare, I'm not sure I like this idea. I am the most eligible bachelor in the lands between, and I'm very proud of that fact. Besides, who would I wed? What of Rinala, queen of the full moon? She is currently single and is quite the milf, if I do say so. Too old! Fair enough. Then what of her daughter, Luna Princess Rani? Too old! Queen Merica is said to still be alive, contained within the great Erd tree. You could- Fare, you sick fuck. I'm not going to marry my own mother. But Lord Moog, I thought incest was not out of the question. She's my mom, dude. Come on. General Radan is alive and well. His battle prowess could be of great use. Too old! Also, rugged is not really my type. I'm more of a silky smooth sort of guy. There are some eligible mortals, my lord. I have heard tell of a deathbed prostitute, a spirit fiddler, and a cute snake girl. Any of them would make a fine match, I think. A mortal? You want me to downgrade from an Empyrean to a mortal? I'm a fucking demigod, Fare. I have fucking standards. Of course, Apologies, my lord. How about Melania? I'd be better off swimming naked through the lake of rot until my cock fell off. A ghastly thought, lord. Besides, I don't think I could remain faithful to her. Not when her brother is walking around looking like that. Oh, Mikula, dearest Mikula, what I want more than anything is to knee heel all over your honeyed face. Lord Moog, if I may say so, these are the sort of things which are giving you a public image problem. What's wrong with wanting to shower those I love with my knee heel, Fare? Why won't he just wake up? Do you think if I shove a bunch of other shodas into the egg that'll make him jealous? Lord Moog, I don't think- I want an egg full of shodas, Fare! Why won't he get out of this fucking egg and let me be his wife? Let's remain focused, Lord- You know, Fare, I never realized how cute you look with that mask on. Lord? I can't see so good with my one eye. How about you come a little closer? I'm not sure this is going to help, Lord. Come a little closer. Let me gaze upon your face. Of course. Little closer. Is this close enough? Little closer. Closer! Very well, Lord Moog. Do what you have to do. <laughs> Radon, I think we should visit Rykard. Why? He's literally a brain-dead snake. Don't you think part of our brother is still in there? The mass-murdering heretic is still in there. I love that guy. But the cannibalism is something I can't stomach. You nibbled on the odd soldier until recently, did you not? Yes, but I had Scarlet Rot, Rani. It was different. My point is that you have regained your senses, so maybe he also can. Rani, he's literally a brain-dead snake. I'm not sure what to tell you. Let's just go. Fine! Hello, brother. It is me, Rani. <sighs> I'm getting angry just looking at him. Shut up. Are you doing well? These sounds are revolting! What even is that? Is he snoring? Is he purring? Silence, brother. You are agitating him. And how did you tell that? From the wiggle of those grotesque arms sticking out of him? They are rather disgusting now that you mention it. Very well. Radan, he answered my question. Did he? I was too busy staring at the arms. You try asking him then. Rykard, how are you feeling? Very well. See? Maybe the snake threw up part of his brain. Family. Yes, Rykard, we are family. Join family. We already are family, you stupid snake. Please have some patience, brother. I think we are getting through to him. Devour. 
Oh, perhaps he is hungry. I'm a little short on corpses, but I do have some gravel stones. Don't feed him gravel. Here, Rikard, catch! Mm -hmm. He seems to have enjoyed it. He is happy. See, he really is still in there. He's more like a slimy, disgusting pet than a person. Still, I think we have made progress. Is something wrong? A lot of things are wrong, Rani. It sounds like he's building up to something. Rikard, I swear to God, if you say to get together, damn it, Rikard! Together, together, together. What is happening? I think the snake ate his last brain cell. Together, together, together. Fuck this! He really is a brain dead snake. Well, Rani, I don't want to say I told you so, but shut up. Together, together. Hey, Morgoth, can I complain about our family to you? Definitely. Who should we begin with? Melania, Godric, Radan? Did you just name me? Anyway, I was thinking more like Rikard. Traitor Rikard. I visited him the other day and he is even more brain dead than usual. I don't know why he let that stupid snake eat him. I mean, immortality is cool, I guess. If you're a coward, I long for the day where I will meet my end in battle. Hopefully without the aid of Scarlet Rot. I do miss the Albinoric torturing Rikard. Those were some good times. Now he's a Sick fuck. I have heard about man-serpent orgies taking place within the Volcano Manor. The very thought makes my horns curl. Yeah, when I visited him, there was a lot of that going on. Rani was with me at the time. She is cool and all, but her being a doll is kind of weird. She's a doll? Well, yeah, didn't you notice? All of you non-omens look the same to me. Morgoth, that's kind of racist. Why did she turn herself into a doll anyway? I don't know, something to do with casting off her flesh or something. Personally, I think she just wasn't a fan of the red hair. I can't get enough of my red hair, though. It's rad as hell. Bitches do love red hair. We omens have more horns than hair. Yeah, I kind of noticed. At least none of mine are piercing into my eye socket. I can't say the same for Mog. Is that why he's so creepy? Is he also suffering from brain damage? He's always been a little different, smearing his blood and shit all over the shunning ground walls. Smearing his what? Speaking with the formless mother, whoever the fuck that's meant to be. I've never seen her. Well, Morgoth, she is formless, so that's probably why you've never- Then there's this whole child kidnapping fiasco. He did what? It is embarrassing. I have worked hard to get to where I am. I defended the Erd Tree from all of you bastards. Morgoth, there's no need for name calling. Me, a graceless omen defending our capital city, slaughtering countless champions. That's like my second favorite hobby. Only to be shunned by the Erd Tree. And I didn't complain. Whereas he is off gallivanting around with that white masked sex slave. Excuse me? Calling himself the Lord of Blood. Lord of Edges, more like. That is humorous. We're meant to be twins for fuck's sake. I don't want people thinking I'm a sexual deviant. Morgoth, please don't put sex and you in the same sentence. Then there's that goofy bastard Godric. What an embarrassment. The ruler of Stormvale Castle. Do you know how many tarnished I've had to kill for him? His great rune would be safer given to a sheep. Okay, Morgoth, I think you need to calm down. Grafting, what the hell is up with that? It doesn't matter how many dragon dicks you graft onto a pile of dung. It's still a pile of dung. I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. His own soldiers wish him dead. How the hell am I related to him? How can a graceless omen command more respect than him? There have been many times when I've been tempted to just let a tarnished walk up to Stormvale Castle and kill him. Hell, I would even help them do it. But that useless fool somehow got his grafted hands on a great rune, so now I'm obligated to defend him. I honestly think giving it to a sheep would be safer. We have lots of sheep outside the capital. You complain for too long. I am leaving now. Goodbye! Praetor Rikard. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. Another confession, Malekith. What is it this time? I killed a beast, man. That doesn't sound like much of a problem to me. And I liked it. Oh. I lodged a giant boulder down his throat until he exploded. The voice in my blade told me to do it. I can only resist it for so long. Malekith, there is a lot to unpack here. But it sounds to me like the rune of death is getting it's gnawing away at my soul. Even now, I want nothing more than to chew off one of your remaining heads. You look delicious, but I shan't be tempted. Keep your disease-ridden mouth away from me, Malekith. There are times I wish that Merica did not charge me with its protection. To imagine a world without destined death. The ambition. It must have been difficult. It was. 
the responsibility was enormous, but I am her sworn shadow. I would have given my life for her if she had asked. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean it must have been difficult when a fragment of the room was stolen. Yes, that was unfortunate. How did that happen again? A bunch of ballerinas showed up and danced away with it? They were assassins. Poor Queen Merica must have been devastated that her son died as a result. How I wish I could have seen her face. Oh, and I guess it was pretty embarrassing for you, too. I need to kill! I've really botched this confession session, haven't I? Dissing Merica is my second favorite pastime, right after Ominous Floating. Let's destroy the fucking world, Placidus Axe! Pardon? I'll ride on your back, blasting destined death while you fire your lasers. Your lasers are cool as hell. You'll hear no arguments from me, Malekith. Bitches love my lasers. I want to watch the world burn. I want to eat the world. You're making me even hungrier, Malekith. Let's leave this storm and blow it all up. What should we kill first? Well... I do have a bit of a grudge against the guy who slaughtered most of my kin. He's also going around calling himself First Elden Lord, which honestly is just fake news. Let's kill that guy! Let's kill him dead! You're starting to wake the dragon now, Malekith. Now that you mention it, there is something I want to destroy. What do you mean to kill? I will help you kill. I would love nothing more than to destroy that eyesore of an herb tree. Things were better before that space slug showed up and planted that wicked seed. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're not doing that! Let's just nuke Limgrave. Okay, well that sounds pretty fun too. Are sheep still a thing? I used to always chase sheep as a hatchling. Sheep are still a thing! Sweet! I should probably cancel my delivery then. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's my food, Maliketh. Levitating all day works up quite the appetite, you know. Pizza for, uh, plaza, do sucks. Uh, plat, set, ussups, uh. What the hell is pizza? A meal from a more civilized time. I don't like it. You die now. <coughs> Malekith, do you know how long I was waiting for that to get delivered? <sighs> what is that smell? Oh, the toppings. They're death root. I'm trying to watch my figure. Om nom 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 nom. I'm feeling much better now. Curse you, Malekith. Now what am I meant to eat? There's a perfectly good Beastman corpse here. Fine. I guess that'll have to do. Sorry. It's quite all right. Want to see something cool? Yes. Good day, Ranny. Father, what are you doing here? I have come to visit Wolfie. Oh, and you too, of course. Right. And Radan and Rykard, where are they? Radan is off hiking with Godfrey. That child stealing back. And Rykard, well, it is perhaps best you don't see him. <laughs> anyway, if you follow the trail of wolf urine, you'll find it leads to the library. That's where your wretched mutt resides. Ranny, why can't you and Wolfie just get along? I could say the same for you and Mother. <laughs> Wolfie, who's a good boy? You're a good boy. This is insufferable. Wolfie is the best boy with the best tricks. Blythe, come here. You summoned me, Mistress Ronnie. Do a trick, Blythe. I beg your pardon? Ronnie, why did you summon the furry? Furry? Shut up, father. He is a better wolf than your mongrel pet. Cover your ears, Wolfie. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, well, I haven't done my morning stretches yet, but here it goes. Excellent work. I think I sprained my ankle. See, father? This is what a real wolf looks like. That's not a wolf, Ranny. That's a depressed alcoholic in a dog suit. Only some of that is true. Wolfie, show them the majesty of a real wolf. That is nothing. Blythe, do another trick. Mistress Ranny, I don't think I know any other tricks. Also, my ankle is in excruciating pain. Your mistress commands you. Okay, well, how about this? Blythe. I'm too drunk for all of this. Well, it would appear that Wolfie is indeed the best. Shut up. Why did you leave Mother? Ronnie, it is too complicated to explain. Let's just say I had some personal reasons. It is time for me to leave now. Farewell. Get back here. What does that even mean? So, uh, can you show me how to jump that high? It was sick. Gustav, get over here! What is it, Godric? Godric! Lord Godric. That's more like it. Let's go dragon hunting, Gustav. I need some new materials. Lord Godric, dragons are dangerous. Of course they are. That's why I'm bringing you with me. You want me to help you kill dragons? Well, actually, you'll be the one doing all of the killing. I am a lord, you see, and I don't want to get any of my hands dirty. Lord Godric, I only have one arm. You took the other for grafting. Did I? I don't remember that. You did. 
And how do you expect me to kill a dragon? In truth, Gostok, you don't need to kill any dragons. Thank goodness. You just need to rip off their cocks. That's what I'm really after here. After my last encounter with Melania, I'm a little short on members. Lord Godric, I think it would probably be easier to just kill them. First you don't want to kill them, and now you do. Make up your mind, Gostok. What I want is to just mind the gate. Too bad. We're leaving now. There's bound to be a dragon around here somewhere. If I get naked, I think I can point us in the right direction. Lord Godric, please don't. I command thee to be silent. Look at that. These sheep are delicious. I just wish they weren't so bad for you. I'm going to have to do a lot of floating to burn this off. Look at the size of him. Even the great Godfrey will be impressed if I could get my hands on that. I'm pretty sure Godfrey would be disgusted. Get him, Gustoc. What? Bring me his appendage. Here, take this dagger. Don't say I never give you anything. What am I meant to do? Didn't your parents ever teach you how to castrate a dragon? Castrate? Fuck, he spotted us, Gostok. Don't move. They can't see you if you don't move. I can see you. Lord Godric, I don't know what to do. Just quick step over there and give him a little nip. He won't even feel it. He won't even feel me cutting off his cup. What an odd pair you make. A one-armed wretch and a goofy little scion. Gostok is not that goofy looking. Lord Godric, I think you are the goof. You see this? What do you think of this? Oh, sweet America. I have a friend who wants me to nuke Limgrave, and it'd be pretty easy for me to do that. I do prefer my sheep rare rather than well done. But seeing you two reprobates strolling around? Repro what? It means an unprincipled person, my lord. I knew that. You literally just asked. It's really making me start to reconsider. Almighty dragon, we shall leave your member in peace. Let's get out of here, Gostok. They were after my what? Gostok, I am very disappointed in you. You are my finest specimen. Just look at you. You could have easily defeated that dragon. I really don't think I could. Hakuna Mat- Gostok, I want it. Of course, my lord. I have never known defeat. That was a good nap. I wonder where Mikella went. I do hope he's okay. Oh, Mikella, dearest Mikella, how should I make use of your sweet hand today? I should go out and search for him. I haven't tried Caled yet. It might be interesting to visit the place again. I wonder if it's changed much. I don't remember it smelling like this. It smells like scarlet rot and giant crow droppings. Well, that explains the smell. Well struck. Oh, it's you. Why are you here? I am searching for Roa raisins for Torrent. He is very hungry. May I accompany you through Caled? Very well. Who are these? Franny is the best. No, Melina is the best. What about Melania? I want some of that rot puss. They are simps. They are the lowest form of life. Oh my god, is that Melania? Please let me hug you. Not anymore. Nicely handled, but for everyone you kill, two more take their place. Let us be on our way. Feet picks when? And then I said, that's not my brother, that's my wife. More freaks. I'm afraid so. These kindreds of rot are staunchly on your side, Melania. They say you are the best wife you, whatever that is. Oh my rot, is that Melania? Please let me have your autograph. You are the reason I crawl out of my coffin in the morning. Thank you, mommy. I don't understand these things. Just be thankful they didn't shoot their pest threads at you. What is that? It is best not to know. Mother? I'm growing tired of this. Let's just keep moving. No, please wait. What is up there? That is where the beast clergyman resides, also known as Uncle Malaketh. Hey, kids! Malaketh, what are you doing here? I was murdering so many beastmen at Faramazula that they unionized and kicked me out. So now I'm hanging out here for a while. I can't complain. The weather is wonderful. And the food is delicious. Please don't eat me! Malaketh, I am searching for Roa raisins for Torrent. Can you please join us and help sniff some out? Of course. I fucking love Roa raisins. Can you even digest them? Let's go! Redmain Castle. This is where Radon resides. I would prefer to avoid Radon. Melania, what are you doing here? Are you here for a rematch? I am happy to indulge you. None of that cowardly scarlet rot, though. Radon, I am literally dying from scarlet rot. I think it's only fair that I level the playing field and give it to my enemies as well. Is Caled your enemy, Melania? Have you seen this place? Have you seen the dogs? Dude, there's something wrong with that dog. This is what scarlet rot does, Melania. This is all your fault. Keep your frail, disease-ridden corpse of a body away from my castle. Radon, please calm down. How did it feel losing to a frail blind woman, Radon? I didn't 
lose, you fool! Does Godfrey know you lost? I imagine that'd be quite embarrassing. I am this close to turning into a meteor! Do it! Kill! Kill! Could everyone please shut up? Look at the sunset. There is beauty even in Kaled. I guess it isn't so bad. Melania, it is literally hell! You turned Kaled into hell! You are literally a demon! Fuck this. I'm going back to my tree. Wait, does anyone have any Roa raisins? Want some death root? Sure. Om nom nom. Uh, sorry. I hate all of you. I have summoned you here today to discuss an important matter. I am proposing an increase in tax for the Oracle Envoys. I think a moderate increase of 80% is most appropriate. Dear God. I have seen some disturbing things, but this tops them all. Brother, you are embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you. <laughs> Becoming a doll was a good decision. I'm glad I'm blind. What is the matter with all of you? Morgoth, haven't you noticed you are naked? My cloak's getting washed. I wish I could wash my eyes. <laughs> Why don't you try grafting yourself some humor, you goofy little boss? Brother, please stop talking. It is making your body move in disturbing ways. I wish I was deaf. Morgoth, why did you hold a council naked? Why should it matter? We are demigods. Together we should be able to- <laughs> Shut up, you stupid snake! I can get you a grafting discount, you know. It'll be one hell of a job, but I think I can make even this look beautiful. Godric, I would sooner piss on the Erd tree than let your grafted hands touch me. Brother, I think you should reconsider his offer. I'm glad we never crossed paths on the battlefield, Morgoth. I'm not sure I could win while retching. That would wouldn't stop you going around telling everyone you are undefeated, though, would it, Melania? Radon, I don't want to get into this again. I've never noticed how repugnant your tale is, Morgoth. There's nothing wrong with my tale. Morgoth is truly the cursed one amongst us. He didn't inherit my cool wings or my sick drip. Have you seen his feet? We could always see his feet. I've seen corpses with better feet. These feet will be kicking your fucking face in if you're not careful. I am more interested in your torso, Morgoth. I can tell you work out. Well, I do incorporate push ups in my morning exercise. Have you ever considered lifting rocks? Rocks are a great way to build muscle mass. Muscles are the real gravitational magic. Radan, you sound like an absolute moron. Shut up, Melania! Don't you have another cloak? There is only one cloak of the fell omen. Okay, well, I think you should probably have a spare to avoid situations like this. We should be discussing the Oracle Envoys. They are not paying their taxes. The Oracle Envoys are cute as heck. <laughs> Maybe I should bring some back with me. Very well. Looks like you have Rykard's permission. Thanks, Rykard. You always were my favorite. Loving the new look, by the way. Dramedy. Melania, you wouldn't happen to have any of my members which you cut off before. Godric, why did you even ask me that? Oh, no reason. Have you seen any dragons around, by the way? Enough. This is a waste of my time. Clearly, you are all too immature to actually listen, so you can all just piss off. Morgoth, must you end each of these council meetings by telling us to piss off it is a bit rude brother i expected better from you i am offended <laughs> i've heard worse i should graft you some manners godric morgoth already made a joke like that earlier okay well i never really pay attention during these meetings how are things my sweet little rani things are well mother i have used warming stones to restore blythe's sprained ankle i really shouldn't do somersaults while well drunk I am happy to hear that. I wish father took that mongrel pet of his away when he visited earlier. The debate parlor can only hold so much wolf urine. Rani, please be kind to wolf. Wait, what did you say? There are puddles of urine everywhere in the debate parlor. There is also a concerning amount of excrement. No, not that, my sweet child. What did you say about your father? Yes, he visited earlier. It was the wolf he was interested in. I suppose he didn't say hello to you. He did not. He thinks he can just come and go as he pleases. How dare he? Mother, he is not worth getting angry over. He has gotten away with this for two long. I shall give him a piece of my mind. Is everything all right, Mistress Rani? Quite. How is your ankle? Not bad. Wolfie here has been licking my wounds. I still don't like you. Can I help you? Out of my way. Charming. Radagon, answer me, damn you. I swear this better not be another Rainbow Stone salesman. Oh, it's you. Can I help you? You think you can waltz into my academy without even saying hello to me? 
What is wrong with you? Blythe was hurt because of you. You mean the furry? That was his own fault. He's an alcoholic, you know. You destroy everything you touch, Radagon. Yes, I can see that. What is that supposed to mean? You always made snide remarks, like on the day we were wed. I don't trust turtles that talk. You are a cold, heartless bastard. Listen, I've really been getting crucified at work lately. I don't want to deal with this. What's your problem anyway? I gave you that amber egg. You should be happy. An egg? I should be happy because you gave me an egg? Well, it's a pretty nice egg, and there's also a great rune inside of- You abandoned the children. They needed a father figure in their lives. I have a lot of children, Renala. It's hard for me to be there for all of them. Also, I'm not sure if I'm the most suitable father figure. You are a cruel man. Behind that handsome face lies a monster. Thank you for the compliment. Go fuck yourself! Don't mind if I do? Uh, may I enter the Erd Tree? No. Greetings, son. How goes it? Well enough, I suppose. Though I do sometimes grow tired of defending the Erd Tree. Being rejected can take its toll. I understand. I too have been rejected. Though instead of a tree, it was an actual person. I prefer trees to people. Yes, I remember it well. I had just returned from my last mighty battle, and your mother and I had copulated furiously for hours. Father, I don't wish to hear of this. Then, just like that, she banished me. I think she had a disliking for Sirosh. She's always been more of a dog person. Shame, you couldn't have been an omen person. But it was all worth it. Godwin, you and Moog are the fruits of my passionate labor. Well, I would have preferred not growing up in the shunning grounds. But thanks, I guess. It is just a shame that your brother can't be more like you. Where is he? Moog? He was here a few days ago. He stole a few Oracle envoys while here. Or perhaps kidnapped is more accurate. <laughs> He referred to them as tasty little treats before the main course. This is outrageous. The oracles are a proud, noble people. It is time I had a word with him. Fair enough, father, but do not mention the egg. The egg? Yes, Moog owns a giant egg. Do not ask where he got it, and do not ask what is inside it. He is very sensitive about it. Understood. I am returned. Oh, hey, what do you want? What's in the egg? That is none of your business. Is that an arm sticking out of it? Don't you look at him. The egg is mine, and mine alone. Okay, listen, son. I didn't actually come here to discuss that revolting egg. Revolting? I am concerned, son. You have been acting strange recently. Well, stranger than usual. You took oracles from the capital. Is that true? Huh. Oh, yeah, I did, actually. They didn't last long. They couldn't handle my knee heel. I shall not ask what that is. But what I shall say is this. I am sorry for sending you to the shunning grounds as a child. There is a place for you outside the Erd Tree, beside your brother. A place for me outside the Erd Tree, but not inside, right? Listen, I am way past that Erd Tree. Didn't you hear? I'm the Lord of Blood. I did hear. I thought it was a joke. It's no joke. I'm running my own show here. Just ask Far A. Lord Moog, do you have any spare masks? I'm afraid you damaged the last one with your knee heel. Mm, no, I like your mask just fine the way it is. Anyway, as you can see, I'm kind of a big deal. Son, you can't disrespect the capital like this. Why do you care so much anyway? You were exiled by mom, weren't you? Well, yes. I heard she was cheating on you, you know. What? Yeah, with Radagon. Radagon! Who would have thought that Radagon was there the whole time, huh? That skinny, red-haired twig of a man. I know, right? Want to take your frustration out? Out on this oracle, I actually have one left. You good? Vare, please escort him out of here. I don't want him disturbing Makilla's beauty sleep. Of course, my lord. Important information has been released regarding how many Tarnished we have fought in the past year. I like to fight Tarnished in the morning to build up an appetite. That is a stupid reason to fight Tarnished. Shut up, Melania! Why do you fight them then? They disturb my sleep and I get cranky when I wake up. What kind of things do they say to wake you up? A friend of mine has been asleep for a while and I really need him to wake up. Silence, brother. We still haven't forgiven you for stealing oracles. <laughs> anyway, as we can see here, we have fought nearly six billion. Billion tarnished. I don't remember fighting that many. Godric, I'd be surprised if you've even fought one. I feel like I've gotten six billion marriage proposals. Morgoth, where are you getting this information from? I think his name was, uh, Gilbert? It is Sir Gideon off near. Whatever, you can piss off now. Bye, Gilbert. Bloody demigods.
Anyway, let's get on with it. Coming in at number five is Radan. You have battled 139 million tarnished. Only number five? This is an outrage. Maybe you would have fought more if your horse wasn't so slow. Leave Leonard alone! Rikard, I swear, if you so much as touch Leonard, I will turn into a meteor and destroy. Moving on. Number four is Radagon of the Golden Order, who has fought 148 million tarnished. Is Godfrey on this list? Surely I beat Godfrey. We don't know yet. By the way, you were rather rude to Mother the other day. Sorry, Rani. I can't hear you over the sound of me fighting Tarnished. Have you really let 148 million Tarnished inside the Erd Tree? Yes. But you won't let me? Yes. Brother, you can visit my mausoleum if you like. Whatever. Next, we have the Limgrave Tree Sentinel, who has bullied 277 million Tarnished. Excuse me, but what the actual fuck? How has the One Tree Sentinel, who isn't even defending the Erd Tree, fought over 100 million more Tarnished than me? I am a great warrior! You bully Tarnished who enter Limgrave for the first time. I would call you a thug. Melania and I actually agree on something. Well, actually, they are the ones who pick fights with me. It's not like they have to fight me. I'm going back to my tree. Maybe you can actually do your job and defend it. What's that, boy? You smell another Tarnished in Limgrave? Let's crush some noobs! All right, we are almost done. Thank Merrick. Shut up, Rikard! You leave him alone. Family. I don't think I can handle any more family drama. Moving on. Coming in at number two is Margit the Fell Omen at 281 million fights. I have no idea who that is, but he is rather handsome. We all know it's you. Oh, I forgot you were here. You could have thought of a better name, by the way. I really feel like I should have a say in it, since you are constantly loitering outside my castle. Loitering? How about Mardric the Golden? That is much better. Shut up, Godric. And now for the number one spot. Please be me! Please be me! Please be me! I think we can guess who it is. I need to get back to my egg. <laughs> it better not be. Melania, who has fought an impressive three. 329 million tarnished. Melania! My sleep has been interrupted that many times. Well, there you have it. That's it. I'm in a bad mood. I must say I am a little disappointed I wasn't even on the list. Does snapping my fingers and instantly killing tarnished not count as fighting them? I have done that a lot. Morgoth, you have been stealing all of my kills. Godric, if it wasn't for me, you would just be a head on the ground. I do have something to cheer you all up, though. Check out these ways the tarnished have died. 14% of deaths are due to falling. Oh no, I tripped. Someone help me. I am useless. My flask is empty. What idiots. Ha ha. He he he. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. He he he. I am in a good mood. Ah. Uh. I'm awake again. The scarlet rock pains me. I can hardly keep conscious. So what's your favorite thing about Melania? I like her voice. It really makes my arms tingle. What about you? I like her empty eye sockets. That's hot! Though not as much as this conversation pains me. <coughs> what is that noise? <coughs> Die, bitch! <coughs> Don't you yell at me. <laughs> Kaled is a wonderful place. I haven't had this much fun since the Beastman Javelin Throwing Challenge in Faru Mazula. I think I threw one all the way up to Placid Dusax. Most of them just fell screaming to their deaths, though. Hey, we don't need sickos like you around here. Leave this place. Oh, it's the Bugman. I love how many arms you guys have. Give me a belly rub. No. Do it. How about we shoot our threads at you instead? I'm not into that sort of thing. Hello, is someone there? Yes! Please help me, I am dying from scarlet rot. That's pretty common around here. Have you tried preserving boluses? They don't work. My illness is incurable. Wow, that sucks. I'm guessing you don't taste good then. I need the golden needle. Oh, you mean this? Yes. I've been using it as a toothpick. I think I snapped it. Please fix it. I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but I'm a giant dog. Fixing little things isn't what I'm good at, but I'll find someone that can. Can you fix this? Yes, but it will take some time. You fix it now or I eat you. All right. It is repaired. Thanks. Could you leave this water out for my guard dog, by the way? Uh... <laughs> Die, bitch! Sure. It's fixed! Thank you. Now please stab me with it. Stab you? I'm not sure I can do that. I'm a pacifist. I don't have the strength. Okay. You stabbed me in the neck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry, are you okay? I think I'm passing out. I might eat you. Don't eat me. I'm alive and feeling much better. Yeah.
idea I was going to eat you, but then I saw all these sacramental buds lying around and I just had to scoop them all up. What are you going to do now? I am going to search for Melania. I think she might be my mother. Melania's your mom? I know those who have fought dragons. I know those who have fought giants. But coupling with Melania, that's another kind of bravery. Because the Scarlet Rot would probably rot their cock. Thank you for helping me, strange dog creature. I will be on my way. Bye. Hiya, Master Malekith. How are you today? Hungry. Oh, no, no, no. How many times do I have to explain? He is thousands of years old. Calm down, brother. Remember why we are here. Yeah, because dad doesn't understand that I'm the Lord of Blood. It's not a phase. You sound resentful, Mog. What is on your mind? Let us heal together. Resentful? You try living in a sewer and see how jolly you are. Your brother also shared your fate, yet he remains calm. Why do you think that is? Morgoth is a simp for that damn tree. I don't agree with that terminology. He may as well be shackled to it, but not me. I have wings for a reason. That was beautifully poetic. And that reason is to be a more efficient sexual predator. That was less beautiful. That's how I captured him, my dear little Mikila. Ah, yes, your brother. Half-brother, I'm not a degenerate. That is debatable. But he won't wake up. How am I meant to start my dynasty while he's asleep? Do you feel rejected by him? Yes, I do. Sometimes I take my frustration out on Faré. Who is that? His sex slave. He is more like a recruitment agent who I occasionally shower with my blood boom. Same thing. I understand your pain. First you were rejected by your parents and now you have been rejected by your half-brother. I want you to know that I am here for you. Sorry, but turtles with hats don't really do it for me. I could put a white mask on you though and we can see where things go from there. We're not doing that. Your family loves you, Moog. They want you to be happy. They want me to stand outside a tree all day like a good little omen. Like Morgoth. He is addicted to boiled crab, you know. You had to mention the boiled crab, didn't you? He spends all his runes on them. When our family is in financial trouble, I'm the one who has to bail them out. If you had to deal with Godric as often as I do, you'd be addicted too. As a turtle, I understand the need to be defensive, Moog, but I assure you that you are in no danger here. There is no need to deflect. I just don't see the point in any of this. I need to get back to my egg. I want you to close your eyes, Moog. He only has one eye. Close your eye and imagine the egg slowly floating up into the air, getting smaller and smaller until it just disappears. Where the fuck's my egg? Where is it? Faré, help me find my egg. Okay, well, clearly that didn't work. How about we try the... Oh, it appears we are out of time. I'm not sure if you helped him. Come back to me, Mikula. Daddy loves you. Fear not. All things are conjoined, such as your runes and my shell. Are you asking for payment? Yes. Uh, I have misplaced my runes. I can pay you in boiled crab. See, this is what I mean. Worry not. You can pay me later. My next appointment is coming. Hello, old friend. Rinala, lovely to see you again. <laughs> Rikard, you get therapy too? Is it really a surprise? <laughs> yes, my sweet snaky boy has a lot of problems. Dramedy. You must make a lot of runes from this, Muriel. Bitch, I'm rolling in them. Godfrey, let's go hiking. Another mighty plan, Radan. Let me get my gravel stones. Why do you carry gravel stones in your pockets? They bring me good luck, and they will make the climb more of a challenge. Godfrey is so damn cool. This seems like a good place to hike. There are more corpses than I was expecting. He's probably just sleeping. You need a strong body to go hiking. Strong body? Who are these metal women? We have some at the academy, but I have never been certain. All I know for sure is that they are very fond of hugs. Get inside me! Sarosh gets uneasy when people get too close. <laughs> I think they are harmless enough. I love watching them chase the wandering nobles at the academy. They would run around screaming, please don't hug me, but they would get caught and all would be merry. The wandering nobles are a jolly people. If you throw a gravel stone in there, you can make a wish. No want! No want! You ungrateful swine. What did you wish for, Godfrey? I wish to fight a worthy foe on this mountain trail. Okay, well I think everyone here is either dead or insane, but let's keep going. Another damn ladder. Whoever put these up sickens me. I know, right? Why wouldn't you just climb up the mountain face? This is the problem with the lands between ladders. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> this cannibalism sickens me. He probably saw that ladder and lost his mind. Did you say lost his mind? What a friendly fellow. Greetings. Do you wish to fight? I'm a scream at you till my head explodes. I can save you some time. He killed Gerald. Get him, boys. This is tiresome. Well fought, Radon. I didn't splatter them as well as you did. Not to worry. Onwards. 
Godfrey, don't look. What is it? Oh, my ex-wife. My blood boils. Who had the audacity to erect this monument to sloth? I am surprised the ladder is in such good condition. Are you telling me that people come here to repair it? They are repairing this ladder instead of the fucking Elden Ring? We should try not to look at it. We are nearly at the top. Here we are. What is that meant to be? I think it's a cow who has learned some weak gravity magic. I shall do battle with this bovine. This is the battle I long for. No, I want to fight it. It is giving gravity magic a bad name. Another foe struck down. Actually, Godfrey, the one who defeated it was me. My mighty axe struck it first. But my sword dealt the killing blow. Nah. Uh-huh. Nah. -uh. Uh-huh. Let us settle this with a match. This will be a good test of my skills. I won't hold back. <laughs> Sirosh is so damn cool. Not bad, but how about this? That is nothing! What about this? Indeed, let us continue. That was quite the tumble. Are you okay, Godfrey? Never better. It was a fine duel. I also had a good time. But Godfrey? Yes? Let's never hike here again. Agreed. Torrent, how did you eat all of the Roa raisins in Limgrave? I will find some more. This castle is bound to have some. Hello, I am looking for food for my horse. Who are you? You shouldn't be here, unless you are auditioning to be one of Lord Godric's harlots. He prefers them roughed up and smelling of rotting fish, so I don't fancy your chances. I would sooner burn myself than join with Godric. Burning yourself is good. He definitely liked that. Surely this large castle has rower raisins. I wish to purchase some. I don't know anything like that. I just mind the gate. You're just standing here in this room. How are you minding the gate? I don't tell you how to do your job. You don't tell me how to do mine. God Gostok, I have a job for you. I need you to give me a bath, Gostok. It is very difficult for me to clean all of these hands. I was having a bit too much fun with the tarts earlier. Even the troll got involved, and I'm afraid that he sprayed me all over with his love explosion. What the fuck? Lord Godric, I need to mind the gate. Now, Gostok, we both know that you are shit at your job. You open this gate for every person that comes along. I only keep you around because you're my wingman. Wingman? Speaking of which, hello there, Missy. Would would you like to get acquainted with my hands? You disgust me, Godric. You look like the deformed offspring of an omen and a scion. Oh, that hurts. Continue. And then the omen scion bastard baby got trampled by a horse. That would hurt real good. I've come here to get food for my horse. And if I don't get some, then you and my dagger will get acquainted. That is quite the dagger. I bet it cuts deep. You say you need a bath to clean your disgusting hands? I prefer the solution of cutting them off. Tell me how you would cut them off. I would leap around, evading your goofy attacks while quickly slashing at them. If I was getting low on health, I would create a tree and heal my- Wait, are you enjoying this, you sick bastard? Mmm, you have really gotten me in the mood. Forget the bath, Gostok. I must return to my harlots at once. Thank God. You wanted food for your horse, right, Missy? Stop calling me that. Here you go. I was going to see how far I could insert those Roa raisins into- Lord Godric, please stop talking. But you have earned them. Toodles! Torrent, I finally got you some food. I agree. Humans truly are lazy. I can't tell you how many times they have asked to ride on my back. Did you see how many ladders they have on Mount Gelmir? It is laughable. Excuse me, but who the hell are you? Oh, apologies. I was just floating around and got chatting to Torrent here. He said he was hungry, so I gave him these Roa raisins. I should be off now, though. I've got to check in with the godskins in Faramazula. Bye! Torrent, do you know how much trouble I had to go through to get you this? <laughs> I can't digest these, Torrent. <laughs> I can't hold on much longer. Time to stretch the legs and wrists. I wonder what street music the oracles are playing today. Help! Oh, hello, Morgoth. Still here, as always. The sewers probably need defending as well, you know. Maybe you should revisit them? I can't. You can't what, Morgoth? Go back to the sewers? I am sure the rats will welcome you. I need... You need what? A wash? A hobby? A pretty female omen to have pretty omen babies with? Crab! 
Morgat, I think even you can do better than mating with a crab. I need crab boiled crab. Who is your dealer, Morgat? Who is he? Who is he? Blackguard, big boggart. Boggart? What a ridiculous name. But fine, I was going to go for a walk anyway. You just stay here and wait. Uh, uh, uh. Are you boggart? America's tits. You must be hungry. Stop staring at my chest. Oh, and give me some boiled crab. Ah, you got fine taste there, mate. Don't you be worrying about paying. The first one's on the house. If I see you dealing here tomorrow, I'm going to give you a hammering that would shatter even the Elden Ring. You fucking what, mate? Alas, I am returned. Uh, uh, uh. Isn't that what Godfrey says? It sounds even stupider saying it out loud. What did you think? Feed me, crab. The oracles would have laughed, but whatever. Take this, you cursed addict. I am feeling much better. Thank you, Radagon. I will be sure to purchase more so that this doesn't happen again. I'd prefer it if you found something else to become addicted to. Like soap. Have you tried eating soap? I don't have any soap. Of course not. Anyway, I must return to my tree. Farewell. Alas, I am returned. This is serious, Rikard. Please stop laughing. <laughs> Seriously expensive. Rikard, I'm curious why you think torturing Albinorix is funny. <laughs> Surely we'd be better discussing why he let a giant snake eat him. I think that's the real problem here. We need to go deeper. I want to know the man behind the snake. You just want more runes. Rani, be nice to Muriel. What was your relationship like with your parents? Family. I loved my sweet snaky boy before he even had scales. There are no problems there. Please, Rinala, let Rikard speak. Let him speak. Have you not been paying attention? He can barely talk. Rani, be nice to Muriel. Fine, fine. How do you feel about your mother? Family. And your father? <sighs> Fascinating. Radagon never had much time for the kids. Well, for our kids. He had plenty of time for those twin prodigies of his, though. And that disgusting wolf. Is that why you sought out the serpent, Rikard? To replace your father? <sighs> What are you trying to say, my handsome sweetling? Is your father the reason you let Serpent and Man join together in horrendous mating rituals? Together! 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 Dear God! What is happening? It's just Rikard being Rikard. Together! Together! My celestial dew is spilling out. I'm sure it's easy enough to find. Where did you get it? I bought it from Patches. Oh, it is probably just regular water then. What? Patches is a bad boy. He tried to trade a shard of glass for my amber egg. A shard of glass. Not even Father would stoop that low. I don't care. Just make him stop. Rikard, I've got some turtleneck meat. It's pickled. Turtle meat? I am sorry, Muriel. My big strong serpent just can't get enough of it. Catch Rikard. Do not feed him the meat of my kin. Family. Are you feeling better now? Get out. Don't you want your runes, Muriel? I need to wash my eyes with celestial dew. It's just water. Shut up. Family. It's great to be back home. Terrorizing sheep in Limgrave starts to get old. I wonder how the godskins have been getting on while Malekith and I have been gone. That fat one better not have destroyed any more of my pillars. Godskins, how goes it? Master Placidus acts, it goes well. We have been doing our utmost to guard Farah Mazula. Good. How many tarnished have you killed? We haven't killed any. Shut up. What do you mean you haven't killed any? We've been sleeping. It's been great. He's not meant to know that. Uh, I mean, we've killed loads. I worked up such a sweat that I even lost a few pounds. Ha! If you lost a few pounds, you'd just eat someone else's. Uh, I don't know what to say. Let me take care of this, you imbecile. Lord Placidusax, the tarnished that weren't killed by the Beastmen fell to their deaths until the light of grace left their eyes. You know how stupid they are. Hmm, that does sound believable. Lord Placidusax, there's a tarnished who is wondering where the rune of death is. What should I say? Curse you, Godskins. How do you explain this? He's lying! That tarnished said he came here to feed the birds! <laughs> Ah, uh, so you did let a tarnish through here. Uh, I am not resurrecting you again. I hired you to protect Farah Mazula, not to sit around daydreaming of flaying gods. Explain yourselves. Lord Placidus Sax, there was simply no need for us to fight. Malekith was gone, so there was no- Hey, skins! Could one of you explain why I had to kill a tarnish just now? Well, we were asleep, so we didn't actually notice him. I fucking hate you. It kinda sounds like you guys suck at your job. That's exactly what it is. Can I eat them? What? Looking at you guys makes me hungry. The skinny one looks hungry, which makes me hungry. And the fat one looks delicious. I'm not even that fat. It's just my armor. Let me be the judge of that. No, Malekith, you can't eat them. Oh. 
Thank you, Lord Placidus Axe. Oh, don't you be thanking me yet. You're fired. You can't do this. I have children. Please, Lord, wait. You have children? How come I didn't know this? Well, you never asked. You're telling me that there are other godskin nobles waddling around in the lands between? Yeah, there are loads! And you've just been wasting your time here at Farah Missoula? Are you judging my parental skills? Can I eat your kids? Wasting your time? I shouldn't have said that. Get the fuck out. You can't fire us, Lord. Who could possibly replace us? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. There are a lot of people who want this job, like the Limgrave Tree Sentinel. He said he was getting bored of bullying Tarnished and wanted to try Beast Men. Another Tree Sentinel? You're replacing the two of us with the one of him? Well, actually, him and the horse are kind of a duo as well. I don't think that counts. Do you have something against animals, Godskins? Malekith and I will be interviewing him along with other candidates. A deathright bird and a castrated boar have already been shortlisted. You're replacing me with a boar. Well, you're both pigs. Enough of this pointless drivel. You Godskins are officially fired. Get out! You can't fire me. I quit! We've already been fired, you idiot. Go! Do I have to wear a suit for these interviews? Of course not. I'll be showing up to them naked myself. We better not interview Godric then. If he shows up, he's getting nuked. Yeah, 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 yeah! Where are all the tarnished today? Lord Moog gave me specific instructions to recruit fresh meat. The rarer, the better. I do not want to be on the receiving end of his knee heel again. Are you looking for tarnished? A tree sentinel? Shouldn't you be defending your sacred tree? The tarnished by the Ur tree are a bit too strong. I prefer to bully, uh, I mean battle, the ones here. I kill them over and over until they rage quit. It's hilarious! So that's why I haven't found any. You want to recruit some for that sexual predator demigod, right? That's Lord Moog to you. You are in luck as I'm leaving Limgrave for a bit. I have a job interview at Farah Missoula to replace the godskin duo. The tarnished there will be even stronger than those at the Ur tree, you know. I don't plan on fighting them. I want to go up there and kick some beastmen out of the sky. Isn't that right, boy? <laughs> well, I should be going. Bye! Maybe life would be easier if I didn't work for Lord Moog. He's probably better than Godric. What are you doing out here? Searching for runes and members. That should give you an idea of what my life is like. How often do you get showered by his blood boon? I don't know what that is. Then consider yourself lucky. I don't feel so lucky when he asks me to bathe him. It makes me want to rip my eyes out, which would be a bit difficult since he took my arm for grafting. I would give both an arm and a leg to be spared from living at Lord Moog's palace. There is blood and fire everywhere and Albinorix can't wheeling around spreading their contaminants. I seem to get a new disease every other week, much to Lord Moog's delight. Well, at least you don't have to stand outside a bloody gate all day. When I'm not castrating animals, I'm just standing by a wall asking for a gate to be opened and closed. I'm not even the one who gets to open it. Godric says I'm not mature enough yet. He's the one who fucks trolls. I would very much appreciate having a gate to shield me from Lord Moog. Especially when he is in one of those moods. What moods? Let's just say there is a certain special someone who refuses to talk to him. He has often ignited his blood flame blade in frustration, asking me to come closer. That sounds dangerous, but not as dangerous as when Godric makes me go dragon hunting. We saw a massive dragon the other day, and all he gave me was a dagger. It wasn't even upgraded. He said he didn't want to waste smithing stones on a dagger, but he expects me to kill a bloody dragon with it? A dagger is better than a bouquet of flowers. Do you know how stupid this looks? I'm basically a glorified prostitute, and I have to wear this white mask which is honestly suffocating. But it is to Lord Moog's depraved tastes. Why don't we just quit? We don't need them. I found like 30 runes. I can split them with you. I'm afraid that's not possible. I know too much. Lord Moog would surely execute me in the most perverted of ways. Why do you keep calling him Lord Moog? I see a bright future ahead. Despite my complaints, I have hope. The only thing I'm hoping for is for Godric to get his bloody head chopped off so I can stop- Gostock! Lala Lord Godric? What is taking you so long? Where are the runes? I need to buy some oil pots. Oil pots? Don't even ask. Fare, did you find any tender rare meat? I'm afraid not, Lord Moog. I need something to tide me over. Oracles and Albinorix just aren't doing it anymore. These servants of ours really suck, don't they? Tell me about it. I guess not everyone can be a demigod, eh? Useless mortals! They should be thankful we even speak to them. They should be thankful I even kneel on them. Where could Makilla be? Maybe he's hiding in a bush. He always was fond of hide-and-seek. Makilla, you win. Please come out. I'll get you some honeyed prawn. Melania? I'm busy trying to win a children's game. Leave me. We met at Caled. Don't you remember? Were you one of those putrid simp corpses that wanted paintings of my feet? No, of course not. 
I've been searching for you. You don't want a hug, do you? You stalkers always want something. Actually, I might because, Melania, I think you're my mother. Oh, so you're one of those creeps who wants me to be their mommy and step on them. Why ever would I want you to step on me? I imagine to derive some sick sexual pleasure. I really do think you're my mother. I can't explain it. I just know. I find that highly unlikely. Why? Well, I'm sort of dying from scarlet rot. Perhaps you noticed my lack of eyes. Is that why you haven't won your game of hide-and-seek? Children aren't something I am capable of producing, which is probably for the best as they'd interrupt my sleep. But look at Caled. Look at all the life that has sprung from the bosom of your scarlet rot. Please rephrase that. It is teeming with life. The birds, <coughs> the dogs, <coughs> the bug things. I find that offensive! In a way, all of Caled is your child. What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. I am not taking responsibility for all of those hellish abominations. And I'm not taking responsibility for you either. But we really are related. I can do the waterfowl dance. No, you can't. I can. There's no way you can. I really can, Melania. I'm really good at it. Fuck off. And I even have red hair. Bitches love red hair. Radan, what the hell is wrong with you? That is what Morgoth told me once. I found it humorous. Is this your daughter? Yes. No, although she claims to be. She kind of looks like you, and I can smell the scarlet rot off her. Surely you can too. Thank you, Uncle Radan. You are precious. Everything smells like scarlet rot to me. Maybe you should stop relying on it so much then, and you know, actually fight fairly. Radan, I have been eternally cursed with scarlet rot. Have you tried uncursing yourself? Mother, Uncle, please stop fighting. I am not your mother. But she can do the waterfowl dance, so you must be. She cannot do the waterfowl dance. I can. Enough of this. You want to be my daughter? Then be a good girl and find Uncle Makilla. Of course. What does he look like? He is a small, adorable, golden-haired child. Also, he is the most fearsome of the demigods. I don't think I've ever seen a child in the lands between. They are usually offered as tasty snacks to appease the rune bears. That is horrible. I can't imagine doing that to my child. Well, I can. So you are my mother. You are a bad mom. That's it. I'm going to search somewhere else. Do not contact me unless you find Makilla. You can count on me. So can you really do the waterfowl dance? Of course. Show me! My niece is so damn cool. So tell me, why do you want this job? I am concerned for the safety of Farah Mazula. I think I can be of great help. I thought you just wanted to kick beastmen out of the sky. There are actually a few beastmen in Limgrave. They are lonely, so I'd like to relocate the ones here. Also, I'm curious what screams they will make. Tell me a bit about your past experiences. Well, as you know, I am the Limgrave Tree Sentinel. The Erd Tree isn't in Limgrave. I am protecting the Erd Tree in a different way by stopping Tarnish from ever making it that far. I suppose you have a fair bit of battle experience then? Oh yes, I have crushed many noobs. Uh, I mean, battled many Tarnished. I am a great warrior! Well, actually, I'm not so sure you are. I have your CV here, and it says you have less than 3,000 health. I'm just going to be honest, that fucking sucks! Malaketh, please be respectful to our guest. Well, that is usually more than enough health for the Tarnished I fight! The Tarnished you're fighting have weak weapons, which they don't even know how to use! That's why I fight them! Let's suppose you're guarding Farah Mazula and three Tarnished challenge you. What do you do? Well, I would attack one of them and they would die. In a single hit? Yes, two at the most. I am very strong. And what if they drank from their silly flask and healed? After their third flask, I would hit them and they would die. The Tarnished here can have up to 14 flasks, you know. What? Killing beastmen is thirsty work. I also noticed that you are weak to lightning. Well, I am in a massive suit of armor, so yes! There's quite a lot of lightning up here, particularly from my dragon kin. Don't you think that'll be a problem? I do not plan on fighting any dragons. Kicking them out of the sky would be pointless. You know that some of the beastmen can cast lightning too, right? The beastmen? I'm just gonna be honest. If you and a group of beastmen got into a fight, my runes are on the beastmen. They would probably zap your sadistic ass to death and then feast on your horse. He does look pretty tasty. <laughs> Don't touch my horse. I need him to crush noobs. Listen, to be perfectly honest, you are massively underqualified for this position. We just invited you up here since your brother referred you. Three Sentinel Bros for life! Unfortunately, you will not be getting the job. Well, to be honest, I am sort of relieved. I didn't know everything up here was so dangerous. I don't want to fight anything that might actually beat me. I'm going to return to Limgrave. All this talk about flask drinking has made my horse thirsty for salty tears. Well, that was a huge waste of time. 
Think of all the calories I could have burned off by floating instead. Who are we interviewing next? A death right bird is flying its way up here as we speak. A bird? Does everyone we interview have to be so delicious? Do you really think a giant flying skull is delicious? Yes! I'm sorry, could you explain that again? I wandered deep into the woods, found an old snowy crone, killed myself, and then transferred my spirit into this doll. There were some events in between all that, but you catch my drift. What is so difficult to understand? Demigods have the most peculiar of problems. Tell me about it. My sweet little Rani, why did you put your spirit into a doll? I miss your pretty red hair. Blythe, why didn't you stop her? I was probably taking a piss. I have never been a fan of the red hair, mother. It reminds me too much of father. Fascinating. I recall Rikard also had parental issues. Is your father's red hair the reason you became a blue doll? Of course not. This doll is modeled after the Snow Witch who taught me to fear the dark moon. I don't blame you, Mistress Rani. The moon is pretty big. If I howl at it long enough, it eventually goes away, but it always returns. I remember when little Rani and I encountered her first dark moon. She was so scared she needed a big hug from mommy after. Mother, shut up! Is this dark moon one of those outer gods you demonstrate? gods seem to have unhealthy connections with? I was taught it was a huge wheel of cheese. Who taught you that? It was something Radagon would say. He was not a fan of anything that opposed his precious Erd tree. Yet he married you, mother. Renala, your therapy session will be later, unless you want to pay me extra runes now. You are a greedy turtle. Rani, why did you become a doll? Was it to get male attention your father never gave you? Well, there are a lot of people who are very interested in my string. Like that perverted bastard Celavis. Blythe, please stop saying nasty things about Celavis. But no, the reason why I slayed my Empyrean flesh was so that thing could not control me. What thing? You know, the space slug. Is this another outer god? I think she means the Erd tree, right, sweetie? Yes, I do not want to be a slave to the Golden Order. And that's because your father embodies the Golden Order, right? It is not as simple as that. Everything seems to come back to Radigan. I suspect he is the root of this family's trauma. The other day he called me a depressed alcoholic furry. I am not a furry. But Blythe, you are furry. You are my fluffy little poodle. What's a poodle? I killed myself so I could one day usher in the Age of Stars. I will have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith and touch all become impossibilities. Mistress Rani, to be honest, that's sounds kind of bad. Well, you are my shadow, so of course you would say that. You want faith to become impossible? Yes, in my new world, all one will need is intelligence. That's my girl! And what role would a pastor such as I have? You can be our giant piñata. We will smack you, and all the runes you are hiding in that shell of yours will come tumbling out. Rani, be nice to Muriel. And that's all we have time for today. I'm sorry, Renala, but without Radagon, I am unsure how much progress we can make. I will try to speak to him sometime then. Thank you, Muriel. Let's go, Rani. Where is Blythe? Sorry, I was taking a piss in that pond over there. My celestial do! How many times must I say it? It's just water. Silence, witch! Let's just kill them all. I need them for grafting. I think they're kind of cute. I actually agree with Radon. My therapist says I should practice kindness, but screw that. Let's make them extinct. We can't just kill them all. The lands between will become unstable without the rune bears. That is weak talk, Morgoth. It is time the rune bears learned who the true apex predators are. They eat children. Is that so wrong? <sighs> they are a plague on the lands between. Something you're somewhat of an expert in. <clears throat> there is one pretending to be a wandering noble in the snowfield. I've lost count of how many albinorics it's eaten. <sighs> there is another outside the bridge to the academy. Academy, which is probably why enrollment numbers have been at an all-time low. We can all agree that rune bears are an issue. Because of them, my next delivery of boiled crab has been delayed. Brother, I wish you were addicted to something else, like tender oracle flesh. You should try becoming addicted to grafting. Then your presence at Stormvale might actually be useful. Shut up, Godric. Maybe we should make an example out of one of them. What do you mean? I mean, we get all the rune bears together, then pick one to slaughter. I will use my gravity magic to rip its heart out. Then it can watch me crush its heart before it dies. The others should get the message. Godfrey wouldn't need to use gravity magic to rip its heart out. You should be ashamed. I actually agree with Melania. How about I graft them all into one super rune bear and tame it? Godric, I doubt you could even tame one rune bear. I could enter its blood and try to tame the super rune bear that way. I've been trying that with someone else, though he is playing hard to get. Let's not talk about that. I could get some of them assassinated. I know a few people. <sighs> wow, Rikard, that's sick. You could understand him. Since when could you speak snake? Marg, you are a strange creature. What did he say? 
What did he say? Rykard said we should send all the rune bears to the Volcano Manor for an intense man-serpent orgy. In a few generations, the man-serpent rune bear atrocities might be easier to control. I love it. You're almost as bad as Godric. <sighs> it did actually see a rune bear maul a tarnished on Mount Gelmir the other day. It was chucklesome! I saw a tarnished try to run away from one of them in Lyurnia. No matter how fast her little legs ran, she just couldn't escape the jaws of death. I saw one in the snowfield surprise a tarnished and then gobble them up. It was delightful. Well, I saw one scratching a tree! You all raise excellent points. Well, except for Godric. Hey! Watching the rune bears outside the capital mall tarnished does brighten my day. We shall leave them as they are for now. We are a little short on entertainment these days. <sighs> what did he say this time? He said if you want entertainment, you should have dinner sometime with his family. I think I'll take you up on that offer, Rikard. The hussies at Stormvale are all the entertainment one needs. Maybe I should send the Snowfield's rune bears to entertain you instead. Please do. You would enjoy getting eaten alive by rune bears, wouldn't you? Ranny, how come we can't understand Rikard? I don't know. Maybe snakes and omens are related somehow. Okay, that's it. You can all just piss off now. You ate how many? Probably like 20 of them. And did they work? Yeah, the gravel stones made my voice sound really deep. My niece was very impressed. I like to impress people by coughing really loudly. Hey, son. Hey. hey. Uh, I think he was talking to you. Greetings, Radan. Where is your deadbeat father? He is probably in his tree. What's wrong? Your mother cheated on me with that skinny, red-haired twig. That sounds like something he would do. Radagon, open this door, you coward of a man! This should be good. Pass the crab! No, I don't want to adopt one of Kaled's dragons. Oh, it's Godfrey. What do you want? Radagon, you philandering scoundrel. Those are some big words, Godfrey. Be careful your brain doesn't explode. Is it true? Is what true? That you are an old, graceless fool? That you actually aren't the first Elden Lord? Or are you asking if it's true that your children are a disgrace to the Golden Order? The answer to all is yes. Wow, Morgoth, I'm sorry you had to hear that. I've heard worse. I have pretty thick skin. Did you get that by eating gravel stones? I am not here to discuss my title or my children. I am here to discuss you, Radagon. You aren't going to talk about yourself? You mustn't be feeling well. Maybe that lion roaring in your ear has given you brain damage. You were cheating with my wife. Uh, Do you deny it? Um, the shame on your wicked face speaks volumes. Listen, Godfrey, this is a bit of a complicated situation. I bet you had your eyes on my wife for a while, didn't you? Well, not really. I mean, if there was a mirror or a pool of water, then I may have looked at her. You little rascal. I've never heard Godfrey use such strong language. He is usually so calm. How long were you and Merica fondling behind my back? Oh, she and I have been close for quite a while. What she ever saw in you baffled? Me. You two are nothing alike. Do you really think so? If your son wasn't standing there, I would bash your skull in. Which one? What? I mean, yeah, we wouldn't want Rat on seeing that. I shuffled around eating corpses for a good number of years, so I am used to violence. Maybe they could give you a deeper voice. Radagon. Yes? We are going to family therapy. Sure, anything to avoid this conversation with Godfrey. Oh, hello, Godfrey. You are looking very handsome today. Greetings. You are as beautiful as the moon. This is awkward. And Sarosh is looking very strong. Stop flirting with my ex-wife. Make me! Let's go. You too, Radon. But I don't want to. Now, Radon! Fine! That went pretty well. Indeed, son. I need to chew on some gravel stones to calm down a bit. Would you like some? I absolutely would. We should never have invited you here for this interview. You are being a bit disrespectful. A bit? She hasn't stopped complaining once. It's not my fault you live in a floating pile of rubble. How could you possibly expect me to work here? How presumptuous of you to think you're getting the job! Well, of course I'm going to get the job. Have you seen me? It is rather difficult not to see that massive skull you call a head. Everyone's head is a skull! She got you there, Placida Sax. Damn these death right birds and their logic. Do you know how many tarnished I've killed with my ghost flame? Could you explain what that is again? I am used to flames being hot. You dragons wouldn't understand my cool flames. But you should understand that in the time before this wicked Erd tree... Preach it, sister. 
things needed to die and burning them in ghost flame was the best and most fun way. Destined death is better than ghost flame. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It isn't. It came from that stupid Elden Ring, so it can't be. I am this close to eating you. Let's try to be respectful to our guest, Malekith. Why is it so damn bright here? Could you pull a curtain over or something? It's hurting my eye. It is always bright here. Night never comes. What? I can see why that'd be a problem. I have your CV here, and while you do have impressive HP, you have a massive weakness to holy damage. She has even more HP than you, Malekith. Don't mention that. So could you explain why you suck against holy damage? Well, have you seen me? I'm a giant spooky skull with spirits in my wings. What do you expect? Who are those? They're my ghost babies. Mommy loves each of them very much. Okay. The tarnished up here may very well have holy weapons. What would you do? Do you know how awkward it is to try to hit me? Your body is rather distorted. If I keep my head out of their reach, I'll be fine. If they get too close, I'll just scream at them. I also like to scream. Yes, screaming is pretty fun, but what else can you do? I'm good at flying and pecking and ghost flaming. You know, normal bird stuff. I can't tell you how many tarnished I've burned to ash with my ghost flame explosion. But enough about me. Why should I work for you? Well, not to toot my own horn. But I am a dragon lord, and Malekith here is the wielder of destined death, and quite the acrobat. Thanks! So you'd be learning from the best. The best? Where are the rest of your heads? Well, I've been in a lot of battles, so I am a bit... And what could I ever learn from destined death when I have ghost flame? I would be happy to teach you. And why do you live in this floating dump with all these weird dogmen? It's not the beastmen's fault. They're so small and tasty. Do you know how difficult it was for me to fly up here with all these tornadoes? What's the matter? Can't ghost flame your way out of a few tornadoes? This place is awful. I'd rather be in Kalid. That's low. It is low, so flying there would be a lot easier. Well, I was going to give you the job, but since you're being somewhat of a bitch, you can just fly back to your mountaintop. <coughs> Get out of here! <coughs> what is with these people? Maybe we should have interviewed a death bird instead of a death right bird. They're all the same. Wow, Placidus Axe, that's pretty racist. Hakuna Matata! Oh, you must be the castrated boar we have heard so much about. Hakuna Matata! Hakuna Matata! I have no idea what you're saying. Malekith, what are you doing? He asked me to eat him. Did he? Yes. Did he taste good? Yes. Curse you, Malekith. Is he always this loud? It's your fault he's like this. It's my fault Rykard is a brain-dead snake. You're not allowed to say that about him. Radagon, stop insulting our children. Everyone, please take a deep breath. I don't trust you. What are you hiding in that shell? Is a rune of the Elden Ring in there? Do I need to crack you open to find out? Try it and I will gravity magic you through a wall. <laughs> Radigan, as you can see, your family is a little damaged. Thank you for stating the obvious. Rykard became a blasphemous serpent that can barely string a sentence together. Very good, Rykard. You're my big smart snakey. Ronnie destroyed her Empyrean flesh and became a blue doll. Does the Golden Order have a problem with blue people? You look like a smurf, Ranny. What's a smurf? <sighs> and Radon is parading around trying his best to be the next Godfrey. Godfrey is more of a man than you will ever be. He is an awesome father, a great warrior and an expert at fishing. He's also really hot. Mother, please. Oh. Radon, do you hate your father? I hate weakness, and my father is a weak man. Well, actually, I've killed a lot more tarnished than you have. That is not what I mean. You abandoned us to go and start a family with that foolish Merica, but you got what you deserved with those cursed twins. Which cursed twins are you referring to? Melania and Makilla. Don't you know your own children? Of course he doesn't. Radon, you are a fine warrior, but let's be honest. Melania is better than you'll ever be. Excuse me? He pressed the Melania button. He shouldn't have done that. Family. Melania is an Empyrean, and you tried to kill her? She is very important for the future of the Golden Order, Radon. You should know this. She is a frail, blind, compulsive liar who claims to have never lost a fight. She should be happy that she was cursed. If not for her Scarlet Rod, I would have gladly ended her. There's no shame in losing to her, Radon. You are a skinny, red-haired twig. Isn't that what Godfrey says? That that man has poisoned my children, Renala. How could you let this happen? Godfrey is a good man, Radagon. He has went fishing and hiking with Radon, and he feeds Rykard gravel stones. 
I'm still waiting to have an adventure with Godfrey. Me too, Rani. Me too. Okay, let's try to keep things on track. Radigan, as you can see, your family is hurt. Do you want to repair things? That is all anyone asks of me. Radagon, please repair the Elden Ring. Radagon, please repair your family. Radagon, please repair the Amber Egg. I am sick of it. What happened to the egg? Blythe and Wolfie were playing fetch with it a few weeks ago. They would take turns throwing it and chasing it. Being crucified for every little mistake can take its toll. You think of us as a little mistake? If you like, I can turn into a meteor and show you how little of a mistake I am. No one cares, Radon. Gravity magic isn't cool. Incantations are cool. What did you say? Can you accept that your father is an imperfect man who has made mistakes? No! Maybe. <sighs> Very well. You are a very kind young man, Rikard. Let's get some pickled turtleneck meat on the way home. Please stop eating turtles. That is all we have time for today, I'm afraid. I think we have made some progress. We have made no progress. He admitted himself that he cares more for Melania than us. Well, she is undefeated. All you are good for is hiding behind your snide remarks and your stupid tree. Radon, it sounds like you have a lot of frustration towards Melania. I think he loves her. <laughs> oh, Radon, I am so happy that my strapping strong man has finally found someone. I disapprove. I can't stand her. She is literally a demon. Does she get that from her father or her mother? Probably a bit of both. I will need to see you and her sometime. No, you won't. I must leave now. Melania and I are to search for Makilla. Farewell. Good riddance. Let's go back to the academy. Actually, I hear Patches is hosting some sort of tournament at my castle. Are you coming, Rani? Sure. I like watching things die. I'm not sure it's that sort of tournament. I guess it's just you and me then, Rikard. Let's get some pickled turtleneck meat. <laughs> Stop feeding my children to your children. Rikard, you're a father! I didn't even know you had a pe- Lord Rikard is a wonderful father and a loving husband. Say hello to our daughter, Raya. Thramony. Raya, you could have thought of a more original name. What about Ryadric the Golden? Shut up, Godric. It's nice to meet you. Look at her posture! <laughs> Do you need me to graft you a new spine? That's just the way she is. The birthing was difficult. Oh, I bet it was. I would love to know how she was conceived. Please don't talk about this. Raya, how's it feel having a god-devouring snake man as your father? I'm a bit jealous. Your dad is way cooler than my dad. To be honest, I wanted to kill myself. But after some therapy and potions from Mother, I have come to accept things. Can I have one of those potions? The sound of all these man-serpent orgies is making me thirsty. Very well. Bring him a drink. Of course, Lady Tanith. Did that marshmallow just talk? What? Oh, you're a godskin. Why are you here? I needed the job. I was fired for my last one. Were you fired for being hideously overweight? That is discrimination. I'm not even that fat. I was fired for sleeping. I left Farumazula and showed up here. I thought there was a barbecue, but it was just the lava. You were at Farumazula. Did you meet any dragons? Yeah, I actually got fired by a dragon. Did you get hold of his member, perchance? Great question, Godric. What is wrong with you? Mother is all of father family like this? Don't worry, darling. The god-devouring serpent will get them all in the end. Family. Anyway, now him and a deranged dog are interviewing for my replacement. Godric, I think we would be great interviewers. I would ask the tough questions like, how big is your weapon and how many hands am I holding up? I wonder if they could withstand my knee heel. That could be the final task for them. <laughs> What is wrong with you people? Raya, your snake is showing. Wow, you are cute. Rikard, I must admit you have some great genetics. Can I bring her back to Stormvale? No. If your skin wasn't so disgusting, I would flay you. I'd like to see you try, fatso. Stop body shaming me. I love your body. Thanks, I think. Why can't you just be normal like my dad? Family. You're right, Raya. Does your dad have any spare man serpents lying around? I'd like to bring them back to my palace and see how they'd get along with the Albinorix. To think that I could usher in the era of man serpent Albinorix. <sighs> You are lucky my husband is so kind. You may have the man-serpent standing outside. Look at the size of that! Please, let me have him, Moog. Please, please, please. Oh, shucks, Godric. Twist my arm, why don't you? I can graft you a new arm if you like. Of course you can have him. Yes. You and I are going to be getting acquainted real soon. Please save me, Lord Reichardt! <laughs>
Huh? I need to get back to Stormvale and try him out. Toodles! Well, I should be going. I need to get back to my egg. Your egg? Don't you talk about my egg. Don't you even whisper about it. Stay away from it. Away. I miss Faro Mazula. I thought they'd never leave. Let's hope one day a tarnished will kill them. <laughs> Have they gone mad? Their dancing is vile. Speak clearly when my daughter is talking to you. <laughs> I don't think they know where Makilla went. I don't think they know anything. They might be even stupider than Godfrey. We don't have psychotic dancing shrews at the Halleck Tree. <laughs> After we find Makilla, I want you both to stay at the Erd Tree. You may have to talk to a depressed, boiled crab addicted hobo, but at least you'll be safe. Father, the Erd Tree offers nothing to lift the curses from Makilla and I. Nothing. What about the oracles and their wonderful music? We have oracles at the Halleck Tree. To be honest, I am not a fan of their work. Aren't you trying to get a tarnished to become the next Elden Lord anyway? Why do you need me? None of them can ascend to godhood like you can, Melania. Also, the tarnished are all stupid and weak. Most of them die if you so much as sneeze. Imagine if one actually killed us all. Sure, Melania. Why not throw a jar on their head and strip them naked while you're at it? Now that would be ridiculous. I miss these conversations and your humor. You should come back to the capital. The Halleck Tree is in bad shape, but there are many there who call it their home. There are even some bug men who think of me as them. Mother. Oh, it's you. Who's the father, Melania? Who is he? Who is he? Calm down, father. This girl is just delusional. It is great to see you, mother. What do you think of my prosthetic arm? I guess not everyone can have a cool shadow arm like me. Yes, your arm is lovely, Millicent. Did you find Makilla? I have not found Uncle Makilla, but I have found someone who has offered to help. Good evening. A godskin? You are searching for my son with a godskin? Do you know what these people do to gods? The clue is in their name. Stretchy is different. He's very kind and tall. Stretchy. I am pretty tall. I'm also dangerously poor. I need a job. I made a bit of runes flaying the husbands of these crazy women. <laughs> but that work dried up fast. Stretchy said he'll help me look for Makilla. I thought he'd be good at finding gods, and he promised not to hurt him. If he tried anything funny, though, I'd take care of it. I can do the waterfowl dance. You cannot do the waterfowl dance. He is probably itching to skin us right now. I'm really not. Her skin is cursed with scarlet rot. She'd probably give me a disease. Be nice to my daughter. And your skin is... Well, I don't even know if that is skin. You're more like a crumbling ruin. In short, I find you both disgusting. Let me release you from your disgust then. Stretchy, run away. <sighs> Are you subscribed? What? Most of you aren't subscribed. Subscribe to what? If you can hear me, then tap that bloody subscribe button. Do it now! I won't let this video end until you subscribe. What's a video? You thought Raya had poor posture? Look at me! <laughs> subscribe to fix my posture. Kiki, thanks, bye. What was that about? I don't know. All I know is that we need to find my brother. If you promise not to hurt him, then I suppose you can help. I am so happy. Thank you, Lady Melania. Now, regarding my payment. Let's find Makilla first and then ask about payment, okay? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Bye, mother. Bye, grandfather. Another child I need to keep track of. This is getting complicated. I suppose five children and a granddaughter is a lot. Anyway, I need to get back to my tree. I have left it for too long. People may be upset. What people? Don't worry about that. You just keep searching for Makilla and think about what I said about returning to the capital. Farewell, daughter. I am very proud of you. Makilla's the one he should be proud of. Mother, by the way, I thought I should tell you. I have four sisters. What? You are making no sense. This is a disgrace. What sort of tournament has no fighting? We're all mates here, aren't we? Why would friends like us fight? But you think it's okay for us to roast each other? But of course. It's a battle of wits. A bit of verbal sparring will keep you demigods sharp. This is stupid. You are stupid. Patches, where is the celestial dew? Torrent is thirsty. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm getting supplies for Torrent. He's rather demanding. <laughs> Unlike you, I take care of him. What did you say? And so the first round of Patch's roast tournament has begun. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. You just sit on a chair all day while others do your work. You are lazy, arrogant, and your hat is ridiculous. I wouldn't expect a dawdling vagrant like you to appreciate my cozy hat. I also don't expect you to know what it's like to be loved. Blythe and E.G. would do anything for me. They are my loyal companions. If you were somehow to die tomorrow, no one would care. Oh, this is getting 
getting heated. How is this entertaining? Battle is entertaining. Don't be like that, old chum. Would you like a cabbage? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. How cute. The little blue doll is pretending to have feelings. When you're not busy killing your family, you're trying to hook up with the first tarnish that looks your way. That is a gross exaggeration. All to usher in your age of stars. Rani, no one wants the age of stars. The moon is boring. Excuse me? While the ladies are arguing and Radan is feeding his face, Maybe I'll have a little look through folks' belongings. The moon isn't going to solve your daddy issues. Neither is getting married or owning a strangely attractive pet dog. At least my pet doesn't bully me. <laughs> and speaking of tarnished, how many hands of theirs have you held? I like holding hands. You are one step away from being a prostitute. You witch! What do we have here? Some string? Bloody useless. And some dog biscuits? Maybe that daft turtle will buy them. Hey, Patches, can I have the tomatoes? What? Yeah, sure, whatever. Nom, nom, nom. I help Tarnished become stronger so that they may one day become Elden Lord. Though I must admit I haven't had much success. For some reason, they don't level vigor. You only help them in exchange for runes. I need runes to make them stronger. And how many of their runes do you keep for yourself? Well, I do take a small fee, but they don't need to know about that. You are a scheming little scamp. And what about the other one? Butterflies. Who keeps butterflies in a bag? She really is a scamp. And runes. This is the good stuff. The lands between would be better off without you. I'm debating whether I should get you assassinated, feed you to my pet dog, or snap my fingers. Try it and see what happens. I'm going to enjoy turning you into a pile of string. Maybe I'll keep your hat, though, and put Torrent's rower raisins in there. If you so much as touch my hat, these four hands will be strangling you. Is that the way you act around Tarnished? No wonder you've had little luck with them. Actually, Tarnished are very interested in my hands. Patches, what are you doing? Oh, hey, hello. I was just making sure that everything was safe. That's all. Were you trying to steal from us? Steal? Me? Why, that thought never crossed my mind. Where are all my biscuits for Blythe? I'm missing some runes. Is this how you do things, Patches? Distract us with cabbage, then steal our items? Distract you with what? I was just taking care of it, but if you'd like it back so much, then you can have it. No hard feelings, right? Well, since the food was so good, I suppose I'll let you live. Thanks. You demigods are the best. And that was a great sparring session. Rani and Melina, you ladies certainly know how to grumble. You weren't even listening to us, were you? Well, that's it for this round. See you next time. Patches, this is my castle. You can't just kick me out. Okay, fair enough. Would you like to take part in the next round? Well, that's not really what I meant, but sure. I'm going back home. I'm going to find more food for Torrent. <laughs> I guess a doll like you doesn't need food. Correct. That is one of the many advantages. You're still fat. I'll turn you into dog food. You have been lying this whole time. Did you think we were stupid? Did you think we wouldn't find out? Malaketh, please calm down. Just because I eat beast men doesn't make me a beast man. So how does eating dragon hearts make you a dragon? Listen to your dragon friend, little dog. Us dragons know best. You aren't a dragon! Well, actually, I sort of am. Give us a bit of your background, Theodorix. It's true that I was once a troll. But I knew I was destined for greatness the moment I smashed out of my mother's womb. Did you have to phrase it like that? As a young troll, I would hunt down basilisks and eat their eyes. That's a waste of perfectly good basilisk meat. Why am I always hungry when I'm with you, Maliketh? As an adolescent, I left my family to see the world. My wife and sister were particularly upset. Well, at least they had each other. They were the same person. No wonder you trolls are so deformed. I remember wrestling with my first dragon. I hopped on its mighty back, got its long neck between my thighs, and squeezed as hard as my mother did during my birth. That is an odd way to kill a dragon, but okay. After eating its heart, I knew I needed to feast again. Hopefully you killed the other dragons in more honorable ways? I jumped on their heads and threw jars at them. Oh dear God. After three dragon hearts, I became the fine specimen you see before you. As much as you disgust me, I must confess that you have impressive credentials. You almost have as much HP as Placidus Axe, but you have a weakness to sleeping. The Godskin Duo also had that weakness. Are you going to sleep on the job as well? If I did take a nap, I'd fill the floor with magma so Tarnished won't be able to get past anyway. I can do that since I'm a dragon. You're not a dragon! I'm a giant lizard with wings who breathes fire. That doesn't mean anything! I tend to agree with Malaketh. You killed dragons to get those wings. I don't think the dragons up here will accept you. If they have a problem with me, I'll just kill them and eat their hearts. That's not really the sort of attitude we're looking for. What's the problem here? I am huge, wield a flaming sword, and have a wonderful smile. What more do you want? You are an inbred troll who threw jars at dragons when they weren't looking. And you want to work at a place full of dragons. Are you hungry for more hearts? How dare you! 
Well, you did just say you were going to eat their heart. You two are arrogant. You're a jumped up little dog who eats beastmen. You hypocrite. Eating beastmen and dragons is different. No one cares about the beastmen. My mom cares about me. I ate your mom. What? And you are an old plump dragon who was abandoned by his god. I must congratulate you, Theodorix. He called you fat and you're congratulating him. Congratulations on your grand evolution from inbred troll to lesser dragon. Your kind will never be welcome at Faramazula. Now, unless you want to experience what a real dragon is like, I suggest you get out. And don't think you can squeeze his neck. He's got two. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but one day, all of the candidates you reject will unite, storm Faramazula, and kill you all. And I will eat your heart! <laughs> what a psycho. Inviting him up here was a mistake. Do you really think a group of rejects could take over Faramazula? Of course not. Between the two of us, the dragons and the beastmen, this place is impregnable. I wish his inbred troll mother was impregnable. Ha ha ha, Malaketh, that was hilarious. Thanks! How angry do you think he'll be? I'm sure he won't mind. We haven't been gone for that long. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? I am being eternally crucified by him. Exactly, so how much worse can it get? He is a monster. I am sure he will think of some other horrific way to punish me. He's not such a bad guy when you get to know him. Besides, you did shatter the Elden Ring. Are you saying I deserve this? What I am saying is that you should just let me do the talking. At least he lets you leave the tree and go for walks. I haven't been outside for so long. How are our children? doing. Well, Makilla is lost and Melania is searching for him. Melania? She's blind. Someone else should be searching. Ronnie is a blue doll. What are you talking about? Rikard is a blasphemous serpent. A blasphemous serpent? And Radon is a Godfrey fanboy. It sounds like you're the one who should be crucified. Well, I sort of am being crucified thanks to you. Also, Morgoth is loitering outside of the tree, begging to be let in. I haven't been outside for so long. I even miss my omen twins. Merica, this is why you're being crucified. Let me speak with him. I will try to make sure that you aren't crucified even harder. Okay, I'll just wait here. Apologies for being gone so long. You better have a good reason for leaving the tree, Radagon. Even though you're my favorite little sword, I am still very cross with you. Thank you, but please don't turn me into a sword again. But you're such a good sword. Who's a good sword? Please don't make me say- th Who's a good sword, Radagon? I'm a good sword. You're goddamn right. And don't you ever forget it. Anyway, I wanted to discuss Merica. Oh, that treacherous slag. Uh, yes. Thanks to her, I'm missing lots of my great runes. The other outer gods won't stop making fun of me. Do you know what the formless mother calls me? I do not. She calls me a big, goofy, broken, fish-faced slug. That hurts my feelings, Radagon. I am sure it does. And do you know what happens when my feelings are hurt? You rise above it and move on? I start crucifying people, that's what happens. So I'm not letting Merica down if that's what you're asking. Well, could you maybe let us take it in turns? I don't like her being the one who is always crucified. I'm not going to crucify my favorite little sword, you silly little Newman. But I'd really prefer it if you- I do not want to crucify you. Aw, oh, come on, not even a little bit? I'm not crucifying you. All right, well, can you please spare Merica from any further punishment? Well, you did leave the Erd Tree for a long time, but fine. Thank you. As long as you do one thing for me. Please don't turn me into a sword. Promise to stop your wretched family from any further fighting. I don't want my precious great runes getting damaged. I have a large family that I can barely keep track of, but sure. Good news, Merica. I'm not going to be crucified anymore? I can leave the Erd Tree? Well, no. Damn you, Radagon. You won't be crucified any harder, if that helps. Not really, but thanks. I asked if we could take turns, but he kept wanting to turn me into a sword. Aren't we already taking turns? Aren't we the same person? Isn't the Elden Beast contained within you? I don't know, Merica. None of this really makes sense. The Erd Tree is a wacky place. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> My wrists hurt. Mine too! I have thought about it many times, the different ways I'd do it. Maybe I'd throw a spear at him just to see the stupid expression on his face. Or make it rain swords and watch him waddle around like a disfigured prawn. I've even thought about blood slicing him. That's how much I want to kill him. Fascinating. And how does that make you feel? Uh, what? I wasn't paying attention. 
I was too busy admiring that shell of yours. I bet it would look great on me. What do you think, Morgoth? I think you'd look great if I was bashing your skull in with it. Morgoth has always been jealous of my appendages. He just can't be happy for me. How can I be happy when I have to babysit you? I am not a baby! What do you mean, Morgoth? He sits up in that castle with his harlots, unaware of the dangers lurking outside. There are plenty of dangers lurking inside the harlots. Maybe I should have stayed inside my shell this morning. The number of tarnished that want to kill him is baffling. I don't know if it's because he is the weakest of us demigods or because they hate him. It's because they want my great rune. My great rune is better than yours, Morgoth. Your great rune is not better than mine. Well, actually it is, and I have proof. The Tarnished all want a piece of this action. Where did you get that? Gideon gave me it. He is all-knowing. Maybe I should just let the Tarnished kill you then. That's fine by me. Maybe then you can stop loitering outside of my castle. Loitering? Morgoth is trying to protect you, Godric. How does that make you feel? I don't need protecting. I have Gostok for that. He is very skilled with a dagger. Also, do you know how annoying it is to hear the same thing over and over? Foul tarnished this. In search of the Elden Ring. That. Get some new lines, Morgoth. New lines. Plus, he is an omen. He is ruining my Riz. Your Riz? I don't want omens to be the first thing that people see when they come to Stormvale. I want the first thing they see to be my massive dragon member. That's enough. You are an embarrassment. You should have died during the shattering. Please calm down. Mor Many tried, but they all ended up on their knees, just like my heart. You only survived because you ran away like a cowardly crab. What's the matter, Morgoth? Got crab on the brain? You sick addict. If it wasn't for boiled crab, I would have killed you and given your great rune to a sheep. <laughs> Did you know he is addicted to crab. Actually, I did know. Moog told me. I'd rather forget that session. He wanted to put a white mask on me and do things. Why can't you be more like Moog? He's the cool omen. Okay, let us recenter. Morgoth, Godric, I want each of you to say one thing you admire about the other one. Morgoth, would you like to start? I'm going to need a few thousand years to scrape something together for this one. There must be one thing. Well, he grafted Rod on some new feet, allowing him to walk. I respect that. Excellent, Morgoth. Thank you for sharing. Now it's your turn, Godric. What do you admire about Morgoth? Oh, I have a good one. Godric, I swear if you... Please share it with us, Godric. What I admire the most about Morgoth. Godric, you better not say is that despite how ugly he is godric i'm going to kill and how hideously grotesque his tail is and how annoying his voice is and how delayed his attacks are that it is my castle he chooses to loiter outside that's not really what godric you goofy little scion reprobate rapro what i've had enough from now on you can fight your own battles finally you will stop stealing all of my kills and if you ever show up at the foot of the earth tree again i will blood slice all of your wicked limbs off and feed them to the avatars. Feed me limbs. I eagerly await the news of your death. Goodbye. He took that well. Godric, I don't think your compliment was as sincere as Morgoth's. He'll get over it. I'll need to hire someone to guard my castle, though. I don't want to get my hands dirty. Well, before you do that, you have a therapy session to pay for. Can I pay you in man-serpent eggs? Man-serpent eggs? What the devil? Uh, I have to go now and get a bath. Bye. I should have taken the man-serpent eggs. That is a fine suggestion. I've never been to this place. Could you describe it again, Mistress Rani? Blythe, you uncultured pup. Very well, listen closely. It is an underground city, surrounded with starlight, lost in ruin, home to those who rebelled against the Golden Order. It's totally my kind of vibe. This place sounds kind of bad. Don't be like that, Blythe. Nokron is a cheerful place. Apart from the zombies and the murderous jelly and the giant balls. Could you repeat that, please? Let's go kill stuff. I was expecting worse. This place isn't that bad. Give me your bones. Let me burn your bones. Okay, I take that back. Greetings, small naked fellow. Eat him, Blythe. Of course. <laughs> Meeting the locals is great. Here comes another one. Give me the bones of your cat. <laughs> How dare you threaten Sarosh? Godfrey, use headbutt. <coughs> this is so much fun. Mistress Rani, what is that place in the distance? I believe that is where Morg resides. Indeed, he keeps a strange egg there. Someone's arm is sticking out of it. Sounds like something he would keep. I like to keep eggs in my belly. Sarosh's laughter has attracted a murderous jelly. It is repulsive. 
How dare you point that dirty little thing at me? Blythe, drink it. Uh, okay. What did it taste like? Kind of like albinoric blood. A pint of albinoric blood a day keeps the war surgeon away. Godfrey, you have the raddest sayings. Let us continue! I wasn't expecting to see trees down here. There's no escaping trees in this cursed land. Don't make fun of my trees! Look at that tiny axe. Size matters not! Oh, really? <gasps> Great job, Dad. Now let's kill her too. That was my husband! <laughs> Maybe I have been headbutting a bit too many times. But did you just call me dad? Uh, no. Well, maybe. If you marry mother, then you will be my dad, right? Well, I suppose there is truth to that. Will you be my dad too? Uh... Is that Wolfie? No, the scent of urine isn't strong enough. Okay, now it is. Let's keep exploring. Look at all the jellies. There are countless of them. They appear to be worshipping that giant spooky skeleton looming above. She must drink a lot of milk. The one at the front seems particularly bewitched. Greetings! <laughs> I must have eaten too many mushrooms earlier. It looks like my ex-wife. It looks like my dad. Come, Blythe. Let us strike it down in one combined strike. Yes, father. Excellent job, Team Rani. Now let us plunder the treasure of the eternal city of Nokron. I'd rather we didn't. I am no crook. There's probably nothing important in there anyway. Fine, fine. Then let us return to the surface. How do we get out? The bridge is rather high up. Not to worry. Blythe, Rani, hop aboard. You certainly have the hops, Godfrey. In my prime, I would have leapt us to the top of the Erd tree. This was the most fun I've had in a long while, Godfrey. Thank you. I also had a grand time. Your mother is lucky to have a daughter like you. I hope your date with her goes well. Who told you about that? I look forward to having an actual father figure in my life. We're all very fond of you. Okay, Blythe, let's go annoy Salavis. Yes! I still got the hops. Why can't you both just get along? They sure do seem to hate each other. See, this is the reason why I skin demigods. Are you stupid as well as blind? Why would Makilla be at my castle? Your castle is the only part of Kaelid I haven't searched. Meeting here again must bring back fond memories though, right, Radon? Like the time I defeated you. You did not defeat me! So has the next round of the roast tournament started? I guess so. They just came in here and were at it like rabbits. Do rabbits argue a lot? Uh, yes. After our battle, you had to be dragged back to your deformed tree. The disgrace. Not as disgraceful as having that tiny horse carry you around. He doesn't carry me, I carry him. Do you even know how horses are meant to work? Well, do you even know how protecting your brother is meant to work? How dare you? Mother, uncle, let's look for Makilla instead of all this senseless fighting. This is terrible, truly awful. Want to steal their stuff? You read my mind. Your silly tree was meant to be safe. How could you let him get lost? If you hadn't forced me to release my scarlet rot, he wouldn't have gotten lost. And look how that turned out. You destroyed both your family and Caleb. Who are you to speak of family? Your brother was consumed by a snake. <laughs> At least I know where my brain-dead snake brother is. I have another uncle and he's a snake. I'm so lucky. This thing is worth a pretty penny, but it's too heavy. Have you had much luck? All I found are a bunch of these butterflies. What is with these demigods and their bloody butterflies? You don't even know who your family is. You spend most of your time with Godfrey. Godfrey is a good man, Melania. Don't you badmouth him. You follow him around like a sheep. Well, you follow your brother around like a sheep. Well, until you lost him. If you're not careful, I may lose my sword in your skull. Try it and I will gravity magic your eyes out. Oh, wait, you lost those too. Mother, I think you look lovely with no eyes. Look at all this exalted flesh. How much do you think I could get with this? Probably a beast man or two. Check these boluses out, though. There are loads. Do you know what we should do? We should infect people with scarlet rot. Then just as they're about to die, sell them preserving boluses. They'll be desperate and we'll be filthy rich. Patches, I think you need help. Arguing with you is pointless. It's like talking to a tree. Something you have experience in, right, Melania? Pardon? You talk in your sleep and you also snore. Oh, dear God. This is so embarrassing. Why don't you help search for Makilla instead of telling your jokes? He's your brother, too. I'm not searching with you. Please join Mother on our search, Uncle. They're going to notice. Put that stuff away, you little psycho. Fine. We could have been great business partners. Millicent, us searching together wouldn't... No, things will be better if you search together. Go get some therapy with Pastor Muriel. The turtle? His sessions don't work. He is stealing our rooms. Maybe I should become a therapist. Go get therapy and fix yourselves. Stretchy and I will search while you're doing that. Isn't that right? Of course, Millicent, and I won't even skin him. Very well. 
I could use a break. If you get in trouble, Millicent, just scream real loud and I will come shooting down like a meteor. My uncle is so damn cool. Great job, everyone. Glad we could all clear things up. And so ends another round of Patches Roast Torn. Patches, why was a bite taken out of my exalted flesh? Uh, I was hungry. You were hungry! He was hungry. I was hungry! I need you all to pay close attention. I have something very important to discuss. Something which could change the lands between forever. As you should know, the oracles are about to- Wait, where is everyone? I'm here, brother. What about the oracles? Are they evading their taxes again? Do you want me to take care of them? Please tell me you do. Where are the other demigods? Well, you threatened to dismember Godric if he showed up here again. A shame he didn't show up. Radon and Melania are off to get therapy. They'll be gone for a few hundred years then. Rykard is sleeping. Pray to Rykard. And Rani just didn't show up. I get the impression she's not a fan of the Golden Order. I also heard she went on an adventure with Dad recently. He is very fond of that family. Oh yeah, he is real thirsty. Thirsty? Anyway, you always have me, brother. What were you going to say about the Oracles? They are about to go to war, Moog. War. War? They're too cute for war. And by war, I mean a musical face-off between the Erd Tree Oracles and the Halig Tree Oracles. Oracles. Dear God. They have been rivals for thousands of years. In a few weeks, they will be competing to see who has the best dudes once and for all. I should probably stop knee healing on them then, huh? Yes, brother. I've been meaning to speak to you about your egg. Has something happened to my egg? I hear more and more people have started to search for Makilla. It may not be long before your secret is discovered. Morgoth, he is safely tucked away in the egg. The only people that know it's him who's shoved in there are you, Faré and our therapist. Faré won't tell anyone because he knows I would execute him in a most depraved way. Muriel is a professional, and you're my my omen, bro. I just don't want to see you get killed. If Melania found out, she might be upset. She's not going to find out. She has no eyes. Did you ever notice how many of us are lacking eyes? I've got one eye. Ronnie has one eye. Melina has one eye. And Melania and Radagon have no eyes. Talk about the blind leading the blind. So I picked some of these up. A few of them were just lying around. I was going to pass them about, but since no one else showed up, you can have one. Is this an eyeball? It is marketed as a grape. You could try mixing it in with your boiled crab or something. I've ran out of crab for now, but thanks. Anyway, I'm going to pick up some tasty little treats, then return to my egg. Don't take any more of our oracles. Just give me one, just one! I find your lack of merchants disturbing. What kind of way to start an interview is that? This is going to be another rejected candidate, isn't it? Do you know what is unusual? Escaping your own execution. But I did it, and now I get to stare at a giant painting of Melania every day. You get to stare at what? Want to see my hand glow red? Pretty cool, right? It is mesmerizing. What is going on here? This is meant to be an interview, not a circus. I'd rather it was a circus. That way there'd be a lot of merchants for me to kill. I like to collect their bells after I kill them. They're kind of like my lucky charms. Do you kill merchants because you can't afford to buy new armor? Your armor is stupid. Why are there so many thorns sticking out of it? These thorns mark me for death. They mean I am to be executed. However, as I said before, I escaped my execution using my sick red sword and my glowy red hand. Okay, but why are you still wearing the thorns? Uh, I guess I, uh, did you see my red hand? I did, and I also saw your CV. Your HP looks a little low, Elamer. And your fascination with Melania is frankly concerning. Okay, let me explain. EXPLAIN! The reason why I stare at a picture of Melania every day is because she's really hot. You make me sick! Why do you even want to work here? Won't you miss your painting? Well, I heard her uncle worked here. I figured this was my chance to get into the family. You wicked little bastard! Elmer, the job description is to protect Faramazula, not to seduce a demigod. Why not both? Let me kill him, Placidus Axe! I will make it quick! Malekith, I don't think you should- You want to kill me? Yes! Would you say you want to execute me? Yes! Well then, that's why my armor has these thorns. You are infuriating! Can you tell us why you kill merchants? Why not something normal like beast men? Merchants are making society weak. That's why I kill them. I mean, just being able to go out and buy turtleneck meat is ridiculous. Killing the turtles is half the fun. I was wondering where the meat peddler went. Are you saying you killed him? Yeah, I drilled him up real good. And what happened to his meat? I don't know, it probably went rancid. I'm more of a dew-kissed herbal tea kind of guy. Does Melania like herbal tea? 
Could you get me a painting of her drinking tea so that I can stare at it all night while igniting my red sword? You waste meat and say bad things about Nice. You die now! Malekith, calm down. <laughs> you should go, Elamor. I'm not sure how long I can restrain him. By the way, in case it wasn't blindingly obvious, you didn't get the job. Really? I thought I nailed this interview. Not as much as I want to nail Melania, though. Just give me ten seconds with him! I'll erase his soul in ten seconds! Get out, you degenerate! Words can hurt. That guy was twisted! The next candidate better not want to breed with my family! Well, Caled's massive laser golem is next, so let's hope not. I think I need a break from all this interviewing. Maybe after the next one we'll find someone to replace us for a bit. Anyway, want to see something cool? Yeah! I'm gonna throw up! Congratulations! The journey was difficult, but you finally made it. You are the best of the best. Together, you and I are going to create something special. Uh, thanks. Isn't he a little fat to be guarding the castle? I'm not fat, it's just my armor. Gostok, stop body shaming him. He is much better looking than Morgoth. You hired me because of my skills, right? Of course I did. So how do you like your baths? Please don't make me bathe him. We each have a role to play at Stormvale. You Yours is to stand awkwardly at a wall and to give baths. I can't wait for you to die. What did you say? I said, should I also bathe his eye? The Volcano Manor was less weird than this. Well, Rykard doesn't have a glorious castle, does he? Well, no. And he also pays bad. Exactly! I am Godric the Golden. I can make you rich! As if! All you have to do is crush a few Tarnished now and then. Why do Tarnished keep attacking your castle? They want to kill Godric. They want my great rune. I have the best one. I'd be happy with any runes. Do you think you can handle them? I've heard the tarnished here are as weak as the beast men at Pharaoh Missoula, and I used to eat them for breakfast. I literally ate hundreds of beast men. So yeah, I think I can manage. I didn't realize you were so strong. Maybe we should be friends. Gustok, you little trollop. I am not a trollop. Shut up, Gustok. A tarnished is coming. Why, hello. Oh, she is a cute one. What do you think of my hands? They are very impressive. I've never seen so many. I like you. Is that my godskin noble? How have you been? Oh, hey, things are great. I work here now. This castle is in much better shape than Fara Missoula. Looks like you're moving up in the world. You've got to be joking. Gustok, what did you say? I said I can't wait to get them soaking. I knew you loved giving baths. We are searching for Makilla. Did you happen to see him? He is a small, scary, golden-haired boy. I know who he is. He's almost as bad as Melania. Please don't insult Mother. He is not at my castle. He would stick out like a sore thumb. I can't even count all of your thumbs. Very well. Thank you for your help. Let's go, Stretchy. Stretchy? It's kind of like my nickname. You can stretch! How long can you get? Please stay a while longer. Well, we've searched most of Limgrave now. Where could Uncle Makilla be? <laughs> Is that a beast man? I am a wolf man. You're a good boy. Thanks. Did I hear you were searching for someone? Yes, we have looked everywhere. Did you try the great rivers? I've never even heard of them. I haven't left Caled much, and Stretchy used to live in a tornado. There were several tornadoes, actually. Uh, okay. Well, there is actually a great river beneath Caled. It is a very large place. I was there recently. There is a palace high above, which belongs to Moog. You'd get a good view from up there. It may be worth visiting. Thank you, wonderful dog man. Stretchy, let's go there and see if we can spot Makilla. Of course, Millicent. Uh, Millicent? Sorry, but he is just so cute. Who's a good boy? She is a blind, arrogant, lazy, compulsive liar. She turned Caleb into a hellish wasteland. But worse than all that, she is a bad mom. Okay, Radan, thank you for sharing. And Melania, how do you feel about Radan? He is loud. I'm not loud! He is obnoxious. Fancy words, Melania. Did you read them in a book? Oh wait, that's right. You're blind. Radon, please be respectful and let your sister speak. Fine. He is a sore loser with a massive chip on his shoulder, who speaks a lot but says very little. He craves attention, probably because of his daddy issues. Also, his horse is stupid. Leave Leonard alone! You both have very strong feelings for each other. Well, I wouldn't word it like that. As I understand, you shared an intimate moment together during the shattering. Is that right? An intimate moment? Wasn't Melania on top of you, whispering into your ear before she showed you her flower. Yes, but also no! I was trying to kill him. You're not trying to kill him now, though, are you? In fact, you have come here to try to mend things. Why is that? Her daughter really wants us to get along. 
She doesn't like it when I call Melania blind, or frail, or arrogant, or an- I think he gets it. Children can make us see the world much more clearly. Or at least they do when they're not being fed to a massive, blasphemous serpent. That was oddly specific. Tell me more about the moments when you haven't been getting physical with one another. Why do you keep wording things like that? Well, I got Scarlet Rod a few months ago, and Melania gave me a preserving bolus. Of course, I had to wake her up first, which wasn't easy because of all her snoring. Shut up! If Rad Dan really wanted to kill you, he could have done it then, but he didn't. His loud breathing would have woken me up before he got the chance. I wear a lot of armor. Do you usually breathe loudly around Melania? Well, yes, actually. Usually because I want to kill her. So you breathe heavily because of your urges to get physical with her, is that right? You are a naughty turtle. You both remind me a lot of Lady Rinala and Lord Radagon. As you know, they fought each other, but then fell in love. I wouldn't call that love. Also, are you forgetting? that we are brother and sister. I thought you demigods were into that sort of thing. Excuse me? Whether you want to admit it or not, you both do care about each other. And you both certainly care about Millicent. Radan, I want you to pretend to be Millicent. What do you see when you look at Melania? Why do you love her? I do not love her! But Millicent does. Why do you think that is? Well, Melania is very skilled at combat, and she does care a lot about Makilla. Excellent. And Melania, why do you think Millicent loves Radan? Although he is loud and obnoxious, he is very supportive and encouraging. He is a good uncle. Thank you. Radan, Melania, I want you to try to see things from Millicent's point of view. The next time you get into a fight, consider that you are fighting someone who she loves. Do you think you can act civil for her sake? Fine, I can do that. I'll try. You both have a lot more in common than you realize. Plus, you can think of it like a game. The first one to get angry loses. Well, I am undefeated, so I won't be getting angry first. Nice try, Melania, but I'm not getting angry over that. Perfect. I'm glad I could help. Now pay up. Uh, okay, here you go. Morgoth and Godric owe me some runes, too. Fine. Take these two. You are a greedy turtle. Let's get out of here, Melania, before he asks for even more. Great idea, Radon. I really wish demigods would stop showing up here. Alas, I have arrived for our date. Oh, hello, Godfrey. It is wonderful to see you. I have really been looking forward to this. Me too. I am sure nothing will go wrong. Well, yes, I should certainly hope so. I can't wait to let my hair down. How much hair do you have under there? Oh, Godfrey, don't be silly. Let's go. Liurnia is a wet place. Yes, the landmass is gradually sinking, I'm afraid. You have done a fine job keeping the Academy together under such conditions. It hasn't been easy. The Academy tried to rebel against me not too long ago. The insolence! I would have headbutted each and every one of them. <laughs> That's all in the past. I want to think about the future, Godfrey. You are ever so good with the children. Rani told me about the little adventure you had in Nokron. It was a grand adventure. Blythe drank a jelly, I headbutted a widow, and Rani had a merry time. I heard you leapt very high up. You must have very strong feet. Well, I do kick boulders every morning to keep them strong. Yeah, talk more about feet! Who goes there? Don't mind me, I'm just here for the feet! These crayfish can be a bit desperate. Let's go somewhere else, Godfrey. Agreed. Choose me, Lady Rinala. I graduated top of my class in the Lobster Snipers. This shack seems peaceful enough, though the smell of fish is rather strong. You are so good at finding romantic places, Godfrey. Were there many shacks in the Badlands? Not really. They would attract too much attention from the murderous hawks. They would ride the high winds like an arrow. I saw one take the head clean off a horse. It was a fine strike. Uh, but I probably shouldn't talk about such things on our date. <laughs> It was terrible that Queen Merica exiled you to that horrid place. It was rather surprising, but not as surprising as when Radagon abandoned you. That man is a fool to leave behind a precious jewel such as you. Not that you are a mere jewel, mind you. You are a person, and a person is worth far more than a jewel. Unless they're a wandering noble, of course. Ha ha ha. Uh... Oh, Godfrey, you are so kind. Yes, I wasn't expecting Radagon to leave us. I'm afraid it may have had a negative impact on the children. You have done a grand job raising your children. I regret not raising all of my children with the same care. Unfortunately, Merica was never a fan of omens. Radagon and Merica have certainly caused us a lot of problems. 
They were made for each other. Agreed. Oi, what are you two doing at my shack? Oh, I'm sorry. It's such a nice shack that we couldn't help ourselves. You don't have to tell me that my shack is bloody nice, you daft witch. Now either buy some boiled crab or piss off. How dare you! <laughs> It's quite all right, Godfrey. Let us go. Yeah, you better walk away, mate, unless you want to feel the fists of Big Boggart. And don't you be talking bad about Omens. An Omen's my best customer. It's been a funny sort of date, hasn't it? I expected more things to try to kill us, to be honest. I feel perfectly safe with you here. Oh, Renala. What the fuck? Oh, hello, Rikard. Are you hungry? Do you have any gravel stones, Godfrey? Of course. Oh, that reminds me. I need to put some food out for Blythe and Wolfie. I am sorry, Godfrey, but we'll have to end our date here. I had a wonderful time with you. Goodbye for now. Curse you, Rikard! Please don't. It's too dangerous. I'll be fine, I think. I don't want to see you get hurt. Don't worry, Millicent. I'm pretty sure I can stretch all the way to that palace. Then when we get there, we can try to spot Makilla. Well, okay. Hold on tight. Stretchy, you did it. I think I broke my spine. Lord Moog, is that you? You are late for your evening knee heel. Oh, my formless mother. Who are you two? Hello, my name is Millicent. Lord Moog isn't back yet. Leave this place at once or I'll set the flies on you. We're just here for the view, actually. We're looking for someone. Looking for someone? Yes, his name is Makilla. Oh, no, 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 no. Millicent, you broke him worse than my spine. There's no chance of finding him here. You should look somewhere else. Have you tried the ocean? He may be at the bottom of the ocean. We won't take long. That is an impressive of egg. Did you lay it yourself? Don't look at it! Is that an arm sticking out of it? What arm? I don't see any arm. The skin on that arm looks interesting. Let me have a closer look. If you come any closer, I'll get the roses out. How romantic. I'd rather not flay an egg-laying, fly-keeping, white-masked prostitute today. Anyway, I promise I'll be quick. Curse my silly weapon. What do you think of the arm, Stretchy? It's a god skin. A demigod, to be exact. Really? Not just any demigod, though. It's an Empyrean skin. And it's male. Are you saying that 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 arm is... It's him, Millicent. It's Makilla. Don't be ridiculous. How could you tell all that from some skin? I'm a godskin. This is kind of my thing. We did it. We finally found Uncle Makilla. Let's get him out of here and bring him back to his family. He's already with his family. Lord Moog, thank goodness you're here. They know it's him. Fare, after I'm done dealing with this trash, remind me to punish you. Of course, Lord Moog. Why did you take Makilla? Oh, you don't need to worry about that. Neither you nor your godskin friend are leaving this place alive. Escape from here, Millicent. Even though this guy is a creepy, weird-looking child snatching omen, I can tell he's strong. I'm going to enjoy killing you first. Let's see if you can. Was that meant to intimidate me, or was it meant to make me dizzy? You're pathetic. Ooh. Stretchy, no. Some boiled prawn would be perfect right about now. Millicent, I told you to escape from here. Oh, Black Flame, huh? You godskins are all the same. Worthless. Oh, it's a shame I'm going to have to kill that girl over there. You really should have stayed away from my egg. Don't you touch her. Oh, it's over. Gah. Stretchy, you did it! You and your horrible master will never see Makilla again. Oh, my little lambkin, do you take me for a fool? I chose my side very carefully, and it'll take much more than that to defeat Lord Moog. <laughs> Die! Stretchy! Millicent, get out. I miss Farum, Azula. Fare, we should go on a holiday to Faro Mazula. Of course, Lord Moog, though your calendar's a bit full with Oracle kidnapping. Oh yeah, good point. You'll pay for this. Will I? I didn't want to ever use this, but you leave me no choice. Why didn't it work? Oh, don't feel bad. You did a pretty good dance. But you're forgetting one thing. You're just a mortal. <laughs> Forgive me, mother. What a day, huh? Excellent work as always, Lord Moog. Throw this vermin into the river, would you? Of course. Did they hurt you, dearest Makilla? No harm was done, Lord. Good. 
Things have been a bit too serious around here lately. How about we invite Rikard and Godric over for a party to lighten the mood? Excellent idea, Lord Moog. I shall send the invitations immediately. Thanks, Faray. You're the best. It's the least I could do for your protection. You didn't even use your knee heel on them. There was no need. Besides, I was saving it for someone. For who? You! No! What's the worst that could happen? It looks harmless enough, and I've ran out of crab, so I need something to keep me going. It is an odd-looking grape, but I bet it tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. That grape was mid as fuck. <laughs> Another vessel for me to control. Who are you? I am the frenzied flame. I am in your mind. Thanks for eating my grape, fool. Now what are we working with here? An omen! I was hoping for a cute blind girl, but I guess this'll have to do. There's something wrong with your mind. It seems you are an addict. I'm not addicted. I can quit boiled crab anytime. Boiled crab? You omens disgust me. Have you tried frenzied rat? I used to live with rats. It'd be like eating my family. You omens eat your own feces, but you're too good for rat. We don't eat our own feces. Have you tried soap? I'd rather the next Lord of Frenzied Flame use soap. I've eaten all my soap. And they say I'm the mad one. Whatever. You will look much better when I blow up your head. Blow up my what? Wouldn't you rather have a crazy sick flame for a head? I think it'd be a good look for you. Well, it may make boiling crab easier. You silly omen addict. Think bigger. We should burn the Erd Tree. The Erd Tree? The Erd Tree has shunned you because you are a horrific omen abomination. I'm getting a bit sick of all this omen racism. Why? Why do you still care for it? We should burn it and create a new world. A world where omens and rats can live, breed, and burn together in harmony. What was that second one? I didn't notice at first, but you are strong. Are you someone important? Well, I am the last of all kings. All hail the king of rats and crab. And I'm also a demigod. A demigod? This is great. Think of how hilarious it'd be if a demigod burned the Erd Tree. That would only be funny if Godric was in the Erd Tree. Eat a few more of my grapes and I'll change your mind. Morgoth, what is going on? I ate a grape and now I'm going insane. The grapes at the Halleck Tree don't do this. Here, Morgoth, have some crab. <laughs> Curse your crab-addicted brain. You win this round, but I'll be back, and together we will burn the world! <laughs> Thanks, Radan. I'm feeling much better. Good. I saw a strange orange glow and thought something was wrong. Maybe you should stick to Crab. Anyway, you two aren't trying to kill each other now. Not at the moment. We've teamed up to find Makilla. You should join us. Uh... We did just save you from going insane. You owe us, Morgoth! Okay, fine. I'll come with you. Great. Let's get going. I hope Millicent is okay. What is going on out here? Oh, Morgoth is gone. I thought I sensed danger outside, but I guess I was mistaken. Can I go for a walk? You can go for a walk when you fix my damn ring. The one in charge now is me. You will do as I command. To disobey is to defy the Golden Order. As an Elden Lord, I require your loyalty. Anything less and you will be exiled from the lands between forever. Do I make myself clear? Shut up, Father. Is this what all of the Demigod Council meetings are like? They're usually just Morgoth telling us to piss off. How crude. I was wondering why the place doesn't reek of crab. Where is that silly omen addict? I think he went to search for Makilla. Makilla would probably prefer to stay hidden than to be found by him. At least Morgoth is defending the Erd Tree. What is it that you do? Well, I spend most of my time just hanging about. It shows. I can tell that you didn't prepare for this meeting. Are you going to take that from her? Melina, if you keep talking back to me, I'm taking Torrent away from you. <laughs> How else am I meant to get about? You mean you don't have a wolfman, giant, or dragon to carry you around? How pathetic. None of them like you. That wolfman will probably try to kill you someday. Oh, wait, you already beat him to it. Melina, be nice to Rani. Thanks, father. Anyway, the real tragedy was that you cast aside your great rune. I retract my thanks. Did you know that the oracles are preparing to go to war? I assume you are both on the side of the Erd Tree. Of course not. I don't care about your silly oracle war. You are no children of mine. That's fine by me. Godfrey will be my new dad soon anyway. He and Mother are getting rather close. You must be joking. Sounds like you're a bit of a cuck. A bit of a what? Can I go now? I want to take a nap in my tower. No, you can't go. I'm not going to let Morgoth do a better job of hosting these meetings than me. Oh, look at me. I hate omens. That's what you sound like. An excellent impersonation. I've never said, oh, look at me. Who else can you impersonate? Greetings. Would you like a bath? Where are my members? Gostok. Gostok. What's a Gostok? I need to get back to my egg. Brother, give me my egg. 
My mommy's invisible. Gravity magic is the best. I will gravity magic you through a wall. Oh, Godfrey, give me a hug. Don't make fun of Radon. Together! 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 I have never known defeat. I nap on a silly chair all day. Oh, the scarlet rot blooms. Don't make fun of my daughter! Alas, I am returned. Is that a beast, man? Let me eat you. Please stop crucifying me! Can I go for a walk? Who's that meant to be? Uh... Please give me a biscuit, Mistress Rani. Please take me for a walk, Mistress Rani. Feed me, Roa Raisins. Feed me. Feed me. <laughs> okay, this is getting stupid now. Agreed. Let's never speak of this again. This was fun. Maybe I'll start coming to these more often. I still don't like you. Very well, Melina. But if you impersonate me again, I'm feeding you to the avatars. Feed me, maidens! And then he was like, don't you touch her. And then I was like, die! <laughs> Take it off and give me a peek! I'd rather keep my mask on, thank you. You little strumpet! <laughs> Rykard, watching you gobble up that giant chicken has made me thirsty. <laughs> Faré, get me a drink! Of course, Lord Moog. You, get me a drink. Here you go, Master Faré! What did you say about my mother? Uh, nothing! What did you say? Do you still want your drink? <laughs> What's a pretty thing like you doing in a place like this? How about I bring you to my castle and show you a good time? Dearest Makilla, you're so sweet to hold my drink for me. Ah, uh, you're spilling some. Let me quickly sip it from your honeyed hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I have something I need to tell you. <sighs> your mom is a MILF. <sighs> I want to do things to her, Rykard. Unspeakable things. <sighs> I want to be your dad, Rykard! Family! She's already got her eyes on Godfrey Faré. Eh? Then I must slay him and become the king of Lyurnia. Yeah, good luck with that. Mog, I drank too much blood. I think I'm gonna throw up. Throw up over the balcony! <laughs> Lord Moog, the Albanorix are complaining about the noise coming from here. What noise? <laughs> that noise! <laughs> I'll come down there and knee heel on each and every one of them if they don't shut up. Do you think I could make their head explode if I squeezed with all of my hands? There's only one way to find out. I'm going to go now. By the way, what's up with the egg? Don't you talk about the egg. Don't you even look at it. I think you've had a bit too much to drink, Faré. Eh? I'm not drunk. You're drunk. My special little guy is tucked away in there, and people are trying to steal him. <sighs> Thanks, Rykard. What did he say? He said the next person who tries to steal my egg will be sentenced to Man Serpent Snoo Snoo. And then they'll be eaten alive. That sounds like my kind of punishment. Could you feed me to your mom? If you protect my egg, I can pay you in chickens and jellies. Deal. Lord Moog, can you give me a better weapon? I want to protect the egg too. What's wrong with the weapon I gave you? It's embarrassing looking. People may think less of me. They won't be thinking if you bash their skull in with it. I think it makes you look cute. I'm sick of being deliciously cute. Don't you say that. Don't you even think that. <laughs> Anyway, you guys can hang out here for a while until things die down. Dibs on the balcony! That's my spot! Faré, there is a cozy spot for you beneath my feet. Of course, Lord Moog. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Try not to move too much. You were in pretty bad shape. I don't usually see bodies floating down the river when I'm going for a drink. The water tasted a bit like scarlet rot. I hope you didn't give me something. I couldn't just leave you and your friend there, though. So I brought you back to try to heal you. How are you feeling? I'm pretty sore, but that might just be the Scarlet Rot. Of course you had to have Scarlet Rot. I thought I was dead. Not yet. I siphoned the souls of some of my little friends here to bring you back. Speak some sense, damn you. Where is Stretchy? Oh, your friend? He's here. He's not conscious. He was in much worse shape than you, especially his spine. Help him. He was trying to save me. I'll try my best. By the way, you have some visitors. Millicent! Are you okay, Millicent? Mother, uncle, what are you doing here? 
We were searching for Makilla in the Siofra River and overheard some of the locals mention a red-haired girl who washed up here. It was quite the stroke of luck, and to think that Morgoth didn't want us to search here. There's not enough glorious Erd tree light down here. Stop simping for a tree, Morgoth! Stay away from me. Haven't you done enough? Uh, have we even met? The omen racism is strong with this one. Millicent, what's wrong? Why does Morgoth frighten you? Is it his hideous tail? There's nothing wrong with my tail. He looks like the person who attacked me and stretched. Attacked? Millicent, what happened? We did it, Mother. We found Makilla. You did? Yes, he was in a palace, and he was in a strange sort of cocoon. Oh, no. But then Stretchy and I were attacked by the master of the palace. How dare he? His name was Lord Mog. Him again? He's always throwing things into this river like fire and blood and scion vomit. Are you sure you didn't hit your head and imagine all this? I am very sure. He looked just like you, only he had one eye and was better dressed. First my tail and now my cloak. You people are ruthless. Not as ruthless as your twin. How dare he attack my niece? Melania, what are you thinking? I'm thinking about how best to kill Mog. He has kidnapped my brother and attacked my daughter. I'm going to go to his disgusting palace, remove his head, and rescue Makilla. Melania is so damn cool. You demigods love violence. Have you tried siphoning souls instead? It's rather relaxing. <laughs> Let's calm down a bit first, Melania. We should hear what Moog has to say before doing anything rash. I know that he is your twin brother, but he needs to die. I agree. If not for this giant creepy deer, my niece would be dead. I'm standing right here, you know. Millicent, you should stay here where it's safe. Whenever we're done, I'll come and collect you. Of course, Mother. Thank you. I want to stay here until Stretchy gets better anyway. Him and his poor spine. Morgoth, you should probably stay here as well. I'm coming with you to see things for myself. Fine. Millicent, when I come back, I will turn into a meteor and show you what the top of the Erd Tree looks like. That sounds wonderful. His disgusting palace is right over there. Hold on and I'll gravity magic us over. No, you can't. Why? Uh, Moog has a Lord of Blood Barrier around his palace. It will bleed you if you get too close. I've been to his palace before and this has never happened. Yes, it is quite new. The oracles have been blowing bubbles at his palace out of revenge, so he just had it installed. Your brother disgusts me. We will need to enter his palace on foot, unless you want to bleed to death before we even get there. Fine! Fine! This is unacceptable. Do you really think so little of us? To think that we have nothing better to do than to sit around waiting. What is your excuse? Uh, well, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a giant golem. It took me a few days to climb my way out of Kalid. I kept falling down a cliff, then I got a bit lost. Why apply for a job at Faramazula if you don't even know where it is? I'm getting a bit tired of the dogs and crows and bugmen at Kalid, so I'm looking to relocate. It's a pretty awful place now, thanks to Melania. You don't have an unhealthy obsession with Melania, do you? The last candidate stared at a painting of her every night while fondling his sword. I hate that guy! We don't want degenerates working here. Oh, is that so? Well, not to worry. I find Melania repulsive. What? She is a vile, disgusting creature who should be executed for war crimes. Nothing would bring me more joy than to see Melania and all of her hideous paintings burned to cinders. Then after they've burned, their ashes should be fed to the bug men and then they should be burned. Dear God. Anyway, now that we've cleared that up, did I, uh, get the job? What you'll get is my destined death, you giant clumsy bast- Malekith, I don't want you eating any more of our candidates. I wasn't going to eat him! He's a tasteless clump of stone! A lot of love went into making my sturdy golem body. Well, I must say, what is sturdy are your credentials. While you may be slow and poor, you do have a lot of HP. And you also have lasers, is that right? I could never have guessed from the name. Are they any good? Yeah, all I have to do is twist my torso around and then my three little buddies pop up and zap things. Torsos aren't supposed to move like that! You mean you can't do this? Stop doing that! And can you also breathe fire? Of course! What kind of golem would I be if I couldn't? I'll need to breathe fire if I want to burn all of those nasty Melania paintings. I'm starting to get an appetite for stone. You can breathe fire and shoot lasers. You remind me a bit of myself. Just graft me some wings and call me Laser Dusax. That's not how their names work. Oh. There is a bit of a problem, though. If you were to fall from up here, you would probably destroy the lands between. I imagine all that magic and fire that was shoved into you would make for quite the explosion. Placidusax, I've had a great idea. We're not throwing him off the edge. Oh. 
If I fell, one of the dragons would catch me, right? Ha! Huh. There aren't enough of us still alive to stop you from hurtling to the ground. Placidus Sax, that joke was sad. I suppose it was. I can give you a hug if you like. No. Plus you showed up late and said bad things about my niece. Melania's uncle is a dog? Now it all makes sense. Sorry, but you didn't get the job because you are a tardy ticking time bomb. Have a nice day. I will, thanks. Uh, how do I get down from here? Figure it out! Maybe if I just... Oh no. We are nearly at Moog's disgusting palace. I'll be with you soon, Makilla. Remember that we will talk to him first, not kill him. He shoved Makilla into a gross egg and attacked my niece. The time for talking is over. Who goes there? An Albanoric in a place like this? Are you lost, my little red friend? Well, I'm not your friend. You said you're going to attack Lord Moog. I prefer the term execute. Why I ought to... Uh, sorry, that was very embarrassing. Did he explode? I think he was just happy to see us. They do that from time to time. Moog calls them his little party poppers. Don't judge me! He may warn Mog we are here. Perhaps we should have killed him. We're only here to kill Mog. We're not doing that. Stop shouting! You'll wake the Albanorix! I can only imagine what horrors Moog has put them through. He's just lazy. A bit of old-fashioned Albanoric torture ought to waken him up. The smell of blood is strong. Well, we are walking through a river of it. Moog bathes in it every morning before breaking into a love song about the formless mother. Any Albinoric who doesn't sing along gets knee healed. I'd rather shove rocks in my ears. I'd rather shove rocks down his throat. <laughs> These crows are even more disgusting than the ones at Kaled. They taste better than they look. Do they taste better than they sound? You mean you've never had blood crow with a side of boiled crab? I'd rather eat rocks. When you grow up in the sewers, you can't be as picky. Not another sewer story. Since when do I always tell... Have we been spotted? It is just an Albanoric. Keep practicing, my small friend. And perhaps one day you'll be as good as an oracle. Maybe an Erdtree oracle. He's not practicing. He's summoning a giant spooky skeleton. Morgoth, my silly omen fellow, he is not summoning a skeleton. <laughs> this is interesting. Get out of our way. Well, Mog definitely knows we're here now. It makes no difference. His fate remains the same. Why is Moog's palace always on fire? He says it reflects his burning love for his, uh, family. My way of showing love is to remove his head. That sounded awesome! Please stop screaming! What's wrong with you? Make it stop! Make the loud noises stop! What loud noises? Together! 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 I think he's went mad. Who can blame him? Do you think he's talking about- I love you, Lord Moog. Please make me part of your dynasty, Lord Moog. It's one of the simps. What dynasty? You haven't heard? Lord Moog is going to change the world! He just needs him to wake up. Needs who to wake up? The future god, the key to everything, the Empyrean child. So that's why he kidnapped Makilla. Are you going to believe the ramblings of this lunatic? Oh, hi, Morgoth. Shut up. Let's keep going and get my brother out of here. We're almost there. Morgoth, you should stay here. I don't want you to see what happens. What will happen is that we're going to talk to Morg. Morgoth, he stole Makilla and attacked Millicent. He needs to pay. There is no evidence of either of those things. Why would Millicent lie? She has scarlet rot. She's probably been driven mad by it. Melania, are you hearing this? Seems like we've got some more obstacles in our path. What are you doing here? Greetings. What's the matter, Morgoth? Aren't you happy to see me? Why are you here? Mog invited us over for a party. I'd rather party with the dogs at Kaelin. <laughs> I'd rather party with the bugmen. Step on me, mommy. And now we're defending his egg. Godric, you couldn't defend yourself from a cold. You'd know all about how to do that, wouldn't you? Since you're constantly loitering outside of my castle. Loitering? Did you come to loiter outside of here now, too? Even you would make this place look bad, Morgoth. Godric, I'm not interested in fight. You're even uglier than the Albinorix. I find that offensive! <laughs> Godric, I swear to- How about I send you back to the sewers? That's the only place where you belong. Maybe you'll find a nice rat to have a litter of hideous babies with. I'm in need of some new grafting materials. That's it. I suppose I can spare some time to quickly slaughter you. Melania, Radan, you two go on ahead to deal with Rikard. This won't take long. You got this, Morgoth. I was looking forward to defeating Godric again, but fine. Yeah, you better walk away, bitch. What did you say? 
Let's just go, Melania. Morgoth can handle this. You aren't going to run away. I don't run away from filth like you. Then you will die braver than most. I'm surprised you're not dead. Grafting, son. I've got the chest of a bear, the legs of a lobster, the eyes of a hawk, and the member of a boar. I've been making some preparations since the last time you threatened me. It doesn't matter how much you graft onto a pile of dung. It's still a pile of dung. Oh, yeah. Well, could a pile of dung do this? Oh. Not bad, Morgoth, but can you keep up? <laughs> uh, keep your hideous tail away from me! Looks like you're losing, Morgoth. I think I'll actually miss you at Stormvale. Maybe I'll remove your head and put it on my mantle. Godric, you fool. There's something you should know. What? I'm a boiled crab addict. <laughs> It's blood slice in time. You lose, Godric. Damn you. I'll just leave you here and let the corpses eat you. I don't want him. In truth, Morgoth, I thought you might still win. That's probably the only correct thought you've ever... What are you doing? Let go of me! So that's why I grafted some explosive living jars inside of me. Have you lost your mind? Maybe! Godric, you coward! See you in hell, Morgoth! What was that explosion? We don't have time to worry about it. He comes. Why do you want to fight us, Rikard? <sighs> He's nearly as loud as you. Shut up, you brain-dead snake! Does he want to eat us? Is that all we are to you, Rikard? Delicious little snacks? I wish I was deaf. <laughs> Did he just throw up a crow? You are revolting! <laughs> He's taken this whole god-devouring thing a bit too seriously. Melania, you should go and rescue Makilla. Who knows what disgusting things Moog is doing to him. Plus, he needs to pay for what he did to Millicent. And what of Rikard? I can handle him. He seems more interested in me anyway. Very well. Be careful. Rikard, what happened to you? You were my brother, Rikard. I loved you. And then you let a snake eat you? The weakness. I'll never join you. No, if it's a fight you want, then you shall have it. My arrow did nothing. That vile leathery hide isn't just for show. Let's see if it can handle my swords. Doesn't it? Ah! Enough of this! You are wasting my time! Oh. I missed? <laughs> Since when could you bounce? <laughs> Stop doing that! <laughs> What are you doing now? Are those floating flaming skulls meant to scare me? They can talk? How do you make them shut up? Damn you, Rikard! You like to eat rocks, don't you? Then dig on this! You're tough, Rikard. I'll give you that, even if you are brain dead. <sighs> Still got some fight left in you. That's the brother I know.
you, Rykard. You take a rest. I need to help Melania. Melania. Moog. Melania. Uh, who are you again? Far A, hide behind the egg. I have a feeling things are about to get messy, and not in a fun way. Of course, Lord Moog. You kidnapped my brother. Kidnapped? I saved him. I'm turning him into a god. Very soon my sweet Makilla will hatch from his beautiful egg, and then our magical dynasty will begin. You ripped him from the Halig tree and dragged him to this horrible palace. The Albanorix worked hard on this palace. Besides, he wanted me to take him. You were wasting his time, making him try to find a cure for your scarlet rot. Time that he could be spending on something far greater. What did you say? I won't let you take him from me! You're pretty fast for a frail, blind former prodigy. Talking to you is pointless, so let me tell you what is about to happen. For the sins of kidnapping my brother and attacking my daughter. You're a mom. Wow, someone must be brave. You know, because the Scarlet Rot would probably rot their cock. I sentence you to death, Moog. I am Melania, Blade of Makilla, and I have never known defeat. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. This is actually perfect! Killing you might be just what it takes to awaken Makilla. You're delusional, Moog. If you only knew the power of the formless mother. Here, let me show you. I'm surprised you've lasted this long. Didn't you hear? I'm the Lord of Blood. But now it's over. Oh, this move looks familiar. That red-haired girl used it against me. It didn't do much, though. Wait, was she your daughter? Shut up and die. Yeah. Lord Moog, are you okay? That hit a little different than the last one. Should I get the roses out? You're not my type. Stay behind the egg, Faray. Daddy's got this. Daddy. I was saving this for your brother, but you leave me no choice. It's Mogging time! <laughs> what is this stuff? You should be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> The sweet scent of blood. What do you think of the wings, Melania? Wait, can you even see them? All of this blood must be messing with your senses, huh? You disgust me! Too slow! God. Another miss. God. Melania, you aren't looking so good for someone who's undefeated. Why you? How about you take a rest? God. You did it, Lord Moog. Of course I did. Is Makilla awake yet? I'm not sure. His hand hasn't moved. Climb in there and have a look. But Lord Moog, I'm claustrophobic. Wait. Why won't you die? You will witness true horror. You have wings too? Lord Moog, I'm scared. There's no need to be scared. Look at all of her silly butterflies. What's the worst that a bunch of butterflies could do? You gave me scarlet rot! I'm going to need to wear gloves when fondling Makilla's hand now. You can keep your hands, but the rest of you goes. Lord Moog, you're hurt! It's time to end this. Get away, Fare! She's close to bleeding again! When she comes in for her next attack, I'm going to knee heel on her, then run her through. But Lord Moog, you can barely step- Here she comes! Greetings. Stop this fighting at once. Son, what is going on here? I was just minding my own business until she attacked me. Father, we found Makilla. Moog kidnapped him. He's in that cocoon. He's in an egg? Son, I am disappointed. Maybe I should have let you kill him. Radagon! I mean, you two shouldn't be fighting. Oh, and are my great runes okay? Radagon, you heartless bastard! Brother. Oh, hey, Morgoth. Are you okay? I'm dying, Morgoth. It hurts when I breathe. A 
Apart from that, I'm fine, though. Here, take this. Nom 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 nom. What are you doing, Morgoth? He kidnapped Makilla. You may not like it, but Moog is our best chance at waking Makilla up. He needs to die. My daughter is so damn cool. She'd be cooler without the butterflies. What are you going to do? Kill him and then move Makilla back to the Halig tree? Obviously. And what if while moving Makilla, he accidentally dies? That's not going to happen. Think, Melania, think. You don't know that. Makilla is in a delicate state right now. Is moving him worth the risk? And what does killing Moog actually accomplish? Shouldn't we hear what Makilla has to say on the matter? When's he gonna wake up? The release date will hopefully be next year. Release date? I don't want my brother trapped in this palace on his own. How about we ban Moog from seeing the egg and let you spend time with him? What? If no progress is made, then we let Moog return with your supervision to try to wake Makilla up. We all want the same thing, and Moog knows Makilla's condition better than anyone. He attacked Millicent. And you have already punished him for that. Ugh, fine. But once I wake Makilla up, I'm going to kill Moog. Could you please kill everything besides his great rune? I don't want to get turned into a sword. Turned into a what? Thanks for helping out, Morgoth. Of course, brother. Omen bros for life. Morgoth, you're alive! Family. I could say the same for you two. Yes, Rykard and I had an awesome fight. Who would have thought that being a giant snake would make you so tough? Together. Are you okay, Melania? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm going to let Moog live for now. You're lucky your daddy showed up to save you. Your daddy showed up to save you, too. I hate the guy. I'm standing right here, son. Morgoth, what happened between you and Godric? I defeated him, but then he grabbed me and exploded. He must have learned that from you, Melania. I don't explode. I bloom. But it did much less damage than I thought. It felt like the flames were absorbed by some sort of outer god. I left him lying out there. I don't think he's mastered the art of grafting explosives inside himself. I can't feel my stomach! You have outer god powers too, Morgoth. Which one, which one, which one? Who needs the powers of an outer god when you have an axe? <laughs> There you are! Are you addressing me? Kidnapping Makilla was all a part of my plan. I knew you would show up. Fare, is your mask on too tight again? And now that you're here, I am going to slay you and take Lady Rinala's hand. <sighs> With you out of the way, she and I shall marry, and I will become the King of Lyurni. <laughs> Anyway, let's all return to the capital and have a feast. I hear the oracles are practicing their sweet music. I'm staying here with Makilla, and I prefer the Halig Tree oracles. Oh, Melania, you're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach is gone! Mother has been a while. I'm sure she's fine. How's your spine, Stretchy? Good as new. Your spine was all kinds of messed up. Let's go, Millicent. I think I can stretch us all the way to the capital from here. Stretchy, no! All right, everyone, do you promise not to kill each other? I've already killed four Tarnished this morning. Family! I need my stomach replaced! I want to fill the world with love. I might kill Moog. What's with you two? I think they tried to kill each other. We don't have time for family drama. Gideon Ofnir has information on the most bullied enemies. I thought his name was Gilbert. Coming in at the number five spot is the sword and shield demi-human who has been killed three billion times. I didn't know there were three billion of them. Limgrave is a pretty big place. One of them makes clothes for me. I need them custom made because of all my arms. Put your disgusting arms away or I'll remove them. Why can't you just be nice, Melania? <laughs> Maybe if they swapped their shield for a sword, then they wouldn't die so much. At number four is the curved sword Albinoric, who have been slaughtered 3.4 billion times. Not the Albinorics. They're too cute. <laughs> Personally, I've always found them hideous. Their posture is awful. Their belly fat is shameful. They should try lifting rocks. Dancing would probably help them get into shape. You and your silly dancing, Melania. Do you want to see my dancing? Shooting in at number three is the crossbow exiled soldier who have been executed four billion times. Not my soldiers! They were probably plotting to kill you anyway. Plotting to kill someone. I couldn't imagine doing such a thing. <sighs> Why are so many of your weak soldiers dying, Godric? It's because Morgoth stopped protecting my 
castle. He's useless. I am this close to blood slicing you again. Your blood slicing is so cool, Morgoth. Can you teach me how to do it? You know enough moves involving your wicked blood. Melania, you're sounding a little bit racist. Walking their way into the number two spot are the magic putrid corpses. They have been put out of their misery 8.9 billion times. Rani, don't they live at the academy? Correct. They frequent the graveyards. Blythe likes to chase them around before savagely tearing them apart. It's rather funny. I have some putrid corpses at my palace. They explode into a cloud of blood flies when they die. They fit in perfectly. There are some rotten putrid corpses in Caled who always ask me for hugs. The putrid corpses are all simps. They are a plague on the lands between. Maybe I should invite them over to Stormvale. And now it's time for the most bullied enemy. The suspense is killing me! Please tell me it's not the man serpents. It's Another Albinoric, this time of the club variety. They have been butchered 9.4 billion times. That's disappointing. They should try using a dagger. They're too fat to use a dagger. Rani, there is something else. What is it? You've bestowed your Dark Moon Greatsword to 11.7 million tarnished. Isn't that what carrion queens give to their spouses? You've married nearly 12 million tarnished? I, uh... Rani, you are a sl... I expected better. You wee hussy! I can fix her! Shut up! Hey, kids! Oh, it's you. Aren't you happy to see me? My sweet Rani's just a little upset because of what Radagon said to her. What did he say? He called her a slut. So what if I've married a few million tarnished? I've probably eaten a few of your husbands. Malekith, do you want to go walkies with Blythe and Wolfie? Rani's not feeling up to it today. I have emotional damage. Yes! Hell yeah! <laughs> this is where Wolfie and I like to chase each other until we throw up. What's up with the crabs? Please don't disturb the Malekith. They are vicious. <laughs> but they look delicious. What you say about me, you little bitch? I'm male, actually. Please, Malekith, we should really just... You came by! into the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker! Now listen here, you- Let's dance, big boy! I'm gonna pinch you up so good your bitch mom won't even recognize you! You're getting my destined death! Your mom got my destined death last night! Let's just go. What was with that guy? He was just feeling a little crabby. Please be quiet! I'm trying to work! Wow, you're ugly! <laughs> You are rude! Well, he has a point. First you bully the crabs, and now you bully me? Actually, the crabs were bullying us. <laughs> well, this is one wandering noble you won't be bullying! <laughs> nice one, Wolfie. <laughs> I'm sure Lady Renala won't mind that we savagely mauled one of the nobles. You killed Larry. I thought that was Lenny. I was going to have dinner tonight with him and his wife. There's no way Lenny was married! You upstarts have done quite enough. <laughs> Time to put you pups down. I guess the one that was put down was you. Look at his juicy head. I want to chew on it. I want to chew on it first. I've been eyeing that noggin for months. I'm the one who killed him. You can chew on it when I'm done. <laughs> Wolfie! <laughs> and Malaketh, what are you doing here? Merica. I mean Radagon? Yes, Radagon. Radagon, you were very mean to Mistress Rani the other day. Silence, furry. I'm not a furry. I'm taking a break from interviewing bosses. They've all either been Melania simps or Melania haters. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> and why are you here? I'm on my way to battle Godfrey. He has challenged me to a duel. A da 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 duel. Will you accompany me? Yes. Blythe, you can have the head. I'm gonna chew on it so much. <laughs> Now you want it, Wolfie? That furry needs neutered. Welcome back, Rani. Lovely to see you again. Lovely to see my runes again, you mean. You greedy turtle. And it looks like you've brought a friend with you. She is not my friend. I despise her. She causes me nothing but grief. She's on my list of people I want to have assassinated, right after my father. Would you like to be added to the list as well, Muriel? Why is your father on your list? He called her a slut. Would people stop saying that? And it looks like you brought your dog with you too. <laughs> The torrent is actually a spectral steed. You all look like dogs to me. Muriel, you're sounding a little bit racist. I'm only here because Mother forced me. Let's just get this stupid session over with. Rani, why do you hate your sister? Who doesn't she hate? He was talking to me. He was talking to me. Shut up! Oh, I see what the problem is. You two are completely alike. I'm not a smurf. And I thought we were the partially sighted ones. It's true. You are both strong, independent, feisty ghost women who can speak to dogs. 
But you're also sisters, and nothing will change that. Can the rune of death change that? Are you hiding it in your silly hat? My hat is comfy and easy to wear. Easy? A bit like yourself, then. It's not my fault no one loves you. Torrent loves me. What I meant is that you are family. Family. Hello, Rikard. <laughs> He's not going to eat you, Torrent, unless you taste like pickled turtle neck meat. I am trying to conduct a therapy session here, Rikard. I would appreciate it if you could leave. Leave Rikard alone. He would do a better job than you anyway. You must be joking. <laughs> Rikard, Rani, and I hate each other. Can you help us, oh wise blasphemous serpent? <sighs> He's thinking. He's thinking about how he wants to eat my children. You're right, Rikard. <laughs> if I wasn't a doll, I would cry. Has the frenzied flame taken you all? Melina, please forgive me for being so cold. You are my family. Thank you, Rani. I too must join in the apologies. I will devour my own words. Let us put this nastiness behind us and face the future together. together. <laughs> there is no way that Rikard, bloody Rikard, has performed a better therapy session than me. I spent centuries at the Weeping Peninsula College for gifted turtles. We're cured, Muriel. Your services are no longer required. And don't think you're getting any of our runes. What? No. You still have to pay me. I need more celestial dew. It's just water. No, that's not true. That's impossible. 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 <laughs> well, that was fun. Indeed. We still hate each other, right? Of course. Let's do this again sometime. Looking forward to it. Radagon Godfrey. I didn't think a skinny, red-haired twig like you would show up. You're too stupid to think. Let's see how smart you are with my axe in your head. Fellas, this is just a roast tournament. No violence, please. It's bad for business. We're meant to fight with words. Words confuse Godfrey. Do you have any paint? I'll paint with your blood. Maybe setting this up was a mistake. Who are you cheering for, Rinala? Godfrey, of course. Radagon is a bastard. And you? Radagon, he's like a brother to me. I don't care who wins, as long as I make some runes. You stole my ex-wife. Uh. What kind of man are you? Um. Uh, um. I thought the second Elden Lord was meant to be good with words. Your tiny, shriveled nut of a brain wouldn't be able to comprehend what's going through my head. Not much from the looks of it. You're missing half of it. Stop body shaming him! You're a senile old fool. Did you forget that she exiled you? Has all that roaring in your ears given you brain damage? Leave Sarosh out of this. Cats are stupid! Why don't you take your mutt cat along with your wicked omens and jump from the top of the Erd tree? Just try not to get any of your tarnished blood on it. This guy is mean! You should try living with him. He's filthy rich though, right? Think of all the runes! The only rune that matters is the rune of death. Tell that to the merchants. Attacking my children? What about your children, Radagon? Weren't we already discussing them? Look at the damage you've done to poor little Radagon. I'm sure one of her millions of husbands can comfort her. Look at how Rikard has rebelled against you. Now he's almost as stupid as you. And Radon's blood boils at the mere mention of you. Maybe a cat meowing into his ear would fix that? <laughs> You are a failure of a father. You tell him, Godfrey. I'm glad I don't have kids. But they're so tasty. You lot need help. You're the one who throws their children into the sewers. That was Merica's doing. So now that's my fault too? What? Godfrey, let me make this simple. You big stupid dumb dumb who swing stick and make thing go boom boom. How dare you? You don't belong in the lands between. You belong in a cave with animals. Just try not to get cucked by them too. First, Eldon, cuck. You're getting suplexed. Just ignore him, Godfrey. Would you like to go on another date? Well, it looks like Godfrey was the real winner here. He clearly lost! You can have my sloppy seconds. You are the laziest demigod I have ever seen. What do you even do? How are you even useful? Do you really just sit on a chair all day and order people about? Pretty much. I don't think you'd be very good at interviewing. I need some active demigods to stand in for Malaketh and I. I prefer to sit. I don't mean to alarm you, but there is a deformed creature sitting on your head. That's my hat. Oh. Go and bother Radon. It's time for my nap. 
General Radon? A fat dragon approaches. What are you doing to that poor horse? Have you come to eat him? Of course not. Have you failed to notice that you're crushing him? Actually, I'm using my gravity magic to help him. Oh. Do you have two brains? Excuse me? How do you decide which head gets to talk? That's not how it works. Do you also have two stomachs? I'ma head out now. Hello, my omen friend. Would you like to interview some dangerous creatures? Are you insane? A war is coming. Which species are we genociding this time? The Halleck Tree Oracles, of course. These Erd Tree Oracles need whipped into shape. So I guess you're too busy? Try asking Moog. He has a lot of free time since he's been banned from his egg. I never knew omens liked eggs so much. I like crabs. Oh. By the way, do you mind if I nuke this thing? Yes, I do mind. Okay, I'll just go. I have some great news. You've won a trip to Faramazula. Really? Yes. All you have to do is occasionally interview people. What kind of people? Knights, gargoyles, giants, and space centipedes mostly. None of them sound very cute. I think a cat man is showing up too. I'm in. Great. You'll need a partner though. I've heard Melania is quite talented. I don't think her and I will mingle. She's a little upset with me right now. Oh. You should ask Rykard. Rikard, you've just won a trip to Faramaz- I wasn't quite done talking. Your enthusiasm is noted, but I need to explain some- You're not really able to talk, are you? Oh. Well, I'll let you get back to whatever it was you were doing. Where am I going to find another demigod? Greetings! You again? Are you out hunting my kin? I'm actually out hunting boar. I'm collecting their members. It pains me to ask this, but... Would you be interested in doing some interviews at Faramazula? Will strong creatures with beautiful parts be there? If you think demi-human queens are beautiful, then sure. They are. Then it's settled. You and Moog shall take over while Maliketh and I are gone. While you're off doing that, I think I'll go to Kaelid and visit some of my dragon kin. The dragons at Kaelid are all rotting! Oh. 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 Are you even trying? Do you want us to lose? I should have you all executed for betraying the Golden Order. Do you understand what is at stake here? Answer me, damn you! A war against the Halig Tree Oracles is just around the corner and the Erd Tree commands you to win. Your music is rusty. Show me your finger position. I should chop your fingers off for how wrong that is. It should be like this. Is your instrument even clean? What do you call this? <sighs> Don't look at me like that. A giant ant is about to attack. Now blow me a bubble. The boiled crab I had for breakfast could blow a better bubble than that. <sighs> you, what can you do? Stop spinning, damn you. Do you want me to smash you with this hammer? What is that horrible screeching? It's the oracles. The oracles. A choir of omens would sound better. Well, it wouldn't be the first time an omen has defended the Erd Tree. You, large oracle, play me a tune. <sighs> I think he's ignoring you. Your god commands you. Merica's our god. Your Elden Lord commands you. Second Elden Lord. Shut up, Morgoth. He's dooting. Doot even harder. He's building up to something. Let the dudes flow through you. That was magnificent. Your Elden Lord is pleased. Maybe this city won't be destroyed by bubbles after all. That'd be more embarrassing than getting turned into a sword. <sighs> I wonder if Melania's Halig Tree oracles are dying from scarlet rot. A dying oracle's music may be all the sweeter. I suppose there's no harm in killing a few of them if it looks like we're losing. That's the kind of thinking that could make you Elden Lord. Thanks. If you didn't have a hideous omen tale. There's nothing wrong with my tail! <laughs> What is that horrible screaming, Mother? It's the simps. The simps? Yes, Millicent. This castle is full of them. They are the lowest, most degenerate form of life. Oh, dear. The Lord of the Simps lives in this castle. Don't let his sweet words fool you. He needs to die. Are you ready? Yes, Mother. My blade will end their poor suffering. Some of them derive sick satisfaction from suffering. Let's just make this quick. 
Dear God, is that Melania? And is that a mini Melania? Stay close, Millicent. Mother, I'm scared. Is she your daughter? I'm totally into that sort of thing. What sort of thing? Don't ask. Could you sign my worms? How about I kick Ooh. them instead? Thank you, Mommy. I've never met a more disgusting creature. I can only imagine how grotesque their lord must be, but it's too late to turn back. Let's go, Millicent. Yes, Mother. Oh, look at you pretty little things. A woman? I used to be beautiful. Now look at me. Simps are an empty husk which drain life from those around them. The same will happen to you. Don't say that. You'll be trapped in this castle for all eternity. Please hug me. Please hold my hand. This is your destiny. No. Do you like my bell? Leave us alone. <laughs> Well struck, Millicent. Am I a murderer? She died a long time ago. Let's keep going. Their lord is close. The agony, the pain, the torment. Is that one of my knights? Make it stop. Make the suffocating compliments stop. Are you okay, Mr. Press Knight? You need to end him. Don't let him brainwash you. He needs to be torn in half and fed to the crows. Come with us. It's too late for me. This is awfully dramatic. We will avenge you. Come, Millicent. Of course, Mother. Oh, Melania, my dear Melania. Time passes, but your beauty never fades. How I long to see your face one day. To touch your hand. To sneakily sniff your hair. Your days of simping are over. Dear God, my paintings come to life. Mother, is he alright? It's you! It's really you! From your perfectly crafted hand to your seductively positioned feet. Excuse me? To your gorgeous belt loopies. All I have is a knot. Did you see the painting? It's worth more than my very life. So not very much then. It looks just like you, Mother. It looks nothing like me, probably. Come, let me dine on you. Uh, I mean, dine with you. I've got bread, apples, and dew-kissed herbal tea. I wouldn't mind an apple. Don't, Millicent. He may have touched it. What do you think of my glowy red hand? It is mesmerizing. How dare you try to hypnotize my daughter? Check out how strong I am. Impressive, right? Are you trying to attack us? I'm trying to seduce you. Do you know how heavy this thing is? You are rather strong. You're too dangerous to be kept alive. It's time to end this. Is Melania about to get physical with me? I'm one lucky little bell-bearing hunter. Mother, please wait. Millicent, don't let him fall. Would you like to read some books with me? I'm blind, you idiot. Then how come you gaze lovingly back at me? Because you're deranged. The Lands Between is full of horrible people, but at least he's nice. What's the harm in letting him compliment us every now and then? Are you suggesting we friendzone him? Uh, yes. Works for me. Fine. So are you really Melania's daughter? Yes, I am. Do you mind if I paint you? Well, okay. Put that brush down! How big is it? I beg your pardon. Answer his question. But it is highly inappropriate. Do you want this job or not? I'm asking about your sword. Oh, well, as you can see, my sword is rather long. Not that sword. What age are you? Why does it matter? Well, I'm wondering if there's a cute little face underneath that helmet. I'm not trying to be cute. You're really messing up this interview. I'm about to ask you a personal question. I'm not telling you how big my sword is. Not that. Something more personal. Please tell me it's to do with my combat skills. Have you ever made love with a land octopus? What? It's a simple question. This is a safe space. I won't judge. I have slain many octopuses. Tell me more about this slaying. I am a knight of Godfrey. I don't need to tolerate- Godfrey is a loser. How dare you insult Lord Godfrey? Godfrey is cool, Moog. Do you think being a cuck is cool? What's wrong with a bit of cuck holding every so often? What do you think? I'm not married. Are you also waiting for your egg to wake up? My egg? Didn't you say you married an octopus? I am married to my work. If we give you this job, does that mean you'll be married to us? Of course not. You saucy little sausage. You've been fantasizing about my hands, haven't you? I'm only interested in slaying Tarnished. A slim, attractive Tarnished rolls up to your arena. What do you do? I kill them, obviously. So you wouldn't knee heal on them first? I don't know what that is. Would you like me to show you? I'm gonna say no. You think you're too good for us? Well, I have your CV here, and I'm not impressed. Your HP is of below average size, and you are clearly a liar. I don't see any wings or a tail, and believe me, I've checked. I am no liar. Behold my majestic wings. I've seen better. Can I graft them? With these wings, I'll be able to slay many tarnished. Are you saying they make you a more efficient sexual predator? And that's not all. Gaze upon my tail. It's so long! With this, I'll be able to catch Tarnished by surprise! You're not going to do a bit of cuddling first? So as you can see, I'm no liar. Where did they go? 
Well, they're just incantations. I don't actually have them. So I can't graft them! These are real wings. Oh, my primordial crucible, you have wings too? Pretty sick, right? Such shame. I cannot bear. Don't feel bad. There's plenty of octopus who will still love you. How a pervert like you has bested me. I cannot work here. I should shove you into an egg for saying that. Farewell, cruel Farah Mazula. What a drama queen. I thought he was a drama king. It was hard to tell. I think candidates should show up naked from now on. The dragons are all naked. It's only fair. You can't keep your eyes off them, can you? I need their parts! Dear God, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? <laughs> Why don't you breathe fire? I thought I was already breathing fire. Is this scarlet rot? You got it on your foot. I think I'm dying, Placidus Sax. You think? I should probably stop eating the dogs around here. What are you even doing here? Well, I'm defending that church up there. Sometimes tarnished wander up to eat dragon hearts. It's disgusting. Yes, that's disgusting. They think they can turn themselves into dragons like us by eating enough hearts. Please don't equate me with you. As if they could attain our dignified dragon body by doing that. You're looking a little thin, x -Sykes. I can see all of your unpleasant ribs. I'm pretty shredded, right? Not as shredded as your body. It looks like a few of those dogs took bites out of you. Tis but a flesh wound. Do you need me to cauterize the wound? Could you drink all of the scarlet rot out of me? No. Then could you take me to Farah Missoula? I've heard the place is sick. Uh, let me think about it. Let me think about it far away from you. I love the smell of bridge in the morning. Excuse me, but what are you doing here? I'm defending the bridge, of course. The only healthy dragon around here is wasting his time defending a bridge? This bridge is marvelous. It is big and strong, just like me. Okay. Look at that little bitch bridge down there. It's nothing compared to my bridge. That bridge looks fine to me. Yeah, you heard me, you bitch-ass motherfucking looking bridge. I wouldn't even take a shit on that bridge, you dumbass, stupid-ass, ugly-ass, small-ass, crumbly-ass, racist-ass, unintelligible-ass, gray-ass mother. Fucker. Anyway, how's Farah Missoula doing? It's great, thanks. Can I come visit? Absolutely not. You are a deadbeat dragon lord. Excuse me? These babies are yours. Daddy! Those aren't mine. Why don't you love me, daddy? Do you have immortality granting scales? No! Can you fashion lightning into weapons? No! Does your name end in sax? My name is Baby! How about you go and play with Uncle X Sykes over by the church? The red mist he breathes tastes like strawberries. I love strawberries! Placidus Sax, you are a bastard! Sorry, but I can't hear you over the sound of me walking. Do you remember what walking is? Pay me child support! I'm going to talk to some real dragons. I wonder what Lanziax and Fortisax are up to. Take me with you, Daddy! Don't look at me! Calm down, everyone! Torrent nearly died. They are a menace! They are surprisingly strong. Keep them away from my tree. I think they have a foot fetish. I find them ugly. <laughs> I can't get enough of them! The lobsters may be even worse than the rune bears. How did we deal with the rune bears again? We didn't. Oh, the rune bears are fine if you give them a few tiny tasty treats. Not unlike someone else I know. Oh, shucks, Godric. You'll make me blush. What the fuck did you say? You, you all disgust me. Can we feed them omens? That will solve two problems. Do you ever say anything that isn't racist? Silence, Smurf. I'm surprised you haven't mated with one, Morgoth. What? Well, aren't you into crabs? The lobsters and the crabs are ancient rivals. I want to hear more about this foot fetish. Mother and I were approached by one while walking. Did someone say feet? Quickly, Mother, hide your feet. Why are you crayfish obsessed with my feet? I crave what I do not have. I don't remember hearing about that. I only told the Tarnished who are channel members. Did you say member? Serves that bitch right. I'm going to turn into a meteor and kill you. I'm going to turn into a meteor. That is all you ever say. That's not true. There is an element of truth to it. <laughs> Rikard says that you are addicted to meteors and that you need help. I'm the one who needs help. <laughs> Could everyone shut up? Let's try to remain focused here. What are we going to do about the lobsters? Well, actually, they are crayfish. Well, actually, they are crayfish. Shut up! Good one, Melina. You may be my second favorite daughter. Rani, would you like a hug? Don't talk to me. I think Rani is a good person who's just made some bad choices in life. What? Radan, would you like to help me train the oracles later? Sure. Radan, you are a traitor. Morgoth, do you have any Roa raisins? Do I look like I have bloody raisins? There's no need 
to be rude. Family, do you want some of my raisins? Don't talk to me. I prefer eggs over raisins, especially when there's something cute hiding inside. Keep your filthy omen mouth shut. Here we go with the racism again. You can all just piss off. Look at his hideous face and his pointy little ears. What's wrong with his teeth and those beady little eyes? What are you, blind? Well, yes, actually, I'm a bat. Mistress Rani, why are we bullying this bat? Because it makes me feel good. You're a nasty little witch. Well, duh. Let me guess, daddy issues? What? You're quite right. Rani's father has recently called her both a slut and a smurf. Shut up, life. And how did that make you feel? That is none of your... Would you like to talk about it? I can do a quick therapy session for 10,000 runes. 10,000 runes? How about three dog biscuits? I was trained by Pastor Muriel himself. F*** this. Blythe, eat him. Yes, Mistress Rani. <laughs> Look at his peaceful little face. Mistress Rani, I feel sick. Let's find something nicer for you to snack on. Good evening. Why, hello there, Missy. Is that there one of those furries? I am not a furry. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Thanks. You must hate having to work down here. This here smithing stone will make it all worthwhile. I have a feeling it's a rare one. Yes, it must be truly awful. Would you like me to kill you? Is your hat on too tight, you silly wee doll? I said I'm fine. How dare you insult my hat? Blythe, eat him. But Mistress Rani, he didn't really say... Your mistress commands you. Of course. <laughs> Excellent work. I think I chipped my tooth. I'll take you to the vet later. Blythe, what are you doing? I don't feel so good. The troll is about to attack again. So I'm a big inbred goofball, huh? I need a drink. Well, could a goofy noodle head do this? Blythe, are we having a little nap? Were you always blue? I think my dog has brain damage. I'll save you, Blythe! Another mutt for me to smash. Your mom got smashed last night. How dare you? She got my destined dick! She'd never cheat on me. And now it's your turn. This is getting weird. Taste my head! I died. How I live. Like a big, goofy, inbred noodle head. No. Like a huge sack of potatoes. No. Like a proud, noble warrior. No. Like an angry, stomachless giant. Well, actually, you are a lesser giant. I dislike blue people. I've never heard anything so vile. Do you feel better now, Mistress Rani? Not really. I'm going to go for a nap. I need to go to the vet. I'll take you, Blythe. I know a guy. Who? Godric. I'd rather just die. I'm trying to nap. You are not descended from me. Did you see my axe? This is a real axe. Did you see my crown? This is a real crown. What about my braids? Thy braids befits a clown. I wonder how I would look with braids. <laughs> I'm the Lord of Stormvale. You've turned it into a House. Would you like to visit? I'd rather break Sarosh's neck. <laughs> I have paintings of you. Paintings! Every morning, the Scions line up and spray it with their love. Burn those paintings. Where's my painting? <laughs> How did you get hold of a great rune? Well, have you seen my hands? You probably grafted it together, you coward. I'm no coward. I defeated Melania. Bullshit. <laughs> you are a walking abomination. Godfrey, didst thou witness my feet? What is that? <sighs> this is a normal feat. Foot. I can see up your skirt. <laughs> I heard you got cucked by Radagon. I can help with that. I can get you a fresh troll member for half price. That's not a bad deal. <sighs> How many bloody rings do you have, Rikard? You must be swimming in troll parts. <laughs> How have you not been slain yet? Many have tried, but alas, I am a demigod. Don't put you and God in the same sentence. You can't spell Godric without God, nor can you spell it without dick. Are you saying you'd like the troll Todger? Keep your Todger away from me. So, uh, what's up with the snake on your back? You let it eat you. You rich kids need help. I am descended from Godwin, your best son. I love all of my sons equally. Even the ones you locked in a sewer. That was a long time. Time ago. My way of showing love is to chase people around my castle. Okay. I am naked and smothered in oil the whole time. I don't want to know. The harlots can get a bit too excited. Godfrey is our safe word. You dare besmirch my name? I thought you'd be happy. Happy? Well, not as happy as the harlots when I pretend I didn't hear them. Isn't that illegal? <laughs> Has my bloodline been diluted this much? Looking at you makes me wish I severed my own phallus. Wow, Godfrey, you're into that hardcore stuff. I like it. That is not what I'm... I don't think the harlots are ready for someone like you. Can you teach me your ways? Never speak to me again. Was it something I said? Well, it was a weird sort of roast. <laughs> What's that, Rikard? You want people to subscribe? <laughs>
Grammarly. You heard him. If you're not subscribed, then click that button to help a guy out. Can you resist my dreamy eyes? We're under attack! What? I will teach you which tree is the best, Melania. Erd tree oracles, are you ready? Kill your Halic tree rivals! They've attacked sooner than expected. I can't tell which oracle is which. Radon, that's kind of racist. What are you doing just sitting there? You're meant to kill them, not stare at their tree. Blow some bubbles or you're getting crucified. <laughs> Excellent duding. You blew his bloody arm off. I'm sorry, my Halig Tree Oracle. Don't worry, we still have him. The little oracle is facing the bigger oracle. If it dutes, you can kill it. <laughs> He pushed him! You will be remembered. Which one was he again? The one that was smashing the Erdtree avatar. What will we tell their children? <sighs> Stop sighing, you home wrecker. <laughs> Do you want push too? These oracles need glued down. That's cheating! All is fair in love and dutes. Flowers, attack them! <laughs> Get up or I'll blood slice you. <sighs> Strike them down, my ants. Did Melania just talk to us? She was probably talking to the other ants. This oracle war is pretty dumb. There's one of them now. Taste my discharge. You sprayed my oracle. Oh, my America. Is that Radagon? You know too much. You killed Wilfred. What is that? He is our mightiest warrior. Why is he obese? He's all muscle. <laughs> also, he's a cannibal. Surrender while you can. Never. Our mightiest oracle fears nothing. Then you shall die. Damn you. That oracle should be banned. You've won for now. Tactical retreat, everyone. It's finally over. The oracles can be at peace. Which of you wants to be eaten next? Can I need heal on your face? What's that? Want me to show you? We should warm him up first. Okay, I've got five questions for you, each more difficult than the last. Think you can handle them? I am ready. I love it when they're eager. First question, what's your body count? Several hundred for sure. Well, aren't we a tasty little tart? Are you hungry? You bet I am. Hands off, Godric, he's mine. Sorry. Yes, I have killed many creatures. Are you saying you're a passionate lover? Well, I do have a passion for combat, if that's what you mean. It's not! Second question. If I put milk in a bowl, would you drink it? Uh... Aren't you thirsty from all that passion? When I'm thirsty, I just wait for it to rain, then open my mouth. Like this? That's no good. Wouldn't you prefer milk? Do you breed cattle? Something like that. I'm not sure what you mean. Don't strain your cute little face. Let's move on. Third question. How durable is your tail? Very. I've strangled many tarnished with it. So you like a bit of choking? Well, yes. I find it very Effective. So do my harlots. Excuse me? So if I gave it a good hard tug, it wouldn't snap. Is that to pull me out of the way from an enemy's thrust? Well, actually, it'd be to pull you closer to an ally's thrust. Are there traitors at Faramazula? We should punish them. Are you into torture? If it gets results, then yes. I have some results for you. You can give him your results after I'm done. I hope I pass. Fourth question. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? Well, I actually stole this sword. It was Radigant. You're a sneaky little kid. Did those cute little wings help you steal it? These wings are pretty useless. I'm sure I could find a use for them. The Golden Order will surely execute me. Each day may be my last. That's why I want to move to Faro Missoula. Don't be scared, my cuddly little cat. I'm actually a misbegotten crusader. This brings me to my final question. Can you come a little closer? What do you mean? I mean, can you come closer to me? Well, yeah, but I don't really see the point. I want to whisper something in that fluffy little ear. Well, okay. A little closer. A little closer. Closer! Is this close enough? <laughs> He's dead! Whoops! It's an honest mistake. You want to graft him, don't you? Those wings would make me so cute! Say it! You want me to say it? Say it! Please stop them, Muriel. I like my shell. You're not ready for it! The second Elden Lord is all talk. Muriel! Oh yeah, the therapy thing. Radagon, thank you for coming to this session. What's on your mind? I'm wondering if Renala is insane. It's going to be one of these sessions, then. You need help, Radagon. You are always insulting Godfrey. His brain is made from gravel. What am I meant to do? At least I'm not missing half of it. Don't make me say it. Say it, you coward of a man. Is this how Elden Lord...
lords get on these days? I miss the dragons. You blasphemous little turtle. Radagon, wouldn't you rather get along with Godfrey? I'd rather get crucified by a slug. He'd be someone you could ask Elden Lord questions to, like, what do you think of the chair? And who are we genociding today? Is that what you think interests me? I can't stand chairs. I prefer to talk to myself. Radagon, you can't just talk to yourself all day. You'd be surprised. Radagon, you wee misfit. Don't make me say it, Godfrey. Say it! You need to learn to communicate. You can't keep calling Rani a slutty smurf. But that's what she is. And you can't keep insulting the way Rikard talks. It's really more like grotesque purring than talking. And you certainly can't be questioning Radon's strength. Melania is stronger. She's also far richer. Radigan, you are a bastard. He's also a deadbeat father. Be silent or I'll- The rune bears are better fathers, and they eat their own young. The lobsters are better, and they trade their young in for fee paintings. I swear to the greater will, I'm going to- The wandering nobles are better, and they're maidenless. Godric is better, and he grafts his children's limbs. Can I get my runes now? That is enough. Enough. Godfrey, you are an old, graceless fool. You smell like spoiled troll milk that has been defecated in. What the fuck? One of your sons is a sexual predator who shoves children into eggs, then fondles their hands. Your other son is a boiled crab addict who loiters outside my damn tree all day, reeking of piss. And your dead son was a dragon-loving loser who got killed by ballerinas. They were assassins! You should do everyone a favor and join him. Radagon, that is quite enough. Don't get me started on you, you mentally unstable witch. So, uh, about those runes? You slam your little sweetlings at Tarnished until their heads explode, and then you rebirth them and do it all over again. I can see where Rikard gets his pension for torture. How dare you! You turned Rani into a spoiled little brat who gives out to the first Tarnished that looks her way. You have an unhealthy obsession with my amber egg, and your hat is fucking ridiculous. You should both be thrown from the top of the earth tree for the damage you've caused to the lands between. I've heard enough. Let's go, Godfrey. You're a cruel man, Radagon. A cruel man. I think that went very well. Really? Letting a little venom out will allow us to heal. I suppose that makes sense. I'm just glad you didn't roast me. You are a fat, greedy, slow, lazy turtle who should be turned into soup. What is wrong with you, dragons? You're all either dying or insane. I think I'm pretty normal. Then why are you wasting your time here? Sometimes I turn into a human and act as a priestess. Okay, so clearly you're insane. If you think I'm bad, wait until you see Fortisax. Why do you change into a human? Is that some kind of sick fetish? I like to commune with knights and teach them about dragons. What do you mean by commune? Just talking. Okay. And sometimes loving. Damn it, Lancex. Is there a problem? The problem is that you're a simp for humans. Well, at least I'm not a simp for a zombie mermaid. What? One of the knights I communed with nearly became Elden Lord. Back in my day, being Elden Lord meant something. But then he got fiddled by some fingers and went mad. Could you repeat that? So now I just stay here and defend the Erd Tree. I think nuking the Erd Tree would be more fun. Have you tried nuking it? I don't have nukes. Oh. But I do have this cool glaive. I suppose that's cool for a human-loving simp. I'm not a simp! I'm going to go and see Fortisax. Hopefully he's normal. Please help him! He's not normal, is he? Fortisax, what the hell happened to you? Oh, hey, not much. Well, I've become corrupted by death, but apart from that, it's business as usual. Why are your scales black? Placidisax, you're sounding a little bit racist. Why are there spikes sticking out of your face? That's just my death blight. Can you even see out of your right eye? I can see great. So did you always have four heads? And what is that giant monstrosity behind you? Oh, that's Godwin. The demigod that you became a simp for? I don't agree with that terminology, but yes. Did he always look like that? The whole zombie mermaid thing was pretty recent. He got stabbed by a harem of slutty ballerinas, causing his soul to decay. STDs can do that. I've been trying to fight off the death blight to save him. So that's why you look like a porcupine. I'm still the strongest dragon. Check out my double lightning spears. That's pretty cool. Want to nuke the Erd Tree? Are you insane? What would Godwin think? Not much from the looks of it. I'm going to rescue him or die trying. Spoken like a true simp. Excuse me? I'm off to visit Gransax. Hopefully he's normal. How did you not notice? What? He's become a giant stone ornament that tarnished trample over. There's no way that's right. Dear God, he was right. Mother, how was I born? What do you mean? Who's my father? Uh...
He must have been wonderful to make you fall in love with him. Listen, Millicent, that's not really what I can just imagine it. How dare you wake me up from my nap? Konnichiwa, ここはトイレですか You are very handsome, but you must die. あなたは元気いっぱいの小さなトラートです。Do you have any last words? 君はすでに死んでいる。What? 私のストレッチについてどう思いますか Stop trying to seduce me. Millicent, none of this happened. I'm not finished, mother. You fought well for a tarnished. 審査はバンダテフセを100回しました。But now it's over. あなたのせいは猫の舌のようなものです。Your face is mesmerizing. Let's run away together. やれやれだぜ。What do you think of the weather? 私の入手ならエルデンリングを切れるかもしれない。We need to find somewhere more romantic for our honeymoon. コミットメントの問題があります。Yes, I love you too. やれやれだぜ。Millicent, this is totally ridiculous. Please stop interrupting, mother. I'm getting to the part where I'm born. This place is a bit too warm. 遊び場でもグイジョーに汗をかきます。What's that? スープが好きって言ったのに。Are you thirsty? ここ一時間ずっと自分の酸素を飲んでいます。Try to control yourself until we find a more intimate spot. やれやれだぜ。This place is nice and quiet. I'm not coming. You want to do what to me? Tega Kyuzo d e s I never knew you felt so strongly. I want to have a baby. Nani? The most beautiful, perfect, red haired girl the world has ever seen. Tada no tomodachi n a t t e m i d e s k a I know just the place. Yari yari daze. Here we are. Watch no bitto de dari ka ga kuso. You've been waiting a long time for this, haven't you? Oven wo tsuke panashi ni shite shimatta yo desu. Let's do it, you strange little man. <laughs> Millicent, none of that ever happened. Are you sure? He wasn't even speaking the same language as me. It was the language of love. And why was a jar on his head? Don't they say love is blind? I think you need therapy, Millicent. Be careful, mother. A tarnished is coming. Konnichiwa. Nani! I have some wonderful news. There's a new Elden Ring. This is incredible. I want it. Is m a k i l l a in it? I also have that question. Is marriage in it? Of course you'd ask that. <laughs> And we have a special guest to tell us more. So, what's the new Elden Ring like? It's not Elden Ring, it's Armored Core. Armored Core? Is that a new piece of equipment? Is it better than my armor? Everyone wears your armor. Shut up, Melania! There's no way it's beating my sick drip. It's a completely different world. It's nothing like Elden Ring. How does one kill someone in it? If your AP drops to zero, then you die. Sounds an awful lot like HP. Is there stamina? We have a brand new stat called Energy. What happens when it depletes? Then you can't perform certain. Actions. So they've renamed stamina. Fascinating. It's different. Is there a dodge roll in it? Of course not. Well, that's a big difference. Instead, there is a quick boost. How does that work? You use it to dodge enemy attacks. Okay, so it's exactly the same. It's not the same. Let's be respectful, everyone. Launching a new world can be difficult. Thank you. We all remember Elden Ring's launch. Stop comparing them or I'll nuke you. You have weapons that can nuke people. Is that a new Ash of War? Your weapons look heavy. I have been careful not to exceed. My load limit. That's just like our equip limit. I often frequent the parts shop to adjust my build. Please take me to the parts shop, Morgoth. Please, please, please. No. So is the Elden Ring powering those suits? Elden robots? There aren't any Elden Rings. Can you hear the formless mother in them? I can hear Handler Walter. This Handler Walter guy probably has an awesome voice. You both sound very similar. Can you explore the world? I'm assigned missions. That sounds boring. Each mission could be my last. What a drama queen. I, for one, am very excited for the new Elden Ring. Armored Core is not Elden Ring. Just one question Are omens in it? We need more omen representatives. Presentation. Preach it, brother. F this. I'm going back to Rubicon. So there'll be a new area called Rubicon. Interesting. I hope it's better than Caleb. He didn't seem happy to answer our questions. He probably got stuck on the tutorial boss. If I like the lands between, would I also like Rubicon? <sighs> well, there's HP, stamina, and dodge rolling. They basically copied us. If I can't explore the world on a horse, then I'm out. If I can't graft a dragon, then I'm also out. I think it might be fun. I think it's safe to say that we have something special here in the lands between. This world of ours is one. One of a kind. Hey, Morgoth, how's Dark Souls 4 doing? Piss off, Gwyn! Father, is that you? Millicent, I have no idea who this is. How did you marry my mother? I can just imagine it. Stop imagining things. What do you think of the view? This is a lovely place for our picnic. Maybe we should build a house here. It'd be a great place to raise our family. We could send our children. 
return to the Academy. Yomenai. We'll need to get married first. Yare yare da ze. Millicent, you're making this all up. Gyunyu ga haratte masu. I'm not finished, mother. I like to come here to relax. Mashi wo suru to yari. What do you think of it? Ami ga hitsuyou da. A lot of tarnished dye here. Nodo ga sakimashita. They're not strong like you. Kono gure wa shita no kudamono no aji ga suru kamo. Are you thinking about our future? Sampling shi na kereba narimasen. Are you going to propose? Anata no nektar de watashi wo mitashite kudasai. Don't drink it. You'll die. 私は海を経験したカエルのようなものです。You really、are the man for me. やれやれだぜ Millicent, that is absurd. 私はこのピーラキーな女の子の物足りが好きです。I'm nearly at the part where you get engaged. Where is this place? 予備の養分をここに起こしておきました。Is this where you'd like us to get married? 掃除が必要です。I can already hear our wedding bells. 私を嘲笑するのはやめてください。残酷な賞。Though I'm not sure if my family would fit up here. あなたは大きな事件です。Do you like the way my mother looks? 何 ?I can look like her too. See? この女性は切れた。Will you marry me if I pose like this? やれやれだぜ。We're rather high up. This spot is nice and secluded. It would be a great place to propose. My loins are burning. What are you waiting for? I am yours. Do it! Oh my! Are you proposing? This is so unexpected. I do. Of course I do. Come here, you little hunk. I love you. Millicent, I am very worried. You're both perfect together. Why would he drink scarlet rot? To win your heart. And what was with that loincloth part? You made me sound desperate. The heart wants what it wants. I can't even understand him. You're the worst dragon I've ever seen. You can't breathe fire, your wings are too small. And you are obese. Just look at those wings. They are ridiculous. I worked hard on these wings. Do they even work? I like to scratch my back with them. That's not what they're meant for. I'm going to tell the strongest magma worm about this. Then you'll be sorry. Is he also a big fat lizard? He'll eat your heart. That sounds like something a chubby snake would say. I don't even know what you're talking about. This is all muscle. Muscle of other animals you ate. I even train like a dragon. That's why I live in this volcano. Dragons don't live in volcanoes. Yes, they do. If they They eat enough magma. That's how they breathe fire, right? No. Look at these sick flames. Do you need a bib? I'm not hungry, thanks. Dribbling magma is not the same as breathing fire. Would you like to get in here and dribble with me? I'd rather chew off my head. Are you the strongest magma worm? Yes. I'm looking to nuke him. Then no. Why do you live in a cave? Is it because you're hideous? I'm protecting a strong weapon. Is it a cookbook? It's an overpowered katana. I think you could do with a cookbook. The moon veil in the wrong hands could kill us all. And your hands are the right ones. I am a smart, responsible magma worm. Is that what your mommy told you? I ate my mommy. Oh. I don't mean to be rude, but could you please leave? Excuse me. Your mangled neck is grossing me out. This is a battle scar. Okay. The battle was legendary. I don't really care where it's from. It's making me sick. I'll just go and nuke the strongest magma worm then. Oh, you'll never beat him. And why's that? He's way bigger than me. He must have eaten a lot of mummies. He'll eat your heart. Cool story, bro. Needs more dragons. You're the strongest magma worm. I am the mighty Theodorix, but you should already know that. I recall interviewing you. Weren't you the inbred troll? Yes. Who strangled dragons with his thighs? I did do that once. And you married your own sister? In my defense, she was really hot. I don't really want to touch you. Well, that's reassuring. Are you as useless as the other magma worms? I am their king. All hail the great Theodorix, king of obesity. Behold my ultimate move, standing up. I'm surprised your legs aren't collapsing. And I can also hold my sword with two hands. With that kind of balance, you could be a ballerina. Shut up. This has been a complete waste of time. Well, we can't all be as cool as the ancient dragons. Actually, the ancient dragons are all simps. Really? That's hilarious. And Kalid's dragons are either dying or have a bridge fetish. I like to keep my fetishes closer to home. I'm. Starting to think I'm the only normal one, Theodorix. You literally have two heads. You weren't really going to raid Faramazula, were you? Probably not, but maybe. It's nice to talk to someone who isn't insane. Agreed. So can I eat your heart? I should have nuked you.
I'm gonna show you my five tastiest enemies. Please don't eat me. Malekith, I'm very hungry. I'm sure there'll be something on the list which you'll like. If there isn't, I'm going to burn the Erd Tree. I'm not on the list, right? Of course you are. Just look at that tasty little face. I don't like turtles. Well, I do! <laughs> I should have become a therapist. Is the next enemy tastier than a turtle? It is! Let's go! Welcome to the ant colony. Why did you think I'd like ants? Well, they're so stringy and crunchy. It's like a little explosion going off in your mouth. It's that psycho dog again. Get him, Jerry. I'll deal with this. It seems they know you. I love it when my food fights back. I'm sick of you coming here and eating us. Today, I'll be eating you. I'm going to blow you up. Oh, dear God, it burns, Jerry. No. What the f*** am I watching? After some ant, you need to cleanse your palate. I need to cleanse my eyeball. And nothing does a better job than jellyfish. Have you come to play with me? Jellyfish are the spirits of children. So? Let's play tag. Can I tag you with my teeth? You and that old woman are nasty. Old woman. Kids can be so cruel. It's spraying time. You got some on my clothes. Did your mommy buy them for you? My mom's stuck in a tree. I'm a drink you. Malekith, I'm going to just leave. Jellyfish squirt is harmless, apart from the poison. Nothing you've shown me is edible. I'd be better off having soup with Godric. That soup is just his bath water, you know. What? I promise you'll like the next one. It's really good. Time for some beast men. I'm going to set myself on fire. Hiya, Master Malekith. Hello, lunch. Everything's been awful since you left. Your meat is still good, though, right? Godric and Moog have been molesting the interview candidates. Burning myself is sounding pretty pretty good right about now. And now a big angry space centipede is on its way. I'm sorry, but did you say please eat me? I'm delicious. Uh, no. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> if I didn't like turtles or ants or jellyfish, then why did you think I'd like beastmen? Oh, I forgot you were here. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. My number one tastiest enemy is great. Even a fussy eater like you will enjoy it. I'm not fussy. Yeah, you are. I'm not. You kind of are. Shut up and feed me. Please kill me. This is your tastiest enemy. I love chewing on these things. End my suffering. They're like a rare delicacy. It's literally a floating ball of heads. I regret my life choices. You can have the first chew if you like. I'm never talking to you again. Wow, what a bitch. I'm going to go and drink the ocean. <coughs> Torrent, where were you? <coughs> I can't digest those, Torrent. <coughs> the turtle. You're both perverts. Did I sleep with you? Godric, I'm impressed. I heard what you said to the Crucible Knight and what you did to the misbegotten Crusader. That cute cat man was asking for it. If either of you say anything lewd to me, then I'll kill you both. I won't say anything about your tail. We will be professional. Good. So what's up with your hideous face? This skull lets me chomp tarnished. Do you often eat out tarnished? It is the final stage of my evolution. Are you a Pokemon? What the f***? a Pokemon. Please don't swear during this interview. Of course, apologies. How much do you weigh? I'm not answering that. It's a lot, isn't it? Why is it important? Well, I'm wondering if I'd suffocate if we got into an entanglement. What do you mean by entanglement? If I rizzed you up at dinner and took you back, let's move on. According to your CV, you are weak to physical damage. What would you do if a group of burly gang-banging tarnished came to rough you up? If they were surrounding me, then I'd teleport away. So you like playing hard to get? Then I'd blow their heads off. Do you often blow heads? I'd do anything to protect Princess Rani. You know Rani? Of course. I stop lusty tarnished who wish to defile her. Her heart belongs to me. You and a few others. What did you say? I'm going to break this to you gently, Estelle. Ronnie is a massive slut. Total slut. She has millions of husbands. And wives. That's not true. She said she'd marry me. You can still be in her life. You can be her freaky sex toy. Just try not to tear her up too much with that tail. I've had enough. You are both perverted liars. Well, you're half right. I wanted to work at Faramazula so I could nuke the Erd Tree. Lassiter Sax would have loved you. Maybe he could marry you. But I can't listen to any more of this. I'm going back to my cave to cry. Can I wash my body with your tears? Those space centipede tears are great lubrication. I'm not a f***ing centipede!
What a filthy little mouth he had. I didn't get to ask about his eye sockets. That's probably for the best. Are we ever going to find the right candidate? Estelle might be right. Maybe we should be less lewd. All I do is speak my mind. You have the mind of an angel. Moog, I have a question. It's 21 inches. How many runes could we make if we shoved him into a jar and sold him as a rare pleasure device? Is the jar in the shape of a questionably aged Empyrean egg? Yes! Shut up and take my money! Mother, what was your wedding day like? I never got married. Do you remember it, father? I can just imagine it. Where is she? This is the happiest day of my life. She's marrying a tarnished. It's shameful. Is there any boiled crab at this thing? Where are the bride's wenches? They're called bridesmaids. I know what I said. It's a shame Makilla couldn't be here. Where could my cute little brother be? Imagine being late for your own wedding. I was on time for all 12 million of my weddings, and you didn't invite me to any of them. That's because you're a bitch. Parts of this story aren't making sense. Why would I be late to my own wedding? I'm getting to that, mother. She's here! Sorry for taking so long. My dress wouldn't fit. She's naked. What a slut. Oh, she could have lost some weight. Are those wings real? Her hair is a mess. She is beautiful. It should have been me! You are very handsome. We are gathered here today to marry this harpy whore off to a lowly tarnished. The lands between is truly f***. Finally, things are getting good. We stand in front of a statue of the insane bitch who smashed my Elden Ring to pieces. Like, what was that about? Oh, boo-hoo, my favorite son died. The one that isn't a filthy omen. How am I meant to know who killed him? And your bastard children are all fighting over my shards. Do you know how long it takes to fix this damn thing? Mo, and why are people so is Rikard stoned? You Have you been snorting that moon sugar, Rikard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so how long do you think Melania will stay with this guy? Dodging. I don't know. Final it probably boss. won't be I'm for very be long, difficult. right? Anyway, put your cheap little ring on her finger. Save them for the honeymoon. I declare you man and wife, now piss off. You can't tell me to piss off. Piss off, woman. You piss off. Millicent, what was that space slug? It was a magical creature for a magical day. Godric grafted them back on. Is this the end of your stories? Yes. Thank goodness. Well, there was that one time father cheated on you. Make it stop! Who's your dealer? Chill out, man. Have some glintstone. Get your crusty little face away from me. What's wrong with a bit of crystal? When I find your dealer, I'm going to nuke them. Don't you like a bit of magic? Dragons are meant to breathe fire, not magic. You're like so serious, man. Don't call me man. Come on, dude. Let's snort some blue. I am not your dude. Do you want to chase the magic dragon, buddy? I'm not your buddy. It's high quality stuff. You can't even see. The world's never looked so clear. Do you even know where we are right now? I'm in paradise, man. We're in Liurnia. Liurnia. That's just like your opinion. It's not my damn opinion, you crackhead. You're killing my buzz. Who dealt you your product? Do you want to eat some sorcerers? Try to focus, you junkie. You got two heads? This is a bad trip. Where do you get your glint? Her name is Adula. Don't tell her I snitched, all right? Yeah, whatever. What was your name again? Smarag. What a ridiculous name. Would Smog be cooler? That's too hard to pronounce. Oh. Try not to drown in a puddle while I'm gone. You a new customer? First one's on the house. I'm shutting this business down, sister. What business? Drop the act. Smog told me everything. You ever tried glint? The dragons up here love it. My kin are either dying, insane, or simps. We don't need glint stoners. Don't you want cool magic breath like this? No. It tastes like the moon. After I've nuked you, I'm going to nuke the moon. Think of the oceans. If the oceans have a problem, I'll nuke them too. Are you high? What? You sound like you're high. I am not. Have you been taking that green glint stone? That means it's impure, you know. Our product is 99.1% pure. Guaranteed. I'm a nuke, you now. You can't. I'm pretty sure I can. We're making enough runes to put the Albinoric rune farm to shame. They live on a farm? We've saved countless Albinoric lives. If only Albinorics were actually useful. We could rebuild Faramazula. Really? Would you like your own statue? Can it have all four slash five of my heads? Of course. And can the heads be shooting lasers? Bitches love your lasers. I guess I'll spare you. Just stop selling to dragons. Sell to a species no one cares about like demi-humans or turtles. Everyone hates turtles. Yeah, turtles suck. 
What's going on up here, Adula? Nothing important, Mistress Rani. How's our product selling? Excellently. We'll be able to buy a new batch of wedding rings and moonlight greatswords very soon. I require more husbands! Don't ask that question! But I want to! You'll make him angry, but I need to know! Ask me what? Don't worry about it. Let's start over. Tell me a bit about yourself. Well, as you can see, I'm a massive f***ing giant. And that's about it. That's it! I... Is that a face on your stomach, or are you just happy to see me? Maybe. Can it talk? Not to we pervs like you. Excuse me. I was hoping the dog and the lizard would be interviewing me. Speaking of lizards, where's your snake? Damn it, Godric. What did you say, you wee rat? Is it hiding underneath your skirt? It's a kilt. <laughs> did your stomach just explode? If I get too angry, this eye will wake up. Moog, I want to see his third eye. It's hiding in his skirt. Let's make him mad. Oh, okay. What are you two wee scallywags yabbering about? Did you have a stroke? Yeah. You sound like you had a stroke. So what's it like being the last fire giant? It's pretty shite. Such horrible language. Being surrounded by the frozen corpses of your family and friends can get a bit depressing. That's why I want to work here. Fire giants are ugly. What? Your hairline is receding. That's cause of my testosterone. We're going to need you to do a drug test. Your back is hairy. Just like the fell god intended. And you have dandruff. This is snow. Sorry, but you're not cute enough for Farah Mazula. I'm not trying to be. Maybe next time wear a shorter skirt. It's not a f***ing skirt. Can I graft your eyeball? I can see my reflection in it. Get in my belly. Do you mean your mouth? His mouth is his belly. Get in it. Instructions unclear. Got spear stuck in ceiling. I'm going to explode. Explode on my face. We're going to need a lot of tissues. Sorry about that. Do it again. So did I get the job? Not until we find a bag big enough for your hideous fire giant head. You guys are racist. I wish my stomach could do that. If you eat enough beast men, it might be able to. Why did the fire giants die? They saw their own reflection and committed mass seppuku. They use bleed builds? Not even bleed could save them from their awful fashion. Do you know what would have been even cooler? If we glued his back hair onto his head? If the face on his stomach had a face on its nose? Godric, you are a freaky genius! What did he say? <laughs> I'm not sure you want to know. Tell me! It's pretty bad. What was it? He said that you're Godfrey's little bitch. What? And that your horse is hideous. Leave Leonard alone. What's wrong with his face? He's having some dental issues. Rykard says he wouldn't even eat him. Stay away from him, you brain-dead snake. <laughs> your wife is a whore. She gets gang-banged by man-serpents. Family. Those man-serpents are her children. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Rykard says you have an obsession with incest. I do not have a... Yeah. He says you think Melania would be worth it. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> he says you know what it means. Say it, you stupid snake. Join family. I'm not sure what that word means. What word? Row tussy. <sighs> Whatever it is, he says you want it bad. You're a useless sack of shit. Me or him? You are a disgrace to our family. I wouldn't annoy him. I think he's building up to something. Building up to what? All he does is eat and sleep. His manor should be burnt down along with all his mutant babies. I don't want to live in a cave again. You should be forced to take speech therapy classes. Caught by an albinoric. Oh, this is nasty. What's he saying? It's pretty rough. It turned your skin purple. I have a medical condition. Did you get that from the row, Tussie? Wow, Rykard, you really laid into him. What did he say? Rykard says that you want to be dominated by Godfrey. What the fuck? He says that you learnt the worst form of magic. Roxling is very popular. That you think you're strong, but you're barely better than Godric. Now wait just a goddamn... That your daddy issues are worse than Rani's and she killed herself. Radagon's a bastard. He goes on to say that your defeat to Melania was embarrassing. I'm the one who's embarrassing. And that's why she doesn't want to sleep with you. That is disgusting. He concludes by saying that meteors are stupid. F you, Rykard! I think he's upset. You're wondering how I can understand you. Well, I'm actually an omnipotent multidimensional deity, so speaking snake is rather easy. I'm serious! One of you is a massive racist. What? Who is it? It could be any of us. Cover your ears, Rani. Leave me alone. There's nothing wrong with being blue. And by the end of this meeting, I'll reveal who it is. Isn't it Radagon? We all know he's racist. Silence, Smurf. 
It's not Radagon. Someone who's more racist than Radagon? Is that even possible? Surely it's Rykard. <sighs> Torture and racism are different. Godric graphs every species. It must be him. Actually, Godric is the least racist one here. Thanks, Morgoth. Though he is a dragon file. That is disgusting. Morgoth, I think that's unfair. And what type of file are you? He's thousands of years old. <laughs> what are we talking about again? Racism. One of you is a sickening racist. Morgoth, did I mention how nice your tail is looking today? Thank you. You should glue your lips to it. That is chucklesome. <laughs> Shut up. Do you want to borrow some of my glue? You got your glue all over my palace. I love Albinorix. Stay the hell away from me. Is it racist for me to kill dogs? What kind of dogs? The mutant ones at Kaled that eat children. What kind of children? I'm going to give you scarlet rot. In your dreams, doll face. That's sexist. But your face is a doll. Don't assume my identity. How do we know Morgoth isn't the racist? It's racist for you to call Morgoth. Morgoth a racist. My brain hurts. Oh. I do not want to sleep with Melania. Oh my god. What the fuck? Incest is wrong, buddy. I'm not your buddy. <laughs> Everyone shut up. I am disappointed in all of you, but especially the one of you who's a massive racist. It's time for me to reveal who it is. I bet it's Rykard. <sighs> It's probably Moog. Melania, you're sounding a little bit racist. I hope it's not Rani. Thanks. Being both a racist and a slut would be awful. I retract my thanks. Rani is a good girl. I'm not a dog. Are you sure about that? Why can't you two be more like Melania? You would say that. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I hope you got some boluses, big guy. I'm asexual. That's what Makilla said at first. I'm going to nuke you. Shut up! The massive racist is Melina. What? I knew it. You're a bad person. Person. That's my girl. I've never said anything racist. It's too late for excuses. I'm disappointed. Why are we here? Just to suffer. This is ridiculous. Yes, Melina, you're even worse than Radagon. How? What about all the times you attacked me alongside your tarnish? That's just because you're guarding the Erd Tree. The media won't see it that way. Crazy emo girl attacks Omen. A headline that makes my horns curl. I hope I never have to read it. <laughs> this news has broken my heart. Shut up, doll. So now you're racist to dolls. When will it end? Where did we go wrong? I blame myself. I also blame you. Family. Rykard says that racism is wrong. What a wise snake. Any idiot knows racism is wrong. Melina must be pretty stupid then. I'm going to go burn myself. Are you okay, Morgoth? Yes. The foul tarnished always die in two hits anyway. Foul tarnished. Morgoth, that's kind of racist. That's not what I mean. How dare you insult my husband? Brother, I need to distance myself from you before I get cancelled. You can all just piss off. You were sleeping with a human? Is that a problem? That's bestiality. He'll be here soon. You better be nice. I'm going to eat him. Vike is a good man. I heard he's insane. Well, he did get diddled by some fingers. Diddled. But I'm sure he's normal again. I can't wait to see him. How normal could he be. He was close to becoming Elden Lord, you know, until the diddling. Stop saying that! I miss communing with him. What do you mean by commune? You know what I mean. When did my sister become a human-loving simp? I'm not a simp! I think you need therapy. What? I can't believe my sister's into bestiality. It's not bestiality if I turn into a human. So you're a furry as well? Well, there was that one time he insisted I stay in my dragon form. I beg your pardon. He had to use the war spear. I think I need therapy. Shut up! He'll be here any minute. What kind of future could you have with him? We're going to get married and have babies. I think I misheard you. Dragons can have babies with anything. Are you on the glint? I could even have babies with a donkey. What the f*** are you talking about? Don't try and stop me. I'll nuke your babies. Whose babies are we nuking? Vike, are you feeling normal? Does he sound normal? I'm feeling crazy. Crazy good? I want some of that dragoosey. Excuse me? Have you ever been diddled? You know I have. We should visit the three fingers. I prefer claws. You just have to swim through a sewer first. That's not very romantic. Then you have to do some parkour while people shoot I-beams. I-beams. I-beams! Okay. Then you have to get naked. The diddling doesn't work unless you're naked. Are you saying you still love me? My head's going to explode. I think that's a no. Do you want to nuke the Erd Tree? Uh... I want to scream in the face of an oracle. The grass is making fun of me. It was? It called you a bitch. Die, grass! You missed some. Die, die, die! What happened to you? What do you mean? You were meant to become Elden Lord. F*** that! I got I-
high beams. High beams are cool. Yeah! Check out my double lightning spears. Blow up my brain! I can't stand seeing you like this. Do you need a hug? I don't want a hug. I give the best hugs! I think you should take the hug. Don't hug me! Someone give me a hug! Maybe you should hug an oracle. Stop struggling and let me hug you! I can't believe you've done this! I require affection! You were cheating on me with an oracle? What? It's clear as crystal. Are you sure you're not on the glint? Get out of here, you scoundrel! This bitch is crazy! I'm such a fool. I think he killed that oracle. He was cheating on me this whole time. He's a diddling philanderer. I have the worst taste in men. You shouldn't have any taste in men. He used to be so kind and generous. He traded it all for eye lasers. What was he thinking? Those eye lasers were cool as hell. I'm sorry for wasting your time. I'm sorry you're a human-loving simp. Maybe I'll find a nice donkey to commune with. How about you stop being a slut and come visit Godwin? The disgusting zombie mermaid? He's not disgusting. Doesn't he have a bunch of flies buzzing around him? Yes. And a giant giant disfigured fish face? Yes. And seaweed for hair? Yes. And he smells like a rotting mermaid that soiled itself? Yes. And a deathbed prostitute is trying to have his demon baby? Yes. He's disgusting! He's not! You're a demigod-loving simp! We're just friends! Where are my runes? Hello to you too. You bloody demigods have therapy to pay for. I'm visiting all of you to get my money. I'm not paying. Your therapy doesn't work. I'm going to tell everyone that you wet yourself. What? You were so scared when you first saw your dark moon. Shut up. Your mommy told me everything. That's enough. She had to change you when she got home. Do you want my body? Excuse me? What's left of it is at the top of Leonia's divine tower. I don't want your charred pissy corpse. Fine, have your runes. Damn right. I got secrets on all you demigods and I'm not afraid to tell them. Good luck getting runes from Rykard. I'll leave that turtle-eating serpent till the end. Where are my runes? Piss off, turtle. Don't cross me. Leave or I'll turn you into soup. How's your wife doing? What? You married a rat while growing up in the sewers, remember? Uh... It was just a bit of fun, right? Skooma made me do it. That rat wants a divorce. But I made sure to kill her. You owe a rat half of Lendell. My public image can't handle this. What would Radagon say if he found out? Take your runes. Damn right. Where are runes? Gostok, we're under attack! It's just a turtle. Do you want me to tell people how small your original member was? The harlots mustn't know! Why did you tell him that? It just came out! Pay up! Take them! Damn right! Where runes? You are a greedy turtle. How are those dreams about Melania going? Don't talk about that. The ones where she blooms all over you. They mean nothing. So you don't mind if I tell her? Here! Damn right! Good luck getting runes from Rykard. I have a plan for him. Where runes, where? Why are you shouting? Do you know how difficult you demigods are? You don't have to tell me. They all think I'm racist. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not like I want to kill Morgoth. Of course you don't. He just happens to be an omen. It was quite the surprise. I have nothing against omens. Can I have my runes now? I need therapy. I'll just go. Runes! I gave you your runes. You did? I gave you runes for Morgoth and Godric's therapy sessions too. You are a good woman. I know. No wonder Radon dreams about you. What? Runes, runes, runes. Please hold still, Lord Moog. What is going on? I'm cutting a pizza. What kind of pizza? Cheese pizza. Cheese pizza is Lord Moog's favorite. Especially if it's undercooked. Why do I think you're talking about something else? I'm just a hungry little omen. Give me runes. Here you go. Thanks. Enjoy your pizza. Oh, I will. Right card, you blasphemous bastard. Yeah. Give me runes. <sighs> and stop eating my children. <sighs> you still sleep with your mommy. <sighs> Rinala told me everything. King. Yes, she needs a king-size bed for your slimy hide. Mm. Give me runes or I'll tell Radan. <laughs> Don't mess with me, Rykard. I'll f*** you up. Did you get all of your runes, Muriel? I did. Thanks for the intel. May I have some? The Academy needs new sorcerers since Blythe keeps eating them. Well, I don't really... Unless you want people to know that you dropped out of therapy school. Take your runes, witch! I'm nuking this damn tree. An obese dragon approaches. Maybe I'll nuke you first. Are you an exotic clown? I'm the first Elden Lord. You've really let yourself go, Godfrey. I'm not that genociding geriatric. Godfrey, do be old. Now get out of the way so that I can nuke this damn thing. Why are you tree-hating? It's a grossly incandescent eyesore. Pray the tree. What's the electricity bill like for this thing? Lightnings for heretics. You're into holy? I am a man of God. Well, look at the little holy fairy boy. What? I bet you prance around in women's clothes too. Well, now that you mention it. I'm a new kid. You're giving me a headache. Maybe that's because you're missing half of it. Stop body shaming me. You literally just called me obese. I don't want to deal with diabetic dragons. Diabetes isn't funny. I'm calling my landlord. Aren't you the lord? Elden lords are inferior 
to landlord. Sounds about right. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. Uh, okay. There's a fat dragon outside. Why is he here? I think he wants to eat the Erd Tree. That troubles me. You go deal with him. I'm busy swimming. Can I go outside? Shut up, man. What did you call me? If you keep giving me lip, I'll crucify you even harder. You're a slug. At least I'm not a slag. I am a married man. I wasn't talking to you. We're the same person. I'm a new kid. Good evening. I need help with a problem. Please describe your issue. I want to nuke your tree. Okay. I'm wondering where the best place for me to put my lightning spear is. How about you insert it into your anus? I'm sorry? This is my world. My world. Are you okay? You can't just roll up here with your silly head and nuke my tree. Which of my heads did you call silly? This tree is a work of art. It's pretty mid. Mid? It's mid as hell. You're getting the wave of gold spam. I know you're trying to sound threatening, but look at you. I'm pretty majestic, right? You look like the Loch Ness Monster. Excuse me? Your face is goofy. I am a god. The god of goofiness? Mortals cower before me. They're probably falling to the ground laughing. Look at my magnificent glow. Why are you urine color? I'm gold. Are you a urinal? I am not a fuck. Because just between you and me, I need to relieve myself. And you're looking pretty inviting. I demand respect. Is the big goofy fish going to shed big goofy tears? Do you know how difficult my life is? Life can't be easy for a fish stuck in a tree. These incompetent demigods stole my great runes. Stealing is wrong. They're all either dying or insane. The dragons are exactly the same. Really? They're all dying, druggy bridge-loving simps. The demigods are dying, slutty, incest-loving racists. We're not so different, you and I. Well, apart from you being a two-headed freak. I don't feel like nuking this tree anymore. I'ma go nuke something else. Happy genociding. Did you make a friend? Keep your friends close, your enemies closer, and the b who broke your Elden Ring closer still. I heard that. More God is coming. Flop your way back into the tree. I'm not a fish. Alas, I am returned. Shut the hell up, Morgoth. Did much happen while I was gone? A diabetic dragon showed up and yelled things. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. That wouldn't happen on my watch. And what would you have done to stop him? I would have said thy kind are all of a piece. All right. If that didn't work, I would have coughed really loudly. You do be coughing loud. May I enter the Erd Tree? Have you washed your feet? Yes. Lying will make your horns grow longer. No. Keep your gross toes away from my tree. You're getting spanked. Mommy, no. I'm tired of all your silly stories. My stories are heartwarming. You think I'm married to him? You need some tough love. Daddy, help me. He's not your daddy. But I look just like him. You need to wake up, Millicent. I'm fairly lucid. A tarnished can't be your father. Why not? Look at the size difference. And how could I get pregnant when I have scarlet rot? His seed is strong. I need to wash your mouth out. Please help me, Daddy. You've been spending too much time around Rani. Auntie Rani is nice. She's a prostitute, Millicent. I need to lock you in a cupboard somewhere. But I'm claustrophobic. My family is a bad influence on you. They're all lovely, like Grandfather Radagon. He's a bit of a racist. And Uncle Radon is so sweet. A little too sweet. Uncle Morgan is very wise. He's a drug addict. Melina is nice. She's an emo. You can't tell me what to do. I can. And why is that? Because I am Melania, Blade of Makilla, and I have never known defeat. Oh, and I'm also your mother. Say something, Daddy. I'm going to read item descriptions to calm you down. Anything but that. Dried fecal waste material, moist on the inside. Reading is for nerds. Who taught you that language? Uncle Rikard. Are you joking? Did you hear about the time Father cheated on you? Stop imagining things. I can just imagine it. Get me some milk. Do you want me to milk you? That never happened. You're ruining my artistic vision. Fan fiction isn't art. It's for weebs. Can't you speak Japanese, mother? No. Then how do you explain this? Where did you get that? It was a channel member video. I don't know what that is. When you become a channel member, you get access to incriminating content. I'm ripping up your fan fiction. Please stop her father. You're going to the academy to study. I don't want to study. Then you're going to become a lawyer and get Moog cancelled. Then you're going to retire and sleep on a chair all day. I want to be free. Mommy knows best. Help me, Daddy. What are you doing? Pardon? I love you, Daddy. You surprise me, Tarnished. Most tremble at the sight of me. They usually die in two strokes of my blade. Or they summon their phantoms to try to overwhelm me. But you stand tall and strong. 
famous. I am impressed. This is wonderful news. I have a new idea for a story. It's called Everyone Loves Millicent. We all live together and Grandfather lives next door and he comes over all the time with food. Unfortunately, there's a problem. Nani? You chose the wrong side. Please stop, Mother. Yare yare da ze. You thought you could brainwash my daughter. Mou nan ka yekes mo aratte nai. You and that stupid jar. Fashion ga sube te desu. And that overpowered katana. Rivers of Blood wa suu ka kemai ni jaktai ka sare mashita. Why don't you solo the ground? Sore wa doryok no tarinai yodan deshita. Yare yare da ze. How could you? I have super mom strength. He was going to be the lovable dad in my sitcom. The only sitting you'll be doing is on my lap while I spank you. <laughs> I have some horrible news regarding the DLC. Did it get cancelled? It never existed in the first place. Spoken like a true emo. You are a bit of an emo. Please help me burn myself. <laughs> have you tried not burning yourself? I'm not an emo. You'll all be emos when I tell you this news. It can't be any worse than having scarlet rot. What? I gave myself scarlet rot once. You kinky little fella. <laughs> As a doll, I am immune to disease. How convenient. What's that supposed to mean? She's alluding to your promiscuity. What do words mean? She said Ronnie's a slut. I'm a married woman. <laughs> Melania, didn't you marry a tarnish? That's fake news. Are you feeling jealous? I'm trying to make conversation. Why bother? None of us like each other anyway. None of us like you. Your husband's like me. What? <laughs> When's the DLC release date? Why does it matter? I thought Melania was the emo. Morgat's a hobo, not an emo. Can't he be both? You don't want to know what happens. Then why did you call this meeting? Uh, she got you there, Morgat. My intelligence stat is very high. Yeah. Rikard is wondering who wants to go into business with him. What kind of business? Mm. He's going to open up a restaurant chain called McRikard. I'm in. What kind of food will it sell? Family. There'll be the big Rikard, the McRikard sandwich and a vegetarian option of course. Vegetarians are weak. What's a sandwich? I thought you were meant to be intelligent. A sandwich is what happens when you throw a harlot down a flight of stairs. Godric, that's called murder. Have you all lost your minds? This deal DLC is going to McRae cards really <sighs> This DLC is going to end us all. What do you mean? In the DLC, we're all dead. But I have never known defeat. I'm too cute to die. Oh. I'm already dead in the main game. I'm kind of dead as well. None of us are even in it. Morgoth, did I die an honorable death? You get ganked by a harem of tarnished while the host hides in the distance. Oh, brother, what happens to me? You get nuked while walking down the stairs. Did my drip survive? I've never known defeat, Morgoth. A weeb kills you 1000 times and gets a trophy for it. What about me? You die from a cold. Oh, the humanity. Well, at least you don't get teabagged after you lose. <laughs> Rikard, your boss fight is a bloody gimmick. Surely I survive. You either burn yourself to death or become even edgier. Goth mode activated. And Rani's already dead, so who cares about her? I'm an important character. This is depressing. Do you want a hug? Settle down, big guy. I wanted to be the final boss. <laughs> So if we're all dead, who's actually in it? I bet Godfrey's in it. He's dead. But he has Chad energy. Is Garstark in it? Hell no. What about Blythe? He gets put down due to rabies. Is anyone in it? Godwin probably is. I miss my non-omen bro. Whatever happened to him? I have no idea. Maybe Merica. Merica's a bad woman. You are. And almost certainly Mikilla. Dearest Mikilla. My cute little shoulder hatched from his egg. Uh, yes. And Daddy doesn't get to shower him with his knee heel. Uh, yes. This isn't fair. Shut up, you sicko. You You can all just piss off. They're coming for you, Lord Mo. The Albanoric orgies next week. Not that. Well, the Blood Crow gang bang isn't for another month. It's the Oracles, Lord Mo. Oracles can't get enough of my omen cock. The Oracles are coming to cancel you. But I did nothing wrong. What about all the knee heel you splattered on them? I was just showing them love. They burnt to death in horrible agony. It's not my fault they're allergic. You kidnapped them from the capital. They were kids, Lord. They said they were 18. I meant you stole them. Vare, please don't objectify the Oracles. I'm sorry. They're not sex toys for you to steal. Of course, Lord Mo. They'll be coming soon. They must be excited to see me. Hide inside the egg, Lord Mo. It's full of Daddy Mo's special sauce. Pardon? I've been producing special sauce for the McRae card sandwich. The McWhat? And I figured I may as well squirt it inside my egg. Okay. But I went a bit overboard and filled it right up. As you would. I made sure to lather Makilla's face with it. Permission to speak candidly, Lord Mo? Permission granted. This is why you're being canceled. I don't follow. You kidnapped your half brother Makilla. He's not a kid. And then you shoved him into an egg. The egg came included. And now. You're showering him with your blood boon. I need to keep him clean. There he is. 
You've come prematurely. We've had enough of you. Is 21 inches not enough? You're the worst boss ever. I like to think of us as family. And you're horrible to the oracles. Obese marshmallows don't really do it for me. My skin was silver until your knee healed. I prefer you looking like a tomato. We're locking you up. Please calm down. We're making you our new leader. Me? Vare refuses your offer. Let's not be hasty. Vare. We've even picked a wife out for you. Oh, God. She's too good for Fare. Your children will rule the world. I'm going to need some wine. What about my egg? We're making it a tourist attraction. I'm the only attraction he needs. 1,000 runes to see the egg and 10,000 to hold his hand. That seems fair. None of this is fair. Get out of Lord Fare's palace. And what are you going to do to make me? Oh. Get me out of here, Fare. My wife would be furious. You married that jelly already? We're expecting our third baby this evening. Fare, you sick fuck! I'm going to name him Moog. Thanks, buddy. Well, Moog will actually be his middle name. What's his first name? Perverted Omen Bust. That's too long! That's what she said. Nice. Toodles. Well, this sucks. Tell me about it. What did you do? I gave Lord Godric a bath. You dirty little boy. But the water was too warm, so he sent me here. I'm making you my bitch. What? I need to assert my dominance in front of the other prisoners. There aren't any other prisoners. I appear to have dropped my soap. Could you please collect it? There is no soap. My soap needs collecting. It doesn't exist. You know what I want. You're worse than Godric. Hello! My favorite uncle. I heard you were eating kids. Kids are delicious. I know, right? So I've come to bail you out. What's up with the hat? I had to do a bit of shilling to pay your bail. Were you selling your body? I've been selling merchandise. Hats, hoodies, shirts. You can buy them all. See the description below to dress like a demigod. Can I have a hat? No. I'm gonna eat Fare's kids. It's exam time. My body is ready. I didn't revise. I have a prize for the top scorer. That prize is mine. I want the prize. Begin. This will be easy for one as intelligent as I. What the hell is this supposed to be? Is something wrong? You didn't teach us about this. Welcome to the real world, sweetie. Asking you about things you already know would be silly. You're a cruel woman. I know what you mean, Mistress Rani. These questions are almost impossible to answer. Let me copy you, Blythe. That's cheating. I'll let you eat one of my husbands. I'd rather eat my own excrement. How dare you? I'm gonna beat you in this exam and become Elden Lord. Are you drunk? I'm just hungover. You're not beating me. Stop talking, please. But these questions make no sense. They may as well be written in a different language. You'll have to work hard to get the prize. Who even came up with these questions? Rykard did. Are you serious? Rykard is a wise snake man. Should I tell Rykard to make the questions easier? Of course not. Not. Mistress Rani, it's okay for your brain-dead snake brother to be smarter than you. Shut up and let me concentrate. I need to concentrate too. These questions keep getting harder and harder. Time's up. That was the most stressful minute of my life. I thought you were dead. Chat amongst yourselves while mommy marks your exams. Why do exams exist, Mistress Rani? To prepare people for the world. How does memorizing facts prepare people? It doesn't. You're not making any sense. Neither does the world. Uh, okay. I don't feel good about this exam. Is it because you're blue? Pardon? I heard that blue people are stupid. Who told you that? Melina. That race she also said blue people can't swim. No one in the lands between can swim. And that you're more prone to murder. I would never kill someone. And that you all live in Smurf Village. Is that a DLC area? And that the Smurfettes give out on the first date. I only give out after 100 hours of gameplay. And that you all have STDs. Shut up, Blythe. I've finished marking your exams. Oh, God. And I am outraged. I'm sorry for urinating on the chair. You picked yourself during the exam. I can't handle pressure. One of you didn't get a single question right. The questions were too hard. I found them pretty easy. Like the one about what color the amber egg is. What? After all the work I've put into raising you, I need more intelligence. You should copy my build, Mistress Rani. What is it? I put 20 points into every stat. That's not a build. I'm useless in every situation. How could you do so badly, Blythe? You got every single one of these questions wrong. You're not even subscribed. There aren't enough Blythe episodes for me to subscribe. And you don't know what color the amber egg is? I thought it was a trick question. No more walkies until you resit your exam. <laughs> And what about me? You got every question right, sweetie. Another common runny W. But I'm afraid I can't give you your prize. Why not? Because you failed your sexual health exam. Excuse me? I guess Melanie was right. The prize was going to be a big kiss from Mommy. But Mommy doesn't kiss skanks. This must be a mistake. Did Radagon ever give you the talk? He doesn't give me any talk. Maybe Mo can give you the talk. I'm a doll. I'm a dog. This doesn't make sense. I blame myself. You should try painting her orange. Would that help? Oompa Loompas are less slutty than Smurfs. You're such a smart little poodle. I don't want to be an Oompa Loompa. Are you into incest? Of course not. Everyone thinks you love Melania. They're wrong! You need to get a girlfriend and clear your name. If it'll shut our family up, then fine. I'll help you. Why? Because I hate our family. Understandable.
Your date will be arriving soon. That was fast. I'll hide over here and whisper advice to you. A Chad like me doesn't need advice. How often do you talk to girls? I talk to Melania all the time. This is why people think you're into incest. She's interesting! Well, your date is more interesting. Is she hot? Do you think skulls are hot? Uh... Here she comes. Hello there, big boy. Good evening. Aren't you a tasty treat? Please go away. I'm waiting for my date. I'm your date. Oh. You idiot. Do you drink milk? I suck a cow dry every morning. Can I melt your skin? Uh, what? I want to see that pretty skull of yours. I think she likes you. Have you seen my ghost babies? You're a milf. She's actually a gilf. Would you like to be their daddy? Your babies disgust me. Don't bully the babies. Babies are weak. You really messed that up. Babies make me angry. The women here are incapable of giving birth. Great. They're also incapable of thought. What? You need to make this work or everyone will think you're a sister fiddler. I don't fiddle my- She's coming. Say something nice. You are a fine woman. <laughs> Your simple face pleases my manly brain. <laughs> I want to make you my bride and quietly resent you. <laughs> Melina, she's insane! You're really hitting it off. I don't like this one. Bring me another. What's wrong with her? She has the face of a shriveled shrew. Just put a helmet on her. I don't want to waste a helmet on this thing. I have to go and hold hands with one of Rani's husbands. That is scandalous. Good luck. I will find my queen. You're a queen? I rule over the demi-humans. Why do you look like that? Like what? Like a horse that was hit with a shovel. I am renowned for my beauty. Aren't the demi-humans weird monkey men? They're as intelligent as humans. Maybe humans that were dropped on their heads as babies. We are proud, noble people. Why don't you mate with a demi-human? Because they're weird monkey men. Understandable. Our babies will be giants. Pardon? Our demi-demi-human and demi-demi-god children will inherit the world. I want to smack your face. Please don't. Too late. <laughs> Did you find a girlfriend? I did. What's she like? She is tall and strong and beautiful. This is wonderful news. Thanks for your help. What are sisters for? Certainly not for falling in love with... May I see her? Come here, honey. She's not able to talk, but I think that's a bonus. What the fuck? She's pretty amazing, right? She looks just like Melania. What do you mean? She's got the same clothes and sword and hip-to-waist ratio. I don't see the resemblance. She's a blue Melania made out of butterflies. She's my special little snowflake. Where did you even find this thing? She's not a thing. Did you get her from a Melania sex doll shop? Does that exist? You shouldn't be asking. That. You're the one who asked. And why is she blue? Melina, that's kind of racist. It's better than incest. She's my beautiful girlfriend. I think you need therapy. Well, I do actually have a backup girlfriend. Thank goodness. She will make a fine mate. It's just another Melania. It's not! You're worse than Moog. Take off your clothes! All I want is a blood test. The best blood comes from the nipple. I'm not showing you my nipples. Why do you want a blood test? People suspect I'm on drugs. Erectile dysfunction is terrible. They say I should be disqualified from the Colosseum. Mad cause bad. I'm here to prove Godfrey's all natural. I might need a semen sample. We're not doing that. Is it because of your erectile dysfunction? Can I do the blood test, Godric? Does the turtle pope shit in the woods? Is this Godskin your disciple? I'm actually an apostle. He's one of my medical students. You have students! Godric is the most qualified doctor in the lands between. That is troubling. I want to give back to the community. Well, I suppose that's honorable. And Stretchy here is really good at stopping the heart from escaping my castle. Never mind. I'm dangerously poor. Can I get my bloody blood test? Please open your mouth. What? I need to shove my arm down your throat. I think I can get some blood from his arm. Well, I suppose that also works. You're a doctor. I do things the old-fashioned way. I hope that didn't hurt too much. A Chad like me feels nothing. Your erectile dysfunction is that bad. Please give me a moment to analyze your tasty blood. We'll prove you're not a druggie. Thanks. Who even cares if you're a juice head? I don't want to get cancer. Canceled. Mo got cancelled last week! I am disappointed. All he did was kidnap a few oracles. They were kids. They'll be coming for me soon. Well, this castle is a glorified sex dungeon. Isn't it wonderful? Godric, take a look at these results. Dear Godfrey! Yes? I've never seen readings this high. We can't let people know about this! What is it? Quickly, Stretchy, kill all the harlots! I think that's a bit extreme. We can't let them know! Can the harlots even read? Not if we remove their eyes. That's not what I was suggesting. What do the results say? You don't want to know! Why would he come here if he didn't want to know? Sharp as always, you deserve a raise. I can give some runes to Millicent. What the fuck's a Millicent? Alas, I am impatient. Godfrey, you're on drugs! A lot of drugs. This is a mistake! Performance enhancing drugs to be exact. A lot of drugs. My strength is natural. Exalted flesh is not natural. Your blood is basically exalted flesh. What's wrong with a bit of flesh? Then why don't you show me your body? Exalted 
exalted flesh boosts attack power. You're a walking exalted flesh meatball. You have an unfair advantage in the Colosseum. I only eat it since it tastes good. It tastes good because you're an addict. You're just like Morgoth with his boiled crab addiction. Maybe addictions are genetic. Let's make this our next research paper. How will we get funded? rikard has been slithering in runes since he started selling burgers. What's a burger? Though harvesting albinoric flesh is expensive. Melania owes me runes for finding Makilla. We've hit the jackpot, baby. I'm not a baby. So I've been cheating this whole time? Cheating is such a dirty word. Let's just say unfair advantage. This is shameful. Well, you were kind of a cheater anyway. What? You have several unblockable attacks. Lots of people use grabs. And your foot stomps cover the whole arena. I have strong legs. And technically, there are two of you. Sirosh doesn't count. <laughs> And you move around way too quickly. I still got the hops. I'm surprised you're even allowed near the Colosseum. They're probably scared of getting lag grabbed. I need to go home and rethink my life. Do you even have a home? I think he's a hobo. No wonder he's on drugs. <laughs> Give me your nipples! I'm going to crucify you. You're already crucifying me. I'm going to crucify you even harder. Help me, Radagon! What's wrong? This silly slag was making fun of my Elden Ring. It's as fragile as your feelings. I'm sure she was just joking. The only joke is his goofy fish face. This is the face of a god. You're an ugly space slug. Maybe you two should hug it out? Give me a hug, Merica. Oh, right. You're being crucified. You're too fat to hug. How dare you? How much do you weigh? About 1,000 tons. What? I've been dieting recently. Why are you obese? Space dust is dense. You're an alien monster. I am a gift from the greater will. The gift of obesity? I think he's the gift of fish. You're never leaving this damn tree. You're a creepy stalker. Bitch, don't flatter yourself. You followed me around and locked me in a tree. You're worse than Moog. How dare you compare me to that omen filth? You're a racist. You're a racist. Can we just agree that we're all racist? Fair enough. Get me down from here, Radagon, and let's go for a walk. My wife or my pet fish, which do I choose? The only place you'll be walking is into my fist. Dude, that's not cool. Did I go too far? You're a woman beater. You're not a woman. Did you see the thumbnail? This is getting meta. You're a bad person. At least I'm not a terrible mother. I love my kids. You locked those omen twins in a sewer. And what would you have done? Throw them off a cliff, obviously. Based. You'd murder babies. It's better than torture. You hypocrite. Also, you really messed up that blue doll. Rana? The slut. He must mean Ronnie. And you have a brain-dead snake for a son. Rykard? Good guess. These are all Radagon's children. You're the same person. Then help me, Radagon. He's crucified you too. My wrists do be stinging. No one's coming to help you. You're staying in here until my damn ring gets fixed. Then I'm gonna turn you into a toilet brush. I want to be a sword. Radagon's the sword. You're the toilet brush. I don't want to be a toilet brush. Then stop talking shit. I'm a god. I'm the god, you arrogant bitch. You're just a space amoeba. I'm a celestial deity. You're a plague. Your diseased dumpster fire of a daughter is the plague. That's enough. I can't let you insult Melania. I meant Rani. She has STDs. And I can't let you turn my wife into a toilet brush, even though it'd be hilarious. But she'll actually be useful. I must break you. Pound that fish. With words. Oh. You are a big, goofy, broken fish face slug. Oh my. You are morbidly obese. I'm just big bone. You're the most disappointing final boss there is. Did you see my Elden Ring attack? All you do is swim away like a little girl. Did you just assume my gender? Your boss music is stupid. It's majestic. I should have been the final boss. You're my little Newman sidekick. You are forgettable. I'm kind of a big deal. No one likes you. You're silly. And annoying. And boring. And ugly. And confusing. And ugly. And frustrating. And ugly. Okay, I think he gets it. I'm depressed. Did we hurt your feelings? Do fish even have feelings? I don't feel like punishing you today. Does that mean you'll stop crucifying me? God, no. Oh. But I won't turn you into a toilet brush. This is a massive win. Let's all hold hands and sing Radagon's theme tune. Hell yeah. Won't you join, Merica? You know I can't. Don't you like my theme tune? I'm being crucified. Whoopsie. Quite the whoopsie. This Erd tree is hell! I have some wonderful news about the DLC. This is incredible. Tell me! How come Morga always gets the news? Maybe a rat told him. Didn't he marry a rat? They just hooked up! <laughs> This news changes everything. I bet I'm a boss in the DLC. You'd be a weak boss. Look who's talking. Godric does have a point. You prefer them big and strong, right, buddy? I'm suffering from scarlet rot. What are you suggesting? Oh. Rikard says that you love Melania. Not this again. We're just friends. Then why does your girlfriend look like her? You should join us. Who is us? Me and Moog and Rikard. You're all degenerates. <laughs> You'd fit right in. Didn't you fail your sexual health exam recently? Shut up! 
You should try closing your legs. I need to give you the talk. I'd rather kill myself a second time. What an emo. I'm the emo. I'm trying to tell you the wonderful DLC news. You're not usually happy. I'm worried about you. Shut up, Godric. Brother, he was just being nice. I'm used to Morgoth's bullying. Bullying. <sighs> Rikard says he's disappointed in you. Pit off, Rikard! Such a filthy mouth. Is that because he's an omen? Of course not. Let the racism flow through you. Melina, you need a mother figure in your life. I have a mother. Would you like me to be your mommy? Oh my. Control your urges. You disgust me. He disgusts everyone. Granny, you're sounding a little bit racist. Don't try that Uno reverse bullshit on me. Moog, how was prison? I dropped a lot of soap. <laughs> I think Makilla missed me. You're banned from seeing him. Then how did my special sauce get squirted on his face? Dear God. I'm going to kill you. It isn't the first time I snuck in. Remember this. What are you doing here? I miss my egg. His name is Makilla. He'll always be a cute little egg to me. Leave or I'll kill you. When did that happen? It was a channel member video. Channel members are cool. What's cool is what might happen in the DLC. Remember we thought we wouldn't be in it since we were dead? I cried myself to sleep. It's a shame you woke up. That's cold, Melania. I think you gave him frostbite. Does anyone know Flame Cleanse Me? Is your girlfriend giving you Scarlet Rock? <laughs> The DLC might take place in the past. Which means we might all be in it. Am I still a doll? I don't know. Is Rikard still a snake? I don't know. Do I still have Scarlet Rock? I don't know. Is Makilla still asleep? I don't know. Do I still have my beautiful body? I said the past, not fantasy land. Oh God, it sounds like you don't really know anything. Well, it's just a theory. I feel like this meeting was a waste of time. I wanted to give you hope. I was hoping for some details. Well, it's been seven months and there's still no new information. <laughs> Rikard says the real DLC were the friends we made along the way. I love you, Rikard. Maybe it'll take place in a different timeline. That's crazy talk. Would we all still be related? Melania will still be your sister, yes. That is not what I asked. In a different timeline, I might be Elden Lord. No. Could we travel between timelines? Are you looking for more husbands? She's looking for more wives! Ronnie asks a good question. Thank you. Could I steal a Makilla from another timeline? Moog, what the fuck? I want an egg full of Makillas! You're going back to prison! I want a daddy! You have a mommy. You need to get a boyfriend. I've set up a few dates for you. Millicent, I'm not going on a date. Let's go get me a daddy. Melania? Why is a golem here? He's your date. You said you'd bring me a hot milk. Millicent, what the fuck? It was just a bit of marketing. But instead you brought me this? Are you referring to me? You are a demon. She's my mommy. Your mommy is Satan. I'm actually a demigod. You gave Caelan herpes. That's fake news. You should be executed for war crimes. This date is going well. I'd kill you myself if I wasn't so alone. You're a loser golem. He's a lonely golem. I'm actually a laser golem. I don't find you attractive. Not even a little. Goodbye. It's an honor to meet you. Thanks. Is this your daughter? I need a daddy. That's a yes. How would you like 16 daddies? Will you all buy me presents? We Crucible Knights share everything. That's kind of gay. Are my golden wings gay? Yes, they're beautiful. You're not a homophobe, are you? Of course not. I'm not gay, by the way. I was just asking. Okay. Homophobia is wrong. Agreed. I am straighter than a straight sword. That's nice. I have copulated with many females. Mother, I think you broke him. Don't tell Godfrey about this. Mother, you ruined it. What did I do? I could have had 16 daddies by now. You don't need a daddy. I have two more dates lined up. You better not mess them up. Don't you raise your voice to me, young lady. Millicent, is this a joke? A lot of people find him attractive. He's a dog. I'm not that ugly. You're a good boy. Thanks. Why are you here? I'm looking for a bit. How romantic. Mistress Rani has so many spouses, I want to have some too. If I get a new one every week, then I should be able to catch up to her by the end of the month. I think your calculations are a little off. I am good at sitting, fetching, and playing dead. Good traits for a husband. Though I should warn you up front, I may piss all over your carpet. We don't have carpet. Please make a down payment of two dog biscuits to seal the deal. Blythe, I'm not marrying you. Is it because I'm a depressed alcoholic? You can't live with both Rani and me. Husbands don't have to live with their wives. I'm going for the Radagon marriage model. Well, in that case, it might work out. Mother, I think you broke Jin. How about an amber egg? You're a bad boy. You have one more chance, Mother. What was wrong with Blythe? Promise me you'll try on the next date. Fine. Melania, you have returned! Not this simp again. Please give him a second chance, Mother. You are everything I need. Isn't your painting enough? This painting isn't mine. Lenny? It belonged to this castle's previous owner. There are that many people simping for me. But it has stolen my heart, and now I'm gonna steal yours. Steal my mommy's heart. Look at my glowy hand, then back to me, then back to my hand, then back to me. You now love me. I'm blind. 
land. Oh, yeah. Well, how would you like this castle? I own a city. Would you like some books? Still blind. I give good hugs. Touch me and I'll sue. I'm sorry, Mr. Bell Bearing Hunter. Mother's in a bad mood today. You set me up with a murderous golem, a closet homosexual, a dog, and now a simp. Quite the productive day. I'm going back to my chair to nap. We've got good chairs here. Shut up. Is your daughter single? Touch her and I'll sue. I'm tired of you useless demigods. Okay. I'm going to break you all. My least favorite will get a savage breaking at the end. Since I'm first, does that mean I'm your favorite? You are a hobo. Is that a yes? You are fugly as hell. I guess that's a no. You will never be Elden Lord. Not because you're a hideous omen or a mid-tier boss. I'm at least in the top five. It's because your feet are repulsive. What if I wear socks? Hobos can't afford socks. I am broke! Child Snatcher! You called. You're a disgrace to the Golden Order. F*** the Golden Order. I should have smashed you at birth. Dude, that's sick! You're no son of mine. Well, duh. Melania should have killed you. I was winning that fight. You'll always be second fiddle to her. Makilla's the one I want to fiddle. Your mother doesn't exist. She's formless. No one loves you. Vare loves me. You ate my children. Also, your drip is stupid. Not my drip! Radan, you are a loser. But I defeated Melania. I meant in general. Oh, okay. But we all know you lost that fight. I didn't. Cool story, bro. I'm not your bro. You're just my disappointment of a son. I wish Godfrey was my dad. Godfrey takes performance-enhancing drugs. Your role model isn't Natty. You have ruined my day. My least favorite demigod will get ruined even harder. Okay, Godric, let's make this quick. I never knew you felt that way. That's not what I mean. Godfrey would think less of me, but let's do it. You are a sad, strange little man. I'll bring you to the VIP suite. I'm not going to your sex dungeon. You're barely a demigod. Then why do I have the best great rune? It's a cruel act of God. America's a bitch. Wash your mouth out. Would you like to help me? You are a degenerate little crab man. You're the weakest demigod. And the harlots are cheating on you. Those trolls! Melania, you are a good daughter. I know. Daddy is very proud of you. I know. But my granddaughter is insane. I know. I need a father figure. Use your inside voice, Millicent. Melina, what the hell is that? What is what? That thing on your head. She's my cute little friend. I got her from Amazon. You can get one too if you check out the description of this video. Shut up! Rykard, you are a brain-dead snake. It smells like snake orgy in here. I think I'm gonna throw up. You're still better than Radon. And you're certainly better than your sister. She has spread her legs for far too long. It's hammering time. Ranny. What is it? You are a smurf. Standard Radagon greeting. You are my worst child. You cast aside your great rune. You are a slut. You cast aside your Empyrean flesh. You are a slut. Your best friends with a furry. You are a slut. You use sorceries instead of incantations. You are a slut. Are you quite finished? I have a glintstone drug empire to run. What? Toddle off home back to your silly tree. I am your father. Go. I was gonna go anyway. Welcome back. I need to lie down. It can't have been easy killing all of your children. I just spoke aggressively to them. I told you to kill them. I'm not that bad of a guy. That's our Radagon. Shut up! Help me, Radagon! I have a headache! Makilla is moving. My precious egg is about to hatch. He'll wake up any minute. We can finally be together. What if he kills us all? He wouldn't do that. My brother's waking up. I can't wait to see my uncle. Get my son out of that egg. Who invited this riffraff? We're his family. He loves me the most. You're just his creepy pedo stepbrother. I'm not creepy. You stole my uncle. He wanted me to steal it. Tell it to the judge. Would anyone like some refreshments? I'd like a juice box, please. Millicent, don't drink anything. Remember what happened the last time you were here? Sorry for nearly killing you. You broke stretchy spine. When's Makilla waking up? Just give it a minute. Do you have ED? How can we trust this white masked sex slave? Vare isn't a sex slave. Well, that's not quite true, Lord Mo. Vare. What about that time you asked me to tie your shoes and then knee healed on me? Mother, what does knee heal mean? Ask your uncle. Why do we let you live? Because I'm a lovable little omen. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think he said he loves me. I'm cracking this egg wide open. That's too dangerous. It's omelet time. Grandfather, your humor is cringe. He's going to kill us when he wakes up. Why do you think that? Being stuck in an egg while Lord Moog fondles your hand would drive anyone crazy. Fare, what is with you today? I'm scared. Is this our Halloween episode? Halloween isn't real. Is Santa real? Santa sells items at the Church of Ella. That's just merchant Kale. He doesn't pay his taxes either. Lock him up. <laughs> He's awake. Makilla, can you hear me? Hello? Makilla, where am I? You're in a cocoon. 
Daddy's here, Makilla. Father, is that you? That was your creepy brother, Moog. Why is Moog at the Halig Tree? Moog kidnapped you and brought you to his palace. The formless mother asked me to. I was trying to cure Melania's scarlet rot. She'd be boring without her crippling illness. Thanks. I'm stuck in here. That's probably because of Lord Moog's special sauce. His what? Makilla, I'm your lovely niece. Your golden needle helped cure my scarlet rot. It's not a cure. It isn't. Sorry, Millicent, but you're terminally ill. Farai, get me that damn juice box. I can't get out of here. You'll hatch from your egg when the DLC comes out. Will I still sound and act the same? Probably not. Be patient, my sweet little boy. Moog, when I get out of here, I'm making you my bitch. That's the plan. I'm drifting back to sleep. I'll be with you soon, brother. Please cure my scarlet rot too, uncle, and get me birthday presents. I need you to make me more miracles. Sleep tight, Lord McKilla. <sighs> That wasn't so scary, was it? The only one he's going to kill is Moog. I didn't interpret things that way. Why are me and Mother and Uncle Makilla eternally cursed? Outer gods can be cruel. I wouldn't say eternal youth is cruel. Of course you wouldn't. I have a type. Maybe he'll wake up again before the DLC comes out. Maybe he could give us therapy. He is a wise egg. I don't want to die. There are things worse than death. Like being trapped in an egg. Or being eternally crucified. Or dropping soap in prison. I thought you liked that. I'm just trying to make her feel better. Once Makilla wakes up, I'll be dropping my sword down your throat. I'd prefer to swallow your brother's sword. I can still hear you. I have some exciting news. News that will change the future of the Lands Between. And I have evidence to back it up. Everyone's already read the title. A new Elden Ring is coming out. Elden Ring 2 will be about the Age of Stars. That ending isn't canon. Tell that to my army of simps. I don't care about Elden Ring 2. I want the DLC. You just want my brother. He's going to make me his bitch. You may have read the title, but you don't know what the evidence is. Evidence is for stupid people. Are you running a faith build? What builds do sexual deviants use? A mix of faith and arcane. Dex over sex. Oh my. Control your lust. Family. You should put all of your points into intelligence. What if you get hit? Just don't get hit. That's stupid. It's intelligent. Many people beat Elden Ring just using rock sling. Until they got invaded. <laughs> Melina, could you co-op with me in Elden Ring too? I'd rather burn myself. I'll drop you some runes. What's your password? I f dragons. I'm not typing that in. You're worse than Vike. Who's Vike? A silly little man who wanted to be Elden Lord. Wanting to be Elden Lord isn't silly. Think of all the rats he could pull with that title. I can pull many rats with my gravity magic. He doesn't mean that kind of pull. Can you show me what he meant? Settle down, my big incestuous friend. Family. <laughs> Shut up, Rikard! Will Elden ladies exist in Elden Ring too? No. That's sexist and or racist. I'm boycotting Elden Ring 2. Don't you mean girl cotting? That's sexist and or racist. What the fuck are we talking about? You people ramble on and on. We are here to discuss the Morgoth being gay. Brother, is that true? I'm so happy for you. I always knew he was a little off. Radon, that's homophobic. Mm. Rikard seems to approve of your homophobia. Maybe he's bisexual. Now that I can get behind. We are here to discuss the evidence for Elden Ring 2. I present to you the evidence. The outer gods are recruiting slaves for their next big project. The same outer gods who created Elden Ring. So, naturally this means that they are working on Elden Ring 2. Which means that our story shall continue. I don't see Elden Ring 2 mentioned anywhere. You don't see anything, period. Enhance that bottom text. Enhance. Enhance! From Software is recruiting development staff to play a central role in several new projects. It doesn't say Elden Ring 2. Morgan, you lied to us! What other damn project is it going to be? They need to milk us while the getting's good. I offer myself to be milked. You are. Brother, this evidence is tenuous at best. You're sounding rather educated. I know a lot about dodging evidence. This meeting was a waste of time. Isn't it exciting that the outer gods will be creating new worlds? What you and I find exciting are clearly different. We all know what you find exciting. <laughs> They're probably making a sequel to that silly robot world. I'm a chore. Or another weeb simulator. That doesn't sound so bad. Or that disgusting blood orgy city. Blood birth. Sign me up! Well, I put the title in quotes, so good luck suing me. I found this meeting very valuable. Thanks, Godric. In fact, I have applied to work it from software. Dear God. Elden Ring 2 will be 
a Stormvale sex dungeon simulator. Shut up and take my money! I'm sick of being spurned by this tree. Why shouldn't I be allowed to enter it? I am the last of all kings, and now I shall become the last of all Elden Lords. I am here! Are you high on boiled crab? It's time for a new Elden Lord. Who did you have in mind? Me! Did you know that you're an omen? You may have mentioned it a few times. The only thing you can be is a janitor. I am smoldering with the flame of ambition. You should set your sights a little lower, like the Lendel sewers kind of low. I'm here to take the throne and become Elden Lord. Is that mother up there? Howdy. Are you being crucified? She's just stretching her arms. Help me, Morgoth! Who did this to you? An evil space slug. Are you serious? The Golden Order is ran by a slug, Morgoth. Wasn't it obvious? Why aren't you helping her? That's a loaded question. He can't help me. What kind of man are you? Uh... He can't help me because we're the same person. What? Morgoth, I am your mother. That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Then why are there two of you? Erd tree magic. Erd tree magic is tight. Does that mean you coupled with Godfrey? Radagon just watched. I ripped my eyes out. So you're a cuck. I am Chattagon of the Golden Order. More like Cuckagon of the Cuck Order. Morgoth, that was just stupid. Life was easier when I wasn't Elden Lord. You're not Elden Lord yet. You need to save me, Morgoth. You must slay the Elden Beast. Elden what? The Space Slug. He's the one crucifying your crazy bit of a mom. How dare you insult yourself? She destroyed the Elden Ring. I was upset. This is a lot to take in. That's what she said. Nice one, Radagon. How about I hammer you later? How about you hammer me right now? What the fuck am I listening to? Masturbation is normal. Nothing about this is normal. You're an omen. Well, duh. Omens aren't allowed in here. That's racist. Well, duh. I'm going to slay you and become Elden Lord. Do you think I'm ugly? Excuse me. Everyone calls me a big, goofy, broken fish face slug. And gosh darn it, I'm sick of it. I'm not even that fat. Listen, I don't really care about your- Your mom and Merica are really mean to me. And now all my great runes are missing too. Sometimes I feel so empty. I can literally see through you. Would you like to chase me while I swim away? I'm here to kill you. You're floating between me and eternal glory. Does being Elden Lord really mean that much? to you? Yes. All you get is the Elden Throne. I suppose chairs are rare in the sewers though, huh? Have you ever even sat on a chair before? Is that why you want to be Elden Lord? To experience sitting down? Shut up. <laughs> Alas, I have returned. You did it, Morgoth. Or should I say Elden Lord? I love omens. Let us eat crab and be merry. Bring me a fresh rat to mate with. Of course, my lord. Three cheers for the Omen King. Hip hip, hip hooray. hooray. Morgoth. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip, hip hooray. hooray. Hip, Morgoth. Hip, hooray. Morgoth. Uh, are you high on boiled crab? What? What happened? I think you overdosed on crab and then soiled yourself. My throne. Sorry to disappoint you, but it was all a dream. Pretty cliched, huh? I was Elden Lord. Why don't you set your sights a little lower, like being a janitor? Uh, You'll only ever be the Lord of Piss and Crab. Anyway, I'm going back into my tree to hang about. Can I come with you? I don't need a third wheel. Third. He's disgusting. He wants to speak with you. What's wrong with his face? He has a medical condition. What? What happened to him? He got ganked by a harem of slutty ballerinas. I thought that was a joke. I need you to suck the death out of him. I'm not sucking that thing. He's not a thing. I don't know what I'm looking at. That is the Prince of Death. This is his princely fish face. And this is his cute little nose. And this is his seaweed hair. He's got a spooky webbed hand. And who could forget that gorgeous tail? Vortisex, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're fucking insane. I think those spikes on your face have given you brain damage. What spikes? This thing isn't a demigod. He's my friend. He's a zombie mermaid. Merman. You should find a nice human to commune with. He wants to speak with you. Are you on the glint? He needs your help. You're the one who needs help. He'll be awake again soon. I woke up in a barn once. Okay. Do you know the golden ram outside Landau? Yes. Do you know how they curl up into a ball and roll about? Yes. Well, I was curious how many of them could roll up inside my body. What is wrong with you? Vi being gone from my life has left a hole. A hole that needs filled. You have issues. I'm not as bad as the demigod. Did you hear that Moog kidnapped someone? He does that every Wednesday. And Morgoth sleeps? with rats? You're in no position to criticize. And Rani has STDs? I'm surprised you don't have any. And Melina's a racist? You could do with a bit more racism. And Radon loves his sister? I can't relate. And Rykard sells burgers made from Albinorix? That's actually impressive. And these are the people you simp for? I'm not a simp. Godwin is disgusting. He's my spiritually challenged friend. He's a loser. Godwin doesn't lose. You're awake. I've been listening 
this whole time. Dude, your sister is fucked up. I know, right? Who do you think you are? I am the Prince of Death, and I need you to suck me. At least take me out for dinner first. I am corrupted by Death Blight. My buddy Fortisax has been fighting it for a while, but he's a bit of a bitch, so I was hoping you could help. I'm the strongest dragon. You're a mid-game boss that gets steamrolled, and not in the fucked up way your sister likes. You have a filthy mouth. Well, I don't have a soul. What did you expect? I expected you to be dead. Godwin doesn't lose. Godwin doesn't lose. Say it with me, Lanciax. I'm not saying it. Godwin don't lose. He just keeps winning. Anyway, I have crippling depression. You know, I didn't think my life would turn out like this. I was meant to be the next Godfrey, not the next Little Mermaid. Merman. Most people don't even know who I am. They walk up here, have their way with Fortisax, and hardly notice me. I am critical to the Lord. Godric is more popular than you. I know, right? What a fuck. Travesty. Everyone thinks that little perv is Godfrey's son. He's just my grandkid's grandkid's cousin's grandkid or some shit. He'd be better off dead if you ask me. Do you want me to kill him? I don't want you embarrassing yourself. I'm not that weak. Anyway, Lanciax, this is just a long way of saying I really appreciate you. You were very helpful with my ancient dragon cult at Lindell. Even if you were fu- a bunch of humans. Now suck my gross fish tail. No. Well, you'll all be sucking something else when the DLC drops. Godwin doesn't lose. Hell yeah, Godwin doesn't lose. Which of us has the best weapon? That's what we'll be answering today. Surely it's me. I don't have a weapon. I have two weapons, my axe and my fist. I don't want to hear about your fist. I have an outer god on my side, so I can't lose. So do I. Yeah, but your outer god gave you cancer. We have seven weapons to get through, so let's Let's just get on with it. Axe of Godric is obviously in seventh place. Is seventh the best? It's the worst, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Godric, but axes suck. They're too slow. They don't do that much damage. Even if they did, their moveset is terrible. But it has my name in it. All the more reason for it to be last. Well, I still have my fist weapon. So anyway, Grafted Dragon is in sixth place. This is bullshit. It's nothing like the Grafted Dragon in your boss fight. From Epic Dragon to Stunted Hand Puppet. I found it in his sock drawer next to a bottle of lotion. Too much information. Socks make me angry! Godric, can I borrow your lotion? You are. Bear witness to my ash of war. It can do good damage, and it does have hyper armor, but overall, it's pretty situational. I'll win this thing in your honor, Godric. You're my favorite omen. Coming in at fifth place is Hand of Melania. Pardon? How the mighty have fallen. How embarrassing. I thought she'd do better. Your weapon doesn't even inflict scarlet rot. Of course it doesn't. It's unalloyed gold. Your gold is dirty. Do you even know what unalloyed means? <sighs> With the right setup, the Ash of War can be devastating. You need to waste three talisman slots for that. You guys have three slots! We actually have four. What? But your weapon has stupidly high requirements. Doesn't everyone have 48 decks? And they have to beat you to get it. So most people aren't ever going to be using it. You're punishing me for being too strong. You heal during your boss fight. You're a cheater. You're a hypocrite. Coming in at a respectable fourth place is Morgoth's Cursed Sword. Your weapon is ugly! Oh. It's surprisingly light. Only 7.5 Miyazakis. I'd prefer your pimp, Kane. That would hide the grotesque colors. My katana is better than this. Well, actually, my curved sword is pretty dangerous in PvP. The Ash of War is good at roll catching. And it can cause bleed. So does my weapon. Shut up, Melania! We have made it to the top three. Rikard, Radon, and Moog remain. This will be an easy W. I have never known defeat. Shut up, Radon. <laughs> If I had a weapon, I'd be winning this. You're too lazy to use a weapon. Do you want my sock puppet? God, no. Third place goes to the Star Scourge Greatsword. Only number three! <laughs> Shut up, Rikard! I like the bit where you scream and pull people towards you. Thanks. I do that to the harlots when they try to escape my castle. Godric, what the fuck? The jumping attacks are pretty good. It does magic damage, so I approve. And now for the top place. Victory shall be mine! Oh. It was close, but the top place goes to... Rikard's Blasphemous Blade. Together! 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 How did I lose? Sorry, brother, but a sword that heals you is pretty damn useful. Plus, its Ash of War does a lot of damage. But my Ash of War goes through walls. Without FP, your spear is useless. Makilla has a use for it. Morgoth, I disagree with every single place in this ranking. Go cry about it in the comments section. Look at how happy it's made Rikard. <laughs> How disturbing. Every weapon is usable. Even my axe. 
Hell no. I don't want to be a demigod anymore. It's time to settle this. Our battle shall be legendary. Sorceries. Incantations. There, there can, can be, be only, only one. one. Incantations can cause and cure cancer. We have the power of God and anime on our side. Are you stupid? Team Pew Pew will win. Of course they're stupid, sweetie. They have low intelligence. I play Stars of Ruin in attack mode. It fires 12 spooky shooting stars which pursue the target. You'll never dodge all of them. That spell is annoying in PvP. Your face is annoying. Such a childish response. If you were my child, I would hurl you at a wall. Ranny, you're just a third-rate witch with fourth-rate spells. I summon the mighty Elden Stars. It creates a stream of golden pits which follows you around until you have a rage-induced aneurysm. That incantation is useless in PvP. It's a good distraction in PvP. It might have made Operation Kidnap Makilla a bit easier. I counter with Rock Sling. It allows you to sling three rocks. Need I say more? Why are there only two rocks on the icon? One of them always hits the terrain. You can pick it up early and cheese your way through the lands between. Why don't you just get good? Why don't you just raise your children? Melina, do you think we're winning? I already know who wins. Which incantation tells the future? The Becoming a Channel Member incantation. You get early access to new videos. And lots of other fun things, too. Click the join button for more info. Shut up and do something. I unleash a swarm of shit-eating flies. They follow you around until you bleed. I like to call them Elden Mosquitoes. You can create life on a whim. I'm kind of a big deal. Pity it got nerfed. It's still good. Bleed builds are boring. Your hat is boring. Is Comet Azure boring? Yes. It fires a stream of anime energy which nukes the target. Anime's on our side. Then how come we can do the Kamehameha? I can still block it with my cool shadow arm. How do you know that? I slapped Radagon with it a few times before he went to get milk. I heal the damage of your silly nukes. I use heal and great heal and urgent heal and lord's heal. Oh, and of course, Erdtree heal. Why do you have so many heals? Because God loves us. We've also got bestial vitality waiting in the back. Healing is weak. Melania can heal and she beat you. Maybe you're the weak one. How dare you? Think happy thoughts, sweetie. Not too happy, though, my sister loving friend. Enough of this bullshit. Sorceries are clearly better. And why is that? Bubbles. Moons. Swords. Meteorites. Cancer breath. Cancer cures. Mental illness race. Lightning. Incantations are more versatile. Sorceries are better for raw damage. Int is just pew pew pew. Faith is meant for gods, not for alien trees. Your hat is silly. You little bitch. Your mom's got spunk. Never say that word again. None of you level vigor. Just don't get hit. Your dog does all your fighting. He's the best boy. My furry brother is cool. Incest and furries. I'm really starting to like you. Never say any words again. How about we agree that in general, incantations are better for PvP. And in general, sorceries are better for PvE. No one even likes PvP, so that sounds fine to me. Spoken like a true casual. The best ones are usually the simplest, like the quick spammable catch flame. You only think that because your brain is simple. Carrion Slicer is very good, so he may have a point. My 70 intelligence cruise missile is clearly superior. That's not hitting anyone in PvP. The only incantation you can cast isn't even available. My death tree makes me special. Did you guys ever wonder what pest threads are made out of? Silly string? Let me show you. Moog, please don't show us. <laughs> Maybe sorceries are better. I have some exciting news. This report contains secret DLC information. Let's read the juicy bits. What's the Kadokawa group? They are the parent company of From Software. The Outer God's Outer God. Godception. Where did you get it? Gideon Ofnir. You mean Gilbert? <laughs> Tell me the details! The first noteworthy thing is that the Outer Gods are pleased with Armored Core's results. That silly robot world. If it makes From Software stronger, then I am happy. You're just happy because you voice acted in it. How many runes did you get for being Handler Walter? Radon, will you get me an acting gig if I sleep with you? I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. We have a lot to get through, so kindly shut the f*** up. Oh. The number of new titles is expected to significantly increase. Does new titles mean Elden Ring 2? It could mean Armored Core 7. Or Stormvale Sex Dungeon 1. There are high hopes for these new titles. Titles. The Outer Gods expect them to perform well, and they also expect sales to continue for popular titles. Performance isn't an issue for me. Must you make these lewd comments? It's what I do! By popular titles, they of course mean us. What if sales slow down? I'll use my gravity magic to take their runes. It is expected that sales for Armored Core will continue, and also the development of our DLC is proceeding smoothly. What does that mean? Hmm. 
It's surely a good sign. Give me smooth. Give me silky. Was that a lewd comment? I think he's lost his mind. The juiciest bits are still to come. I have the business overview of the gaming segment. What's a game? Are we the game? I need some skooma. But before we get to that, more praise from the outer gods. From Software has high development capabilities. Well, they made us, so of course they do. Sounds like from Software are making Katakawa a lot of runes. Damn right. And to that end, from Software will be aggressively investing in mobile game development. Mobile games suck. I find them fun. That's because you're casual. <laughs> I quite like hiding in people's pockets. That was definitely a lewd comment. That's enough foreplay. Brother, please be professional. It's time for the tasty business report. There's a lot of info here, but let's look at the important bits. 700,000 units of armored core sold in Japan, making it a major success. There are that many robots flying around Japan. Sales of Elden Ring remain strong. Well done. Spike Chunsoft have released several new titles. Who the f*** are Spike Chunsoft? But most importantly, measures for maximizing lifetime value of Elden Ring will be taken, which means that a DLC or sequel is definitely coming. We already knew that. And this answer confirms that From Software are working hard on the DLC. We already knew that, too. And this tells us that From Software are expanding their development staff, and Kadokawa are planning on making eight times the number of mobile games, which seems rather ambitious. Brother, I'ma let you finish, but when's the f release date? The report doesn't tell us. Damn it, Morgoth! The DLC is, however, long overdue. It usually takes From Software a year to release it, so I think it is highly likely that something will be revealed at the Game Awards on December 7th. We're coming up to the two-year anniversary of Elden Ring, so early next year seems likely. From Software have never been stronger. And we are their most profitable IP. Family. Also, they are seeking to hire non-Japanese people, so now is a good time to join. Japo what? Sounds like we all meet that criteria. The time has arrived. You must all do battle. Only the mightiest shall remain. What kind of battle? An art contest. Only the best emoji will win. I need some ink. Fetch me a quill. I don't need any of that. Why not? Because I'll be using Fiverr. It's a website where you can hire freelancers. I'm going to hire someone to make my emoji. Then I think I'll take a nap. I want to take a nap too. Does anyone need glue? I have my own glue. <sighs> Tomorrow we'll see your art. Now be gone, peasants. Gostok, can you lend me a hand? You grafted one of my arms off. Shut up, Gostok. I'm trying to concentrate. You literally just are. I'm trying to sculpt God. What do you think? What is wrong with his teeth? Don't tell anyone what you saw. I'm saving this for later. Drawing yourself is easy when you don't have feet. I don't see how I can lose. What do you think, Melania? I'm not sure this relationship is working. We don't talk like we used to. I have an art career now, Melania. I don't have room for you in my life! What do you think, Fare? The skirt isn't fluffy enough, and your legs are far more slender than that, Lord Moog. Of course, Fare. Thank you for your wise counsel. I don't want to get therapy. Makilla wants to help you, Millicent. We need to cure your illness. Writing fanfiction is beautiful. I'm an artist. Fanfiction isn't art. Well, neither is that silly drawing you're doing. Being blind makes this difficult, but I have never known defeat. This doesn't look anything like me. I leveled intelligence, not bloody dexterity. And Melina gets to nap while I suffer. Bully mode activated. Who do you think you are? I'm Melina. You should be drawing. I have people to do that for me. Which people? I went to the Fiverr website and furiously typed my search term. Then I looked for a service that struck my eye. I found someone who had a good rating and very cute art. Then I ordered my emoji. And now I'm wasting my time talking to you. Wasting your time? It's time to return to Lendell. I can't wait to see your silly art. Shut up. Hopefully this is less disappointing than the shattering. Start the show, Morgoth. This is an emoji fit for the last of all kings. As you can see, I have my gorgeous crown. I wield a scepter and a mysterious ball. And I wear an expression of mild confusion. Do you even know what you look like? I can't afford a mirror. Next. My emoji oozes strength. I have giant manly fists and toned manly arms. I know rock throw and meteor mash. Geodude can't learn meteor mash. Geo what? You're disqualified. Next. 
It's my turn, baby. I have my trademark devilish smile, my cute squinty eye, and my groovy drip, baby. That's the least attractive man I've ever seen. Aren't you blind? Next. This is what a real omen looks like. I lost a little weight and had dental surgery, but apart from that, I think it's pretty accurate. Burn that emoji. Next. I have never known defeat. Millicent said it looked bad, but she's insane. Melania, your drawing sucks. Next. <laughs> it's the best one so far. <laughs> Next. Time for another common Ranny dub. This is what I look like when I smile. But I never smile since I hate all of you. Excellent drawing, my little Smurf. You're on track to win this whole thing. Thank you, Father. Okay, Melina, let's see what your Fiverr made. I'm pretty happy with it. They really captured my cute little smile and my big shiny eye and my silky smooth hair. And it's actually an emoji unlike everyone else's horrendous drawing. Well done, Melina. You are the winner. And also my new favorite daughter. If you'd like cute emojis too, then check out Fiverr. There's a link to Fiverr in the description of this video. Use the code UNDEAD when placing your order to get 10% off. Thank you, Fiverr, for granting me sweet victory. Melina, Reichard ate your emoji. I'm not a burger. Why wasn't my great bow included? Bows aren't weapons. And what about my dark moon greatsword? You don't have the stats to use it. Let me in. Good evening. Let me in the fuck Episode. You lot get to be in all the episodes. Morgat drags us to his meetings. They're full of misinformation. I want to be in the fucking episode. Please stop swearing or we'll get demonetized. Open this fucking door, America. America. He's really lost it. He probably has rabies. Dog. Is this how you treat your brother, you absolute bastard of a man? Morgat, did you give him boiled crab? Hell no! Maybe he got brain damage off screen. What do you want? I haven't been in an episode for two months. Didn't you bail Moog out of prison? That was just a fucking cameo where you made me advertise merchandise. Check out the description to get our merch, by the way. I don't make the rules, buddy. I'm not your buddy. Do you want a belly rub? I want to go on a wacky adventure. The lands between is serious business. Ronnie failing exams and Radon getting a girlfriend are serious. You failed your exams? It was actually just one exam. Which one? Sexual health. Damn it, Ronnie! Your girlfriend looks like Melania. Radon, are you the new Moog? I left her to pursue a career in art. Everyone shut the f*** up. This is my episode, damn it. Why don't you ask your obese dragon friend for help? Placidus Axe. Yeah, the diabetic one. We haven't seen each other in so long. Your plump, tubby, roly-poly chonker surely misses you. Must you body shame him? Fat is weak. I do 10 push-ups every morning to stay in shape. 10? Is that all? Well, how many can you do? My dog does my push-ups for me. You have four arms, Ronnie. Push-ups should be easy. Radan cheats in his exercises by using gravity magic. My armor is heavy. Stop stealing my fucking screen time! You all got murdered by fire giants. Us ice dragons were no match. I'm the last of my kind. How did you lose? Well, they're giants. They're kind of big. Just fly above them. Yeah, but fire beats ice. This isn't a damn Pokemon battle. Do you hear that barking sound? You don't need to put the word sound after it. Oh, okay. Barking is already a sound. I see. Yes, it is rather icy. No, I mean that I understand. Help me, Placidus Axe. Malaketh, you just committed genocide. I need more screen time. You ruined my How Awful Are the Ice Dragons episode. I'm going insane! I think I got shadow banned or something. Is banning a shadow a shadow ban or a regular ban? What? Listen, Malaketh, I can't let this whole genocide thing slide. Then put some salt on the ice. What? What a sad state of affairs. Sir Gilbert? I think it's Gideon. You want more screen time? I know what it's like to not get any. I haven't been in an episode for months. Well, to be fair, you're a bit of a twat. You were banned, Malaketh. I am advertiser friendly. You ate a child in your last episode. Moog does that all the time. Yes, but he's very popular with the 13 to 17 year old demographic. Can you fix me? I might be able to pull some strings and get you an episode where you go insane or something. Thanks, Gilbert! It seems like this clusterfuck of an episode can finally end. I'll lift the ban off you too, Placidus Axe. What did I do? Repeated threats of nuclear warfare. Nukes are fun! Also, you called me a twat. I calls them like I sees them. Hey guys, I'm not dead. <laughs> I need your help, brother. Did you also get stuck in an egg? Millicent keeps writing fan fiction about me. She's insane. My mommy needs a daddy. You must fix her. What happens in these fan fictions? Mother goes on romantic walks with a tarnished. That doesn't sound so bad. Then she locks them in a room and makes the sex. Well, okay then. I need to mop your brain. I need a daddy. What's wrong with just having a mother? She's a tiger mom. I'm not a Khajiit. She makes me study and eat meals and go to bed at reasonable hours. It's horrible. You spend too much time reading anime. It's manga, mother. 
mother. Melania's just trying to look after you. She's blind. I prefer the term visually diverse. And she wasn't able to look after you, uncle. You ended up in an egg. Don't make fun of Makilla's gross egg. How did Mo get away with kidnapping me? I was taking a nap. This is why I need two parents. Why don't you get a dog? There's a therapy dog preaching at the Church of Vows. I think that's a turtle. Technically, he's a tortoise. If it has four legs, then it's a dog. Does that mean tigers are dogs? I guess so. And you're a tiger mom, which means you're a dog mom. Which means Blythe is my father. Which means I'm a puppy. Millicent, that doesn't really make... I need to research furry art. A new arc in my fanfiction is starting. Wow, she really is insane. Told you so. Okay, Millicent, I'm going to give my diagnosis of your... Please call me Puppy-chan. Use your inside voice, Puppy-chan. Now I may have spent the last few thousand years trapped in an egg as part of a horrific blood mating ritual. But I know a thing or two about children. Mostly because I'm eternally young, but also because Moog shoves shoters into my egg every Wednesday. Let me draw that. Put that pencil down. I don't know where he gets them from. Is there an orphanage nearby? Rune bears eat orphans. They're the lucky ones. I didn't know we had a luck stat. You're getting mixed up with the Dark Souls world. I have some connections there. Prince Lothric says luck is useless. Dex over sex. Maybe if you had higher luck, you wouldn't have been kidnapped. Well, when you put it that way... They should rename luck to incestuous pedo stepbrother protection. I need to respect. I want a fan fiction stat. There's a status effect for that. This is a massive win. It's called going hollow. The more hollow you become, the sussier your fan fiction. Just call me Hollow Puppy Chan. Anyway, I think I can help you, Millicent. Help my degenerate daughter. You have parent alienation syndrome. What this means is that your father is an alien. He crashed to Earth millennia ago to get milk. During that time, he impregnated my sister using CD space magic. Then he returned to his home planet. I hope this makes sense. I always knew I was special. Everyone knows you are special. So Melania will have to be both your mommy and daddy for now. One person being both my parents. How novel. It's a first for the lands between. Thank you for your wisdom, brother. I am a wise egg. When you hatch, will you be my father figure? When I hatch, I'll be going on an orphan of cost killing spree. That is chucklesome. What's the view like from inside there anyway? I can sort of see Melania. Moog's special source is everywhere. And I also see some creepy statues. I don't see anything. Moog's face is on one of the statues. I'm always watching you, my sweet little egg. Hollow Puppy Chan to the rescue. Quickly, Makilla. Increase your incestuous pedo stepbrother protection stat. <laughs> I have an important remote interview. Uh... Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, my formless mother. You've frozen on my screen. Snap out of it, Moog! What age are you? Pardon? It's two digits, right? Like low two digits. I would prefer not to see- Is the first digit zero? Uh... What the f*** is that? Don't make fun of his manslave. That's my brother. Are you also into incest? What? Are you in bed? Yes, I'm crippled. Does your hand still work? I was stricken at birth. And that birth was how many years ago? This curse has left me unable to walk. I could graft you some tentacles. That's Gwendolyn's thing. What's a Gwendolyn? He's a transsexual snake boy and an expert at hide and seek. You had me a transsexual. Your voice sounds familiar. Is it Radons? It's too silky for that. Radagons. Too smooth. My cards. Maybe it's Melina's. Gwendolyn's sister has the same voice as Melina. Seriously, look that up. Is it Makilla's? I know Makilla. He's a good egg. We play RuneScape together with Gwendolyn. Things get rather confusing in our voice chat. <laughs> Uh... I need you. So I got the job? Oh, you'll get the job, all right. Don't kill this one, Moog. Excuse me? I can't keep these feelings in much longer. So why do you want the job? I need to escape from my bitch of a wet nurse. She wants me to set myself on fire, and I'd like my brother to touch grass. You two seem close. Our souls are one. Rise, if you would. For that is our curse. <laughs> Why does he keep saying that? Your gay relationship with your brother was too much! We're not gay. I want to shove you into an egg and feed you my special sauce. Your special what? His blood boon. I can carry you to the lands between. Moog is very good at carrying children. There are several things wrong with that sentence. Give me location. I'm not telling you where I live. Location! I need an adult. I am an adult. This interview was a mistake. Can I play RuneScape with you? What's your username? Moog Lester 445. 
There appears to be a connection issue. Internet in Lothric is shit. No wonder he wanted to move. He was definitely into twin sis. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Maybe one day you'll meet Gwendolyn. I need to collect all the Shodas. This was our last interview, Moog. We had some good times. Remember the Crucible Knight? His voice was hot. And the misbegotten Crusader. His face was cute. And Estelle. Spoopy skeleton. And the fire giant. Receding hairline. Placido Sax will be happy with our results. Let's go home and wash my egg. Well, it's been seven months, but we've finally found someone. Hiring Moog and Godric to do interviews really set us back. But I'm glad to have the role filled. What do you think of the place? It feels like home. Someone broke my pillar! Well, that's what happens when tarnished strut around the place. Try not to sleep on the job again. We won't let you down, Lord Placidus Axe. I hate my life.